Whistlekins, whistlekins, whistle, whistlekins. Holy moly, what a what a thing to sit down to. My God, tier three super support. Whistlekins, I don't know what we did to deserve you. I don't know. Thank you so much for sticking through us through so many weird and wonderful games. Uh, times with timeless, times without timeless. You're fantastic, Whistle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, 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 wow. How is everyone doing? Happy weekend. I'm sorry I wasn't around yesterday, folks. Uh, Tommy can't stream today. So we swapped days. We swapped days. I did a solid for my boy Timey. You know? T -t 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 Timey. Timey love. Timey, Timey, Timey love. This is like a rap. Timeless, if you're there, write that down. Write down Timey love rap. It's not going to be actually about love, but it'll be a thing. D -d 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 -dunk. Hey, Luna Sky. How you doing? Nice to see you. Zativi. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Death Dealer. Seven more days to your birthday. It's exciting stuff. Exciting stuff. It's only like... I don't know, seven months till my birthday. So that's cool. Seven months and one day. That's pretty good stuff. Hey, Dunk. What's up, Grex? How are you, my friend? How are things? I started playing Stardew because of the stream. Grex, ah, oh, Grex. Geeks, you fool. You fool. Don't make the same mistakes in love that I did. Don't, don't do it, geeks. Don't do it. My heart is broken and I will try and repair everything today. Uh, for anyone who missed it, go look at the YouTube shorts. I did a terrible thing. I had too many girlfriends, I like, much like Icarus, I flew too close to the sun. I thought I could have it all, and now I have nothing. Absolutely nothing. There is actually a new Stardew short, please do go check it out, about a fairy that uh, blessed our crops. What did it actually do? I actually don't know what that fairy did. <laughs> I don't actually know. <laughs> I really don't know. Hey, Rockstar, how are you? Nice to see ya. How are things? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, good, good, hope you're good. I'm going great, Luna Sky. Always even better after seeing you. I guess I'll share this. Greg Scar. That creature's running to go get no pants. I don't understand. Grex, what is your... Okay, firstly, thank you for the 95 stream streak. That's huge. But then secondly, uh, what is going on with those emotes, dude? That creature is literally running to obtain no pants. Like, if it was running towards pants, I'd, I'd understand. But no, now I have no idea. Bite. Well, come on in, Bite. Um, look at that booty. Look at that Bite booty. It's a thing. Kasia, nice to see ya. I already have like three girls saying, ew, to me. Geeks, keep, keep playing hard, but don't, don't get all the girls. Get all of them but one. Uh, you built a new PC? Awesome. Very, very cool. And you say it's a monster. That's nice. Uh, hello, hello. Hey, Dot Pants, how's it going? Now you do it. It's the damage of a time, Pants. What's on the to-do list for the farm today? Fruity Pablos? I don't know. We're going to get up to so many things. So many things to achieve in Stardew. So many things to see. So many people to date. So many hearts to break. Um, so many fish to catch, it's, it's just probably the most involved, insane game ever. And I'm, I'm gonna hop in shortly. I'm gonna get done with all the stuff. Kit rips off clothes. Kit, none of that. It's Kit Rosen, huge Selena Gomez fan. Huge, huge, huge Selena Gomez fan. Kit Rosen, that's, that, that's what's going on there. Hey Kit, how's it going? 45 stream streak from Byte, holy moly. Timer says we probably should have checked our crops in the morning, but I don't want to, didn't want bubonic plague. That is true. Probably should have seen what happened, but I didn't want that. My friends totally thought I was lying about your Stardew encounter. Thank goodness there was recorded evidence. Really? They, had, they didn't think it could happen. What? Kit, you like that magic song? And everyone knows the original came from, uh, from Selena. Not that other weird band you posted. The Selena Gomez original version came out just because it came out, you know, 20 years after... Your cover version doesn't mean that hers isn't the original. You speak nonsense. Broke all the girls' hearts, gotta break the guys' hearts now. No, I don't think, I think, I don't think it's gonna happen. Now, looks nice to see you. How's it going? So many people to destroy. I'm not trying to destroy people. I'm trying to create happiness. I'm trying to make love in the valley. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm downloading Baldur's Gate 3 now as well. Between that and Stardew, I might have to quit work. Now, geeks, I'm afraid to say, I, I adore you, geeks. I think you are wonderful. I really, really, really do. But I think, I think you have what's known as steam fever, which I think a lot of us have. It's, it's not unique to you, but it's where you acquire a whole bunch of games and play almost none of them for any significant period of time. But I mean, that's cool. That's cool. You have a nice collection you can look at and go, ooh, rando, dude, holy moly. Look at that rando raid. All my dreams are coming true. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, rando raids here every day, and then I raid rando sometimes. But the only reason why I do it is, you see, it's all part of my scheme. Because one day, you can see, look at, look, look, look at that, 52 viewers, holy moly. 
One day Randa's going to come in here. And every day before my stream starts, Randa's going to raid here with 8.9 million people. And I'll be like, whoa, it's a Rando raid. And he'll be like, yeah, it just happens every day. So peeps, go drop a follow. Go help Rando grow. Because when Rando grows, I grow. Thank you, Rando. Mightly kind of you. Holy moly. Huge. Go drop a follow, peeps, if you haven't. Uh, you started playing Helldivers 2 today. It's a lot of fun. Helldivers 2 is tons of fun. I will definitely play some more Helldivers at some point, And I will play with all of you in the community. It's a very, very cool game. I do enjoy it. Apparently, there's also a community game called mm, Content Warning which is similar to Lethal Company I want to play at some point. Mel did say she'd play with me. Apparently she said she'd rope in a Vayner, even though Vayner gets scared. I don't know. I mean, if that doesn't sound like the perfect stream, I don't know what is. We're going to have to wait and see. Mel Vayner. Mel Vayner getting scared. And uh, we'll, we'll rope in some more. Thanks for the shout out. Thank you for the raid, Rando. As I say, peeps, wow. Holy moly. Uh, Rando's busy running a supermarket. That, I would not play the game that far. That looked insane. There's just like people buzzing around everywhere. I'd get like anxiety. I hate going to like full shops like that. Uh, it's crazy, crazy, crazy amounts of people. Whoa. Hmm, we'll have to look into it. Hope you're not talking about uh, Lord of the Rings and Star Wars. We are not happy. Kath, why are you not happy with Lord of the Rings and Star Wars? Is that because um, of what Rando said? No, I, I know my law. I know my law on those two things. Um, I, can, I can discuss it. I know things. Ave is scared of you? I don't think Ave is scared of me. I just heard that Ave is scared of scary games in general. Helldivers 2 is one I like watching, but um, no, I won't like to play. Geeks, you say that. But there's still about an 80% chance you'll buy it, right? Oh, you should see my library? I would love to see your library, Geeks. In actual fact, I have just accepted a friend request from Geeks on Steam. Maybe I can see your library. Maybe I can. I mean, I've seen Timeless's library. I share Timeless's library with him. Um, your, no one else's library can be even nearly as bad. Not even close to being as bad. Timeless has games on there you wouldn't even believe people could own. That's what it is. It makes like the things that Kev gifts me look like children's games. Timeless has all sorts of weird crap on there. Also, in fact, there used to be a segment on the stream we should do again, which is Dunk plays games from Timeless's library. That's what we should do. Folks, this camera keeps shifting. I wonder why. Does it matter? Does it matter? I normally put it further down just because otherwise I look like I'm really short at the desk. But, you know, I don't, does it, does it matter? Does it, does it, does it really matter? I think it just keeps drifting back. Hmm. Hmm. Shapeshifter. I don't know. I must ask Rando. I'll ask. Polly says it doesn't matter. Do I look short? That's all that matters. Do I look like I'm sitting at my dad's desk? Does it look like that, you know? You want to flex your pecs? Look, the pecs are still in view, so it doesn't matter. It's just, do I, do I, you know, have more of this sort of action going on? Let the camera live its best life. Keep tiny desk. Tango Melon, it's not, it's not like that. It's not like that. You look uncomfortable at the desk. Right. Don't mind. I don't know, it just kind of moves. It like moves itself. No, I still haven't fixed it. I'll fix it offline. I don't know. Normally you can, I know because normally you can see this armrest. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, my only beef is with Randall complaining about fellowship ending with a cliffhanger. The books have been out for 60 years. It's not a cliffhanger. Um, listen, I'm going to be honest. I didn't read Lord of the Rings. I watched Lord of the Rings. So it did end on a cliffhanger with me. But I do feel like everyone is up front with you and they tell you that it's a trilogy. You know what you're getting into. And everyone knew that. Everyone knew that. So cliffhangers are always like when you think you're only watching one and then all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, what is this? Oh, there's 16 more. Uh, that's, that's cliffhanger problems. But I mean, they always said we're making three and they're coming out one after each other. So you knew what you were getting into. I will not comment on the camera angle. What's wrong with the camera angle? What's wrong with the camera angle? I don't understand. Dunk, it's a trap. I don't know what's going on. Dunk Stew Valley? Yeah, Dunk Stew Valley. You did not know that? Everyone knew that, Rando. Everyone knew that it was a trilogy. Trilogy. Hey, Mel, how's it going? How you doing? I did read a review. You've actually just reminded me. When Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring came out, there was a movie critic. Um, a South African movie critic who used to write about movies. And, um... Like, I saw a little bit about, like, the movie before I watched it and the characters, and I was convinced that the movie was going to be slightly different because do you know how the guy uh, described Aragorn? Do you know how Aragorn was described? As a ninja. That's what the movie reviewer said. He's a ninja. Like, oh, damn, this movie's got ninjas. This movie's got ninjas. There's going to be, like, a ninja in there. But no, Aragorn, I watched it. Uh, he wasn't a ninja. He was a ranger which is a slightly different thing, <laughs> you know, rogue ninja, yeah, yeah, 
No, he's not a rogue though. He's a he's a he's a ranger. He's a fighter. He's he's not a ninja. A ninja's like a totally different thing. That's what it is. Ranger, ninja, it's not. They're different types of jazz. Ranger, ninja. The the j part is spelt different. It makes the same sound, but it's spelt differently. Aragorn is a ninja. I stab them. All right, but now you've all got me confused about this angle. Randall won't even comment on the angle. What's what's going on? Hold on, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Don't look at Dunk's fingers. Don't look at my fingies. I think no. See now I look taller. I don't know what's going on. But then I keep having to. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what's happening with this thing. I'm gonna break it at some point, and then we're not even gonna be able to stream. That's what's gonna happen. We're not even gonna be able to stream. And I keep moving this mug further to the right because the mug kind of like gets rid of like the patch that like you can see. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna break the whole thing. I'm literally just gonna. It's 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 in a precarious thing. Peeps, you don't even know, this, this camera's held on by, have you ever seen, it looks like an octopus. It's like a thing that's got little balls, and that thing attaches to the, the back of my screen, and it interlocks with its things, and I don't know. Leave it alone, the angle's fine. I just don't want to look short at the desk. I don't want to look like I'm at my dad's desk. Everyone always tells me I look like I'm a receptionist, and it's, it's ridiculous. Ranger Ninja equals parkour, that's it. Ranger Ranger, sneaky shooter. Maybe he was a rescue ranger. Aragorn, rescue rangers, Ara Aragorn, when there's danger, you know he'll save Frodo and Samwise. Let me get into the game so you peeps don't have to hear me sing. Um, I don't know why I sing. I honestly, the moment, the moment I, I begin, I know I should never have, but I keep going. You look fine, Luna Sky. I look fine? You look fine. Yeah, I got called fine today, peeps. How's that? I don't think it was that kind of fine, though, but I'll take it. The third movie was called Return of the Ninja. Yes, definitely. Uh, I remember when the Hobbit trilogy came out, and everyone being angry about Feli Kili and Thorin dying. Been out for 80 plus years, says Luna Sky. Um, I don't remember any of that happening. I don't know. Well, so I wasn't there 80 years ago. I, I still maintain, I don't do spoilers for anything. I don't do spoilers for anything. I know some people are like, yeah, oh, six months is when you can do spoiler territory. I don't do spoiler territory. I don't, I don't do it, you know? I won't tell you what happened in Sixth Sense or M, any M. Night Shyamalan movie, for that matter. Um, I won't, I won't. I don't, I don't do spoilers. I always understand that someone couldn't have watched it, I guess. Don't forget modded game, I remembered today, Keisha. Such a pretty voice, Dunks. Thank you, Grayscar. I tried. I tried. Aragorn, Texas Ranger. <laughs> no, Rando, that's incorrect. Aragorn, Texas Ninja. Walker, Texas Ninja. Rando, that's what it is. Oh my god. What a cool... Someone called Chuck. I just came up with a billion dollar idea. Using nothing but Rando's help. Walker, Texas Ninja. Do we even need to stream? We're gonna be rich. We're gonna be rich now. I won't tell you who Rosebud was, says Holly. Hmm. Timeless is the spoiler one? Yeah, Timey says all the spoilers. I wouldn't. Hmm. Hmm. We equals rando. Blame Dunk. Sorry, you almost forgot. Uh, almost made. Sorry, you made almost go to work today. Wait, rando, you almost went to work today. You thought today was Monday. That's funny. Is there any better feeling, though? I don't know. Like, I haven't had this feeling since I started streaming. But have you ever had it? I had it with school. I had it with work sometimes. You wake up and you go, oh god, I gotta work today. Oh, I hate my life. I hate this. Oh, <gasps> it's Saturday. Yes, it's freaking Saturday. That feeling, the pain followed by the pleasure, was one of the greatest feelings you could. Like if they could bottle that feeling and sell it as a drink, I would drink that feeling all the time. That feeling that you didn't have to go there was amazing. David Carradine was the Texas Ninja. He was. Um, he was. Was he Bill in Kill Bill? I mean, I know who he is. I'm just trying to remember who Bill was. But yeah, I know, I know who the actor is. Uh, Giku, how's it going? How you doing? Walker out the door. Except I work this Saturday, says Zan. Yeah, I used to work Saturdays as well at the one job, Zan. That wasn't the best. Um, I'm still getting used to three days off, so I feel I need to work tomorrow. Geeks, you get three days off. Every day is Saturday. BCM, you living that best life. BCM came in here last week. Was that a week ago already? Kind of, huh? Holy moly. Anyway, BCM came in here a week ago. Every day is Saturday for them. And you wake up with that feeling every day. You go, ah, oh, have you learned? Have you learned how to bottle it? See? Teach us. Teach us. We can all be happy as well. 
The other feeling was more frequent, says Bipolar. Yeah, that's true, the, the uh, feeling. Good, awesome, nice to see ya. All right, for anyone who's just joined, a um, couple things. If you'd like to get caught up with a bit of Stardew, there are some shorts on YouTube. Uh, Timey will turn them all into a long. I don't know if you can call it a long or an ordinary. Like, what is a normal YouTube video called these days? A long. Because there's shorts and then there's long. So there's shorts and then there's mediums. Shorts and vids. I don't know, whatever. He's going to turn all the shorts into a, something that's larger than a short. He's going to turn them into a long. That's, I, I'm going to use long. He's going to... Longs? Why not longs? He's going to take the shorts and turn them into a what? A medium. He's going to turn them into a... A, a, an indeterminate amount of length that's longer than short, but not as long as long. Hmm. I thought you got run out of town, so I haven't been run out of town. Um, I have had all my girlfriends start to despise me. That's, that's what it is. They're gonna start to despise me. Uh, for anyone who missed it, I got an intervention. All my girlfriends found out I was dating all of them, and now I'm stuffed. Now I'm stuffed. Now they won't talk to me. So, I've done what anyone would do in my situation. Unable to find love in the arms of a woman, I have now started dating all the men. So, we'll see how that turns out. Um, maybe the girls will forgive me. I think they will. I think they will forgive me. But we'll, we'll see. So, if the girls forgive me, we're going to vote who to marry. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to keep um, working on these dudes. I don't know. I don't know. I need to find love in the valley. That's for sure. One way or another, love must be found. And we will do that. Other than that, um, I did get myself a cool weapon. It's the Galaxy Hammer. Look at it. Hey? Oh, crap, I picked up a couch. This hammer gives you telekinesis? That's pretty cool. Hey? Look at it. And it's even got like a womp. Pretty cool. So I can I can now descend deep into the the mines and see what's what. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my god, really? Yeah, bite. Really. Hey, Siem, you're up super duper 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 early. Let's go back to sleep, Siem. It's too early for you, Siem. They are vids, shorts, and vods. That's it. Oh my god, it's called a video. The shorts are called a, already a medium. Hmm. 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 You need 10 minutes? That's just too much. I'd like to know uh, how that pans out. Geek, you're going to find that out right now, Giku. Right now. So, yeah, as you can see, I have quite a lot of people in the valley. Some of them don't give a crap about me. Um, but some of them, as you can see many hearts now the cool thing about this game for anyone who hasn't been watching me play this game what a brilliant brilliant game i thoroughly recommend this game to everyone it has so many cool aspects to it um i predominantly i've been playing this game now for 70 hours i predominantly have been working on relationships but you could work on the farm so like i mean this farm could definitely use some work um i have snuck into a couple other streamers who are playing this game i've seen the things that they do people have some really really cool ideas for their farms um, most of it involves a lot of deforestation. So getting rid of most of these trees, and then you can build, like, all sorts of cool things. Um, it's pretty awesome, it's pretty awesome. You can make fish, people have, like, fisheries, people have breweries, uh, there's mods in the game that do so, it looks really cool. So I've only basically just scratched the surface, but that, that's fine for me. I'm focusing on love. Donkey love a man. Shaba? Hey, I thought it would be fun to send you a letter. I don't really know what to write, though. Here, I've enclosed a treat for you. Don't tell anyone, but I snagged this from the back room of Jojo Mart ages ago. All right, so what do we think about the fact? Shane, so Shane's quite a cool dude. Uh, he started off as a dick, but I've made him turn into a personable character. He does have his issues, but um, he's a nice enough guy. He has just sent me a pizza that he got from the back room of a supermarket, and I quote, ages ago. Do we think that this is a good gift or do we think that this is garbage? What do we what do we reckon? Like frozen? I mean, I'm gonna assume it's frozen for the sake of my health. But um yeah. Snagged from a back room ages ago, shoved a pizza, doesn't know what to write, so instead shoved a frozen pizza into my mailbox. What would you all think if someone shoves a frozen pizza into your mailbox overnight and you wake up the next morning? What would you think? Would you think that that's a good gift or would we think that that's a bad gift? Verde reckons it's true love. Must be true love. True love. This game is not what I thought it was. I'm really enjoying it so good, geeks. A short is longer than 10 seconds is a mid. Yeah, but what if it's 10 minutes, Rano? Then it's a long. It's like freaking Zawanechi 918 song. And eight, 8 minutes is like an eternity. 
A long is six minutes, and then eight minutes is an eternity. Shane loves you so much, he's shoplifted. There's Shane right now. What's up, Shane? My body hurts a lot since I cut back on the booze. All right, so I've been actually been giving Shane pizza. Um, I used to give him beer. And then a lot of you, like, got upset with me because, you know, he's, like, a recovering drinker and I was giving him beer as a gift. It was an easy way to get hearts, but, you know, it's, uh, I've stopped now. And I give him pizza because I learned he likes that. This guy, I need to get to 10 out of 10 hearts. And then these two, Sam and Alex. Alex is the biggest problem. I just don't have any of the things he desires. But if we do that, literally every single person in the valley has 10 out of 10 hearts with us. I think, I think that should be an achievement. Hey, donkey snake! Z, don't brush your hair in here. Okay, here's Alex right here. What do you want? Hey? True love. What do you want? Five out of eight hearts. I've got more important things to do right now. Oh my god, he's so hard to get. Have a pizza. You've already given... Damn it, because I know that this pizza... Whoever has this pizza will get... And uh, I don't mean to sound crass, but it's um, called the trots. We can give him the trots, and I'm sad that we couldn't. Uh-oh. Itchy nose. Holy, holy. Hey, chat star. Hey, it's Split. What's up, Split? How you doing, dude? Now, Split has been doing the opposite of BCM lately. Split has um, been working too damn hard. That's not cool, dude. I'm sorry. I hope that you're good, Split. It's fantastic. I'm sorry to bring up the W word while you're here, but it's good to see you, my friend. I hope that you are the best. I'm having a great time over in Stardew Valley. Uh, so much drama. Honestly, so much drama. I can barely describe it. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. That's that's what's been going on. How do you get them for the crabs? Uh, how do I get the crabs? I have to put a uh, bait in there. Oh, no. My mom's making lentil soup tonight. Oh, you poor, poor boy. I promise you when you get older, it'll start tasting better. Yeah, I'll give you a pizza. Your mom doesn't need to know. For me? Wow, thanks. There you go. All right, I gave that kid 12-day-old pizza. He'll be okay. He's got a young body. He'll bounce back from the toxin. Hmm. I wonder if it's anyone's birthday today. I better check the, uh, the calendar by Pierre's shop. Okay, that's cool. That tells me... Hey, that's like a tip in the game. There's a calendar by the shop? What? I'm a cat. Fun today and went uh, fishing, but forgot uh, my mosquito repellent. Oh, God, dude. I actually have something to, to tell everyone. I d Some of you probably won't believe me. But this is a true story. To the best of my knowledge, I have never been bitten by a mosquito. Either that or I don't get mosquito bites. I hate mosquitoes. They go around, but I, to the best of my knowledge, have never been bitten by a mosquito. They'll fly around my head when I'm sleeping and stuff, and I'll be like, you bastards! That's the reason why I always sleep with the fan on, or one of the reasons why I always sleep with the fan on. And also, for anyone who doesn't know, if any of you ever, you know, thought to yourself, hey... I'd like to date a dunk in real life. The number one criteria I use when selecting a mate. It's got nothing to do with looks. Got nothing to do with personality. Nothing to do with any of that. The primary thing that I look at before I decide whether I'm going to select a mate is do mosquitoes like them more than they like me? Because if the answer is yes, then I know I'm going to have a good life. That's what I, I can lie in my bed and the mosquitoes will harass them. They won't harass me and they will do that for me. That will be their sacrifice. And uh, they were going to get bitten by the mosquitoes anyway. So yeah, that's that's it. So that's why, yeah, you know, on the second date, I basically grab her hand and I put it in a glass box. And we let a mosquito fly around. And if it goes and lands on her hand, then it's love. Have I ever got past a second date? No. Never. Probably, probably that scares him. That's probably what happens. Uh, do you get more bites or more bitten? Mm. I heard there are people like that. I assume you don't eat sweets much. I don't. Split, are they attracted to sugar? Actually, sugar gives me migraines. So I don't need sugar at all. Is that is that a thing? I mean, luck, mosquitoes love me. Well, there we go. Now you're on the list. You're on the list. How lucky for you. <laughs> I get got all the time. There we go. Giku's on the list. Oh dear, mosquitoes love me. Kath also on the list. Good, good for all of you. You eat a lot of sugar, says Mixed Matt. Acacia's offering you her cheese. Will you accept it? Okay. Thank you, Arcasia. Cheese to finish the artisan bundle. Okay, I wasn't sure what was going on. Cool, thank you, Arcasia. Alright. 
Now, I am playing co-op. Um, my co-host, Arcasia, over here is just keeping things ticking along, you know? They love me, and I'm really allergic to Tammy. I'm so sorry for you. But also, on the list. So sorry for you. Okay, if I was an artisan bundle... Ooh. Ah. Cool. A keg. Place a fruit or vegetable in here, and then she will turn into a beverage. Okay, I can finally get um, Pam's Pale Ale done. Thank you, Acacia. You do good work. Hmm. I think so. I'm a mosquito magnet. There we go. Split's on the list. Sorry, Split. You're on the list. That's what that mean. Translation one works. One does the fun stuff. Ilsida, that's not entirely true. Um, would you consider it fun, the fact that I have had my heart broken? Like, have any of you ever gone through a breakup? I've gone through a breakup. It freaking sucks, right? Breakups are probably the worst things in the entire world. Nothing worse than being dumped, right? I've been, I've been dumped a couple times. It sucks. It freaking sucks. But, you know what's worse than being dumped by one person? Being dumped by seven people at the same time. And that's what happened to me in this game. I'm surprised I can even stream. Honestly, I just wanted to lie in bed today and eat chocolate ice cream, even though I don't like sugar. Do something just to make the pain go away. I got dumped by all my girlfriends in Stardew Valley at the exact same time. Literally all of them at the exact same time. You all cannot imagine the pain. So yeah, if that's, if that's what you consider fun, Ilsida, then I suppose I'm having fun. I'm having a lot of fun. Well, you found your heart. Mm. No! It's a super soft drink. It does suck, but it sucks, huh? I think it sucks. Man, it sucks. So yeah, that's it. So, never again. That's why. In fact, let's see. Maybe they'll talk to me now. Maybe, maybe enough time has passed. Hi, Emily. You know, I'm sure Gus would understand if I wanted to leave the saloon someday. <gasps> so much out there, I can't stay a barmaid forever. I agree. Why be a barmaid when you can be my lover? <gasps> I think they're forgiven. I think they've forgiven me. I think they've forgotten. I think they've forgotten. So if anyone doesn't know, there was like a bit of like a... I'm going to call it a bug. Because they all... Like I spoke to them and then they kind of forgave me. But then straight after they forgave me, they were all like... Ah, you're the worst. Get away from me. So... Hmm. I'm back with human head on a spike for breakfast because I'm a weirdo. Um, I mean, you know, as long as you enjoy it, I suppose it's fine. Ice cream. Who wants an ice cream? I bought someone an ice cream. Dang, he's back in with a chance. Heck yeah. Toffee coffee? How are you doing toffee coffee? No, oh, I think it's... So what you're saying is there's a chance. Yeah, there's a freaking chance. It's happening. One in a million. Let's do it. Uh, just so you know, the forgiveness was an update previously before they never forgave you? Really? Like, for reals? I don't like that. I don't like that. I believe, you know, anything can be forgiven. Maybe. Maybe not. See, thank you, bounce back. Fun. It's a fine looking day. Okay, this one was never... Okay, I'm gonna buy you an ice cream. Maybe she likes ice cream. Would you like an ice cream? For me, this is such a thoughtful gift. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything for you. I'm good. Worked 52 hours this weekend, Ty, but so glad I popped on tonight. I'm sorry that you had to work so hard. Uh, it's nice to have you pop on. I like ice cream for breakfast and cereal for dinner. Split? Sounds like a healthy lifestyle you are going there, buddy. You enjoy. Oh. Hi, Dunkstar. Yes, I'm back in. I'm back in. Dunk is back, baby. Okay, now, to be honest, right? Do you like my bow? I freaking love your bow. Do you like ice cream? Kids have to love ice cream. I love presents. No, I don't even feel like they do. I honestly don't know what to give these kids to make them like me. Um. Oh, wait, I gave him, yeah, I gave him the pizza. I heard you were responsible for fixing the bus back up. Thank you. You're welcome. Of all the ladies, I would say by far, okay, by far, and I don't want to like, so for anyone who doesn't know, what we're going to do for the marriage is we are going to, um, 
verse. We're going to have like a round robin battle royale of all the people. So we're going to have like Sebastian versus um, Sam. We're going to have Shane versus Penny. We're going to have like a whole uh, battle royale romance kind of style. And then we're going to decide who I'm going to marry. Just like that. All of you are going to be responsible for me having my love life. I don't want to skew the poll too much. But I would say by far. And when I say by far, I mean by far. Penny was the saddest that I was, you know, 12 timing all the girls. Penny was just like sad and she was just like, I, uh, like all the others were angry and stuff you and she was just like broken. So I kind of felt really sad for poor Penny. I kind of did. So I'm not going to lie, Penny, Penny, I, I felt, I felt bad. Some of them were just kind of mean to me. Haley was just like yelling at me. Do you like kids? You need to marry her. She really loves you. Maybe. You know, Haley is the one. We'll vote. How are you, Ferret? How's it going? Are we really getting married today? I think we should get married today. Today could be the day. I wouldn't mind, just so we have everyone in, I wouldn't mind having Elliot at 10 hearts, Sam at 10 hearts, but and Alex at 10 hearts, but I don't know how I'm going to do this. Arkasia, if you can help me. um, I don't think Arkasia can help me, though. Alex likes full breakfast. We, I don't think we have full breakfast. Alex likes... Uh, it, Alex is just hard. Sam... Sam... What did Sam like? Sam... Sorry. Sam loves pizza, maple bar, cactus fruit. So Sam's easy to please. Um, let me go find Sam quickly. But yeah, Alex... I don't know what the hell we're going to do for Alex. Alex is almost impossible. You deserve all the heat? Randolph, you mean the heat of passion? Then I agree with you. I deserve that heat. I'm a good guy. I deserve the heat of passion, yes. Everyone should love me. Bum, 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 bum. Say yes to the suit. Hey, Mist, how's it going? How you doing? Mist, there's a new game out called Content Warning. Have you played it or seen it? And do you recommend it? I got it when it was free. It's apparently the new Lethal Company. Which made me obviously think of you, you know? George spends the whole day in front of that darn television set. That sucks for you. Have a crab. It smells awful. <clears throat> that old woman told me my crabs smell awful. Well, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Why be that way? All right, peeps, if you were Sam, where the hell does Sam go during the day? Sam, I feel like you should be skateboarding around here or something. Um, I was playing it earlier. It's very funny, he says Bite. Nice. I've seen it and friends played it, but I haven't played it myself. Looks very fun, though. Okay, yeah, I didn't want to watch too much to not get a spoiler. Hello, Dunkstar. Do you ever get lonely on that big farm? Yes, I'm back in with all the ladies. All the ladies. Stop by my cabin if you ever need someone to talk to. Yes, they love me again. Leia was also pretty sad with me, hey? Leia was also pretty sad. Hey, Dunk, say Damien's? How are you, friend? Good to see ya. Easiest is Alex likes eggs. No, but he doesn't. I want. I need what they love because I don't have a lot of time, you know? So I, I know what he likes, but I need to know what he loves. Oh, there we go. He's shooting pool. Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. Yeah, you are. Okay. Oh, yeah. Pizza time. See? Soon. Okay, here's the other lady. Yo, this one was furious with me. Abigail, absolutely, absolutely furious with me. Be nice to see her smile again. Do you ever get lonely on your farm? Oh my god, all the ladies are just asking me, do I ever get lonely on my farm? I think they want to marry me. All the ladies want to marry me. And I'll marry them. Just which one, you know? Hello, father. I have arrived. Hi, everyone. How are you? If anyone who doesn't know, if you ever hear me refer to my father in stream, that is Chopper. Um, if you ever want to play a cruel joke on my daughter, give her a truffle. She might not forgive you, though. I think she might be allergic. Oh, let's just poison your daughter. Gr good one, Robin. <laughs> what? Armor needs a wife? Yeah. Have you beaten the Cowboy Arcade game? Can it be beaten? Can Journey of the Prairie King be defeated? How many levels are there? I've got to, like, level three. I mean, I'm probably god tier at this game. I normally only die, like... Every 30 seconds. Ooh, a mystery box. 
There's also things that come late in the game that I don't know what they are, which kind of is upsetting to me. Like, I don't know, I don't know what some of them are. Oh, this thing pauses people? Okay. So some of them literally just insta-kill you, and it's kind of a dick move, because you didn't know that they were going to get insta-killed, you know? But as you can see, as you can see, obviously God tier. Yes, it can. It's achievement too. So this game actually has an end. Okay. Good to know. Now this is the best gun by far. Look at this thing. Ooh, yeah. Pew, 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 pew. All the coins. Now let me know if you need a co 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 partner. Sorry, miss. I'll be with you in just a second. Once we get to level two. Shazzy, thank you so much for the subscription. Really and truly, peeps. I thoroughly, 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 thoroughly appreciate all the support. All you absolute, absolute legends. Let's get that out of the way. Happy weekend. Happy weekend to you. Okay, flawless victory. All right, hold on a second. Oh, no. I hope that that saves. Um, you know, a game is good when you play a game uh, in their game. That's true. I love play. I feel like Gameception is one of the greatest things ever. A game within a game. Miss says, if you need a Coco partner, if you play it, I'll buy it. Always happy to give free content of Evil Scared Giggles. I mean, I did ask Mel. You know, I always beg Mel to play games with me. Mel always says no. So hopefully this one will will get will get in. Yes. So you've discovered the game within the game, Miss Bell. It's, it's good. There's the other one as well. Chopper, thank you. A lot of people, 95 streams streaking. It's been 95 streams since that fateful day. Folks, I do have something... I don't know what to do with streaks, but I have thought about every now and then playing, like, obviously, like, we used to do, like, the other... So, for anyone who does know, I stream from 6 a.m. my time, normally to about, like, 12 or, you know, if I stream 6 hours, otherwise, like, 2 p.m. at the latest. And I used to have, like, another slot where I'd stream at, like, 4 p.m., 5 p.m. my time. Um... Sometimes I'm like, yeah, I could have another stream, but these streaks, I'm scared you people get angry with me. So I'm just giving, I'll give warning before I do it, but if I ever do it, you you know, you folks must know, they'll, I don't want you to lose your streaks, but you know, more streams sometimes is fun. Hmm. I just don't like to streak, I guess, says Matt. Happens, happens, not for everyone. No, don't you dare, that's 2 a.m. for me. Now you'll notice that Mel, Mel doesn't come out for the Mel doesn't play games for, with me. Mel doesn't give a crap about that. Mel will come out for the don't you dare break my streak. Mel, I'll let you know before it happens, okay? You can look. No! It restarted? Wait, I'm sure there's an option, though. I'm sure there was an option to actually save it. Hold on. When you go into it... Did I just click the wrong thing? No. So, legitimately, I can't press... This, uh, sorry, folks. Okay, this, this game is not conducive to streaming. I can't pause it. If I press escape, I lose my... Pro I'm sure there was like a save option. I don't know what's going on. Oh crap, I'm getting pretty worked into this corner. Such, such, such a great game. Such an in-depth soundtrack. Z, this is the type of song you could listen to for eight minutes. I'm sure. Ooh, what the heck is that thing? Oh, yeah! Look at this! Is this new? I've never seen this thing before. Heck yeah! A machine gun. Holy moly. Like a lot. Uh, it takes like 20 minutes. You think what? To finish this game? Okay, now maybe, maybe this is not something for stream then. Um, I guess it just kind of depends. Is this the thing that hurts me or hurts them? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you folks don't want to watch me. I mean, I was really, I did this in like Cyberpunk. I played Roach Race and it was probably the single um, greatest stream ever. I'm sure you peeps loved me playing that game within a game. So this is kind of like a way that I sucker all of you into watching me play retro, you know? The enemies don't even want to come anymore. There we go. They're too scared. Okay, maybe I'm just too good at the game. Maybe it'll take... Ooh. 
No, no. This is just as entertaining to me, it says Split. No, there's no love and intrigue. I mean, unless I romance these creatures. What do we think? Hello, sweet goblin man. Let me give you a gift. Hold you in my arms. Come live on my farm. I mean, what do we think about that? Kapem! I don't know if there's like a pattern to this game, I must learn. Okay, that thing I assume will kill me. Like a trap. Oh. Okay, I do have a thing that kills all of them. There's too much heat. Okay, no, just die! Die, beasts! Okay, I'm pretty sure that's gonna get pretty tough. You can see there's like little like spiky guys now that come. Alright, is everyone as enthralled? Oh my god. Yeah, I just didn't kill things enough. Was everyone as enthralled and see this action as I was? See, and this game is definitely not conducive to reading chat. So definitely, now is not the time to write something meaningful and funny or do anything that requires any form of attention. As your streamer cannot concentrate. I like that they turn into grass when they die. It's very Lion King, right? When we die, our bodies become the grass. Oh, who's this person? Oh, <clears throat> okay. Um, I have coins and I can buy these things. So I can only buy a pair of boots. Or eight coin. I don't know what they do. All right. Have you tried the other arcade machine? I have. I did pretty good at it. Out of curiosity, anyone here ever play Mech Quest? I've never played Mech Quest. Rando says, maybe. I don't even remember what we're talking about. What are those things supposed to be anyway? They are weird little gremlin monsters. Or something. And the antelope eat the grass. That is exactly right, Bulgy Fish. But because this is Stardew Valley, um, when, when the goblins die, their bodies become the grass. And the farmers scythe the grass. Or the cows eat the grass. One of those. There we go. Ips, why are we... No, no gorilla butts in chat. You, you meant, your stream is meant to be focusing on finishing this game. And welcome everyone. Thank you very much for the follows. I appreciate them. I can't believe I got follows playing some, uh, some of this. If anyone who's just joined, I've absolutely adored playing this game so far. Really fun. Not, not, not the game within the game. This is a very cool game, but Stardew itself has been great. I've had an interesting few days in the valley. Uh, it's a really excellent game. Holy moly. Yeah, there's like little dragon dudes now that take two shots, but they go slower, so that's also fine. Okay, now I think I'm just... Whip out my, my machine gun. Get mini-gunned. Cup of coffee and a star. Holy moly, what is this? Oh, oh. Okay, the star seems pretty cool. I don't know, I think the coffee just makes me... Eat more? Need to go to the bathroom more. Holy moly. <laughs> coffee. Okay, the coffee makes you go too fast. It's uh, problematic. Problematic for sure. Okay. My sp speed kills, peeps. It's the motto of the road, and apparently it's the motto of this game as well. Ha! Crap, just let me get that gun. Ah! Uh-oh. I should have just gone with my pistol. Okay, so now it's very much about getting the buffs in time before these dudes... Okay, I've got the coffee. Makes me fast. This is my last life. If I die... We get to go back to Dating Simulator. Come on, someone give me a gun. None of you guys are packing? Like, for reals? What's the point of being an evil goblin and you ain't packing? Ah, oh, crap. Young lost his girlfriends? Uh, yeah, I uh, got caught by all of them. You got this? I only have one life left. I'm glad you like it, and that's why you've given it a fair chance to see the depth in it. It really is a great game. Z, who did you romance? Everyone tell me who you romanced. When you played this game, I romanced everyone, 
And now I have no one left. Maybe. But we'll see. I'm gonna get married today. I can feel it. Today's the day you can all help me know who to get married. You romanced Zarkon. You didn't even romance one of the in-game characters. You romanced your friend in the game. No! Man, that was a... Sorry, Z... Z took me by surprise. You married a cutscene-free person. Yep. Holy moly. Holy moly. And what did Mrs. Zarkon think of that? <laughs> All right, it was not this day that we complete that. I've not got that far. Yeah, but I should have got further. I made a few stupid mistakes. Uh, today I'm going to yell at myself in front of the mirror over that. It's probably my greatest life regret. Mm. So it's boyfriend time, it's it. Uh, so jokes aside, evildoer, all the girls were not talking to me. So yeah, I started romancing the boys. That's uh, <clears throat> That's what's happened in the game. But the girls actually have started talking to me again. So I think I pretty much have the um, the entire valley is up for the for the picking. Robin is busy. Demetrius is busy. I feel like I want to cut in. I feel like I want to cut in. So yeah, the, the, the entire valley is fair game for me right now. It's it's a thing. It's for reals. So yeah, pretty much. Um, I'm just waiting for Sunday again. But yeah. Uh, Sam... Sam's still got a ways to go. I must talk to Sam today. Actually, I didn't talk to him. And then Alex. Alex has ages to go. I just don't have anything Alex wants. Hmm, if you give the cue ball a bit of a topspin, maybe I could... Oh, I'm not very good. That's okay. That's okay. I forgive you. All right, and I think tomorrow, Keiji, if you want to join me, I think tomorrow I'm going to go into the desert and um, go try my hand at that dungeon now that I have the galaxy hammer. A super weapon of law. If, if you'd like to join. I don't know if... We, I, I feel like bombs are the way to succeed in there. But, um... I don't think we should bring bombs on day one. I think we should kind of feel it out, see how it goes. And then we bring bombs from, like, day two or day three, you know? How does that sound? I mean, you don't have to if you've got other things going on. I, I get that as well. Sell my crabs and my cockle. Still got that golden pumpkin or pearl? No. Wait, he... Okay, pearl. Is there no way for me to acquire pearls? I don't have those. Um... Alex likes pearls and golden pumpkins. What about the purple cup of tea? Okay, yeah. Do you, do you still have that... Can I trade you for a purple cup of tea? I, I'm sure there's something I have that you want. And don't say Abigail, because Abigail, Abigail, unfortunately, does have to form part of the, of the process. Sounds good. Uh, we do have a quest for the bone fragments. Nice. It's all going to come together. You'll see. Alex likes complete breakfast. Yeah, the problem by it is my breakfast is incomplete, hey? All I can make is hash browns and omelet and cheese cauliflower and fried egg. I can't make complete breakfast. I never watched enough TV growing up. That's the problem. You will like that too? They are universal loves. Yeah, I don't have the love. The galaxy sword. Um, we can get you a prismatic thing, Keja. I'll I will find you a prismatic shard. That's what I will do. I will sneak into Haley's room and we will take the prismatic shard that she was gifted. And didn't like. It's probably in a rubbish bin. I'll go I'll go dumpster diving. We'll find it for you. If anyone who missed it, apparently there's an incredibly rare uh, item in the game. And I gave it to Haley, and she hated it. So that's unfortunate. I didn't realize at the time that it was as rare as I thought. Alex likes salmon dinner. Um, salmon dinner. I need a salmon and amaranth. No, I've never had amaranth. I've never watched amaranth. I've never harvested amaranth. I've never had anything to do with amaranth. When can you... I think amaranth is a... I mean, maybe we can get some now. I don't know. Keisha, are we, are we, uh, when's Amaranth? It's Amaranth in season. What do, what do we reckon? Yes, it likes the book Jack Be Nimble, Jack Be Thick. Jack loves that freaking candlestick. Complete breakfast, I think he likes, but it isn't easy one to get. Yeah, I don't know how to get it. Hey, I, I believe I was supposed to watch TV. I've heard that a few times, so I'm just kind of, like, unable to please him. Maybe Keisha knows how to make complete breakfast? Keisha, can you make complete breakfast? I'm gonna like deforest this place where I've got some energy. 
Just a little bit, you know? She's on kick. She used to be on Twitch. I don't know where everyone... I think now you can just stream everywhere. So everyone's probably, everyone's probably everywhere. I'll check. Thank you, Keja. Uh, what is complete breakfast, though? Sorry, before we even go down this route, what is complete breakfast? As in, can anyone tell me? I think someone said you combine hash browns with, with scrambled egg or something. Does that sound correct? Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, little tree. I'm deforesting this area so we can get in here easily. Let's see what we're doing. Lucky charms are part of a complete breakfast. <laughs> I don't think I don't think that's correct. Man, oh man. <clears throat> you don't have the recipe? You haven't been watching enough TV, Arcasia. I mean too out of busy in the farms and not uh, watching television. That's the problem. Hmm. It is a recipe, but fried eggs, pancakes, and hash browns. Holy moly. Alex is gonna get swole. Uh, and welcome on in, Rosie Thorns. Thanks very much for the, the tip. BRB, all right, ZZ. <gasps> Wait, but okay, what if it makes me love you? What if I love you after this tea? I do love you. Marry me. Marry me, Acacia. Hey. That. Look at that. <laughs> Chris, okay, no, bye. <laughs> you need oil and wheat flour. Um, I think, okay, so I think I bought some oil the other day for something or other. I can't quite remember. Uh, but thank you, everyone. So, yeah, so I decided, okay, I've got, I've got a cup of tea for Alex. So that's cool. So come Sunday, at least have something. So until that, I can also be better. I've also got lobsters for Elliot. Because he's uh, got one level to go. Now, for anyone who's just joined, um, we've come up with Elliot's full name. His surname is Elliot Shim He's Elliot Shampooman. That's his name. Elliot Shampooman. And uh, for anyone who doesn't know, we're going to do a battle royale for which relationship I'm going to be in. So all the people are going to duke it out. Um, I think the girls are talking to me again, even though I broke all their hearts. I believe they're all going to speak to me once more, which is lovely. Buy the plate of food, not the recipe. Buy the plate. How do you buy the plate of food? Who, who, who sells it? Pick it up at Piers or... A restaurant, maybe. Hmm. Gus will sell it. All right. Pancake and milk are the parts we forgot. Okay, thanks, peeps. All right, I'll, I'll take a look-see in the morning. Let me just quickly get to bed. <clears throat> then we'll see. Yes, I've got till Sunday to do it. Um, I just, I don't have the, the recipe though. That's the problem. So I think I just have to wait for it to come back on TV because otherwise there's really not much I can do. But if Gus sells it, I can buy it from Gus. I can definitely sort of buy my way out of this. Gus menus rotational. Re okay, I've, kind of makes sense. I didn't know that, but I sort of had noticed it. Probably. I looked at some of his stuff and I was like, mm. but yeah, Sunday will be gifting day again. So today I'll go in the mines. Um, let me put my gifts in here. I'll get them out next time. I'll take the crocus. Because there's that other lady over there that also need to love me. Okay, I'll put this keg over in Tiny's base. I've got some mail as well, that's cool. Okay, so Timeless', is, Timeless is, um home is basically just like a weird factory. I think I need to get him a bigger house though. Can I brew beer outside? Okay, I've had a quest like for forever where Pam needed me to make pale ale. Pam is thirsty. Regular old beer, you can brew one yourself if you have hops and a keg. Where the hell do you get hops from? Hops. How am I going to get hops? Hops. Did I play Scorched Earth? I did, Snake. Um, I've got a server up if you'd like to, to go on there. Um, I hopped in for a few days. And it was cool. It was cool. I didn't get to... I tried to look for the new beast. I didn't get it. I got myself a high-level Thyla, 145. Have you jammed it all? They're growing? Oh, hops is growing. Thank you, Kasia. Oh, you do such good work, Arcasia. Okay, sorry. I just need lots and lots and lots of inventory space um, in the mines. 
It was cool, figured it'd be hard. Uh, it was freaking boiling. I died about 50 times on day one. Fisherman wanted. I need a gold pufferfish specimen. I'm conducting an experiment on the toxin created by the pufferfish. Done. I will accept your quest. Now, for anyone who's just joined, I'm sure a lot of you have seen this game, and due to the graphics and sort of like the, the alleged cozy nature, I know a lot of people have dismissed this game. It's so good. It's so good. Are you in spring by chance? Nah, it's summer. It's the 6th of summer. It's such a fun game. It's really cool. It's got a lot of aspects to it, from combat to relationships to farming. Uh, lots and lots and lots of cool little numbers that go up slowly. What's, what's better than that in a game, you know? Things you can build, things you can create. Wonderful. I can't believe one person made this game. It's nuts. And Snake, that was actually honestly the next thing I was going to say. I can't believe it's done by one person. Apparently made for their kids. Incredible. Should be an inspiration for anyone um, who's in game development. Such a cool success story. You lost all your girlfriends, Goldie Snatch. If anyone wants to see it, uh, if you go onto our YouTube or the TikTok's got a bit more. I um, I actually had all the girlfriends. I was romancing all the girls in this. And apparently if you romance all the girls, they find out. And they had an intervention with me. That, that happened. Yeah. I lost all my girlfriends. But it's cool. Now nah, I've got five boyfriends. So I think I think the girls have forgiven me though. So our relationship is going to be it's going to be fine. We're gonna we're gonna have marriage wars. That's what we're gonna do. We're basically gonna have like the Bachelor Twitch edition, and all of you are gonna fight. We're gonna have like Haley versus Abigail, Penny versus Shane, Elliot versus Maru. We're gonna have like showdowns, and you peeps are gonna vote. You're gonna vote for who you think. Unless you have a rabbit's foot, I did hear a rabbit's foot would have stopped it. Unfortunately, I was told not to get a rabbit's foot. But anyone who does know my co-host, Arcasia over here, actually foiled me. I was gonna get a, a rabbit's foot, and then Arcasia's like, don't get the rabbit's foot. I was like, oh, okay. And then Arcasia actually led me to Haley's house, where I got busted. And the reason why Arcasia did that is because Arcasia wants to marry Abigail. So, yeah. I'm embroiled in a love triangle with an NPC, and she's playing two player characters off against each other, if you can believe that. So, yeah. Goldie Snatch says I deserved it? No, I lost all my girlfriends. It's not cool. Don't mind that old dog next to the house. He might look at you cross, but he'll never get up from that box in a hundred years. Hundred years. Do you think that's a typo or do you think that's just how Pam talks? Hundred years. When nine hundred years you do reach. Ira, how are you? How's it going? The old boy's name? It's Dusty. Yeah, Pam. I want you to get the scene you earned. Occasion, you are cruel and unusual. And because of that, I very well might marry Abigail. You'll see. You'll see, Arcasia. Hmm. You don't like pay. You don't like... Oh, Pam, maybe. I like Pam. Pam was my first love. She's the first person I got to 10 hearts. I just bought her a lot of beer. But yeah, she was quite mean to um, Penny. When I, and I, she was kind of obnoxious to me when I tried to clean her apartment, so... That's it, but let's not speak ill of her. She has to, to get us there. It's called content. Sheesh. Listen, I have a lot of content on this stream, but I don't need I don't need my heart broken by seven people at once kind of content, you know? Streamer gets crushed live on stream. I like pay working for free stinks. Yeah, I agree with that. It's Saturday, yay! So I drank a tad bit too much. Oh, Ira's coming in hot. Ira, how you doing, Ira? Hope you're having a good Saturday. It's good Saturday, yay. Hmm. Arcasia was just helping. Arcasia was trying to thwart me. Arcasia has the eyes on Abigail. That's what's going on. Oh, a visitor. Yes. Yeah, I have one of these. <gasps> ah, even in winter, Stardew Valley has beautiful flowers. One out of ten hearts. Eat crocus. No, no, thank you. Hi, welcome to Sandy's Oasis, the number one destination in Calico Desert. Whisper, did I sound professional? Oh, Sandy, so professional. Ooh. I assaulted Sandy with a hammer. I didn't mean to, but apparently right click with that does that. Wait, these mannequins cost 12 Gs each. What the heck? It's super duper expensive. I think you should get along with Krobus. He's a nice roommate. I've heard a lot of people say Krobus. I'm just, I want to see what happens. I assume if you get enough hearts with her, you can go backstage here with Vancer. That's what I'm going to do. Z, thank you for that. Uh, Z, weirdly enough, the, the YouTube actually doesn't have the TikTok ones actually longer. It has me hiding under my desk. I literally took a break. 
because I uh, got scared. What the heck's going on? Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, bum. Someone tell me what happened because this thing's supposed to integrate with Twitch, but it seems broken, so... Who knows? You might be out of girlfriends, but timey will never leave you. Love is for life. I might be out of girlfriends, but timey will never leave me. Love is for life. Who the hell wrote that? <laughs> Who the heck wrote that? <laughs> Thank you for the generosity, but what a crock of nonsense. For anyone who doesn't know, Timey's my co-host who thwarts uh, me in this game. He's been nothing but a pain. Whoever that was, thank you. Uh, feel free to step forward um, and say, where's Timey? Uh, Timey's got stuff to do. So he streamed yesterday. I'm taking his day today. Best time to walk into that. Hey, Walls, how's it going, dude? I think more people are likely to click a YouTube link. I hear, I hear you, Z. I get you. I think TikTok's got a bad rap, huh? I don't really know with all the stuff that's happening. All right, Acacia. This works like a speed run. For anyone who doesn't know, you come into this mine and you have to like find the exits ASAP and you have to try to get down as far as possible and jump down holes and things. Wee! I fell three levels. This is a pretty cool challenge. Oh, so stuff is more important than us. Ira, he didn't say all of you, but he did specifically mention you by name. Timus sometimes does that. For anyone who doesn't know, if there's one thing Timus despises, it's the community. And yeah, he mentioned you by name. Like he said, like, yeah, I don't want to stream today because... And then he like kind of made like a gagging sound. He said, because I, Ira... Ira will be there. And then he... After mentioning your name, he spat. It was terrible. I said to him, how could you? Ira is delightful. Ira is wonderful. I love Ira. And Thomas was like, you oh, know, whatever. So yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you had to hear that from me. But he's just the worst. When you walk in the zone, um, I get first Pokemon vibes. I actually, please don't hate me, Snake. I still have never played a Pokemon game. Oh my god. Kev, none of that. Damn, this thing is not very, not very powerful. None of that. Sorry, who did the no-no, by the way? Thank you. Who, who did the dono? Did any, was it, was it anonymous? Whoever you are, thank you. Thank you for that. Um, wow. Again, the words, the words complete garbage. Um, other than that. Very generous, very kind. Giku. I actually honestly think the Galaxy Sword is better. Brindy, no, no, you don't have to do it just because Kev's doing it. Oh, Kev is so cool, I want to be like Kev. You don't, you don't have to, Brindy. I actually honestly think the Galaxy Sword is better than this hammer. I think just because of the speed. But I mean, this does have this right click, so there's that. Okay. It is a gif. Holy moly, Kev, Walsp, get subdued. Not for one month, not for two months, not for three, four, or five, six months. Holy crap, Kev. Well, Walsp, you're trapped now. So for anyone who doesn't know, this channel's a bit pay to win. Um, Yeah, we get people, give people subs, and then they can't leave. It's kind of, you know, then they kind of feel like obligated to stay. It's very much pay to win type situation. Wow. Sorry, Dunk, it's our team Pledge of Allegiance. What? You didn't pledge allegiance to Kev. When did you do that? <laughs> pledge allegiance to the Kev. I don't know anything else from it. I'm sorry. Damn, Kev. Yeah, damn, Kev. Keja found one. Okay, we don't have a holy sword, so we can't kill these things permanently. Timus is the only person he... Oh, actually, maybe Arcasia can kill them. Oh, no, there we go. Arcasia's got a holy sword. Cool. I used to have a holy sword, and then Timeless exchanged it for eggs. True story. Had a cool holy sword, and Timeless gave it away for eggs. Or sacrificed it for eggs. Uh, this is probably the best gift more of the content, the mornings for you to enjoy. There we go. Kev, Kev, Kev likes to give out them. Bomb them. Now, I'm a little bit scared. So I was saying, I don't think we'll do bombs today. I kind of just want to feel out this section. I think bombs are sort of the key to success. But I think from like, um, tomorrow, once we kind of know what we're doing a bit better, then we'll look at bombs. Pledge for the Team Chaos. Brindy. Used to be such a nice girl. Look at this now. You don't have to do it just because everyone else is doing it. 
They are, yeah. So I, I, we do have some bombs, but I think like bombs are going to be like for one run. So I'm kind of just sort of feeling like what's sort of the best strategy. Like, is it better to like try find holes? Or do you take a ladder as it pops up? Um, you know, that kind of stuff. Then we'll sort of take it from there. Do the speed run. Choo choo, no, no, choo choo yet. Donos, donos don't count as events. Twitch, unfortunately. Chaos even, there we go. Okay. I will protect you, Acacia. I think it did a lot of damage. Split, no! Now, Splits, I'm not going to lie, we haven't had a gremlin train for the longest time. Um, it might have something to do with your absence. None of that. Ira, see, that's how you gift, uh, that's how you do generosity on the channel, folks. None of this 130, you know? Ira got to save 30 bits and didn't have to put gremlins on the train. No spooky ghost. Oh. Well, I have been busy. Yeah. Which kind of leads me to believe, Split, that potentially you are... And who could have ever fathomed this one of the instigators of said trains? Hmm. No little slimes, Junior. Crap. I'm actually going to die if any of these things hit me. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, the thing jumps. All right. Um, whoops, I should have eaten more. Crap. Someone found you unconscious and battered. I had to perform an emergency surgery on you. Be a little more careful next time, okay? Ugh. Dr. Harvey charged me a thousand Gs. And I lost two items, sap and sweet pea. Not my sweet pea, not my sap. All right, so firstly, what a dick. Harvey charges me. Harvey's got 10 out of 10 hearts. I gave that, I went on a balloon ride with that man. Bit rude, if you ask me. Split is going to be president of Team Chaos one day. I don't know. I don't know if Kev's campaigning. We'll have to see. No, you missed the Omni Geode. Ira, I missed all of it. Honestly, the levels of disappointment I feel right now are immense. Hello, um... Mounds look nice today, don't they? They do look nice. You can marry Harvey and see if he doesn't charge anymore. I mean, that's not the worst idea. Marrying someone who gives me free medical bills, maybe. Maybe not, though. That would be pretty bad. I'd have to get divorced. You know, if you have a husband and your husband still charges you to prefer, perform emergency surgery that saves your life, then, you know. And now that I'm not working, I'm still busy planning my international trip to visit my cousin for a wedding. But that's cool. Where are you traveling to, if I may ask? Don't need to say if you don't want. That's exciting. I'm so sorry, friend. I know, Ira. It's just a bit of disappointment to me. I'm just going to spend the rest of the day moping in bed. Did you try to whack Penny with the Galaxy Hammer? Clotric, unfortunately, right click with this thing does do some sort of like maneuver that the other weapons didn't. So yeah, if I ever kind of like accidentally don't talk to someone, I do kind of smack them. with like a proper smack. We're going to tie one. Cool, dude. That's awesome. Is it a destination wedding? Man, the amount of money I've spent traveling to other people's weddings, it's a, it's a thing. Don't you dare look away. Keja, I did look away and I died. Sorry. Sorry, Keja. Does anyone know where I can get a puffer fish from? I need to take one to Demetrius and I do have a bit of time to kill. Keja, I looked, I looked away. I'm, I'm sorry, Keja. I, I looked away. Count your organs if Harvey did surgery. There was only one. Water. Thank you, Holly. Thank you for that very, very, very valuable tip. Ocean between 12 and 4. 4 a.m. 12 at night and 4 a.m. No. Probably not. Okay, so I can't actually catch one now. That sucks. Oh, oh, is there a legendary summerfish? Wait, did I, no, I think I caught the legendary summerfish. I did already. I think I only have one legendary fish to go. I did catch the summer one, right? 
I definitely got the spring one. Yeah, I think I got the summer one. It was... Think of the pier. You know, because you tried today. 12 to 4. Alright. Noted. Tomorrow's Sunday, so it's gifting day again. Okay, next time I go into the mines, I'm going to take a lot of food with me. See, these are the type of things. This is why you do like a demo run. I'm going to take a lot of food with me. And I'm going to take a lot of bombs with me. And I'm going to take an Arcasia with me. And I think everything's going to be fine. That's what I think. Bonstress, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Mightly, mightly kindy, I thank you. Wow, wow, thank you. Very, very, very awesome of you. How are you, Bonstress? Nice to see ya. Okay. There you go, you peeps got your gremlin train. It happened. Woohoo, woohoo. All the woohooage. All of that. We learned the other day that apparently Twitch has got special emotes now if you can get to various hype train levels, like level 100. All we need is, I think it's like, it's like 6,000 subs and 88 million bits or something. And then you peeps can get an emote. Hey? Come now. That's not the greatest reward on the internet. Totally worth 8 million bits and 30,000 subs or whatever. So, oh, that's so easy soon then. Yeah, yeah. Next hype train. Let's do it. Let's do it. Next hype train, you can get a limited edition emote. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Alright. It's gonna go to bed. 54,000 subs, I think it was. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Apparently Timeless actually does know the guy got it. Apparently he used to have like a... Like a higher pitched voice and then he made his voice deep and then became popular. So I just need to do that. And I too can get it. What do we think? Hey? Don't you people just feel like being generous now? Should I just stream like this from now on? Is this, is this how it's done? I've got level 7 combat now. Gives me an extra 5 HP. And I can get the Ring of Yoba. And Thorn Ring. Cool. Cool. That's what I think. That's what it is. Only if someone doesn't donate a measly hundred bucks and run it. I know. It's the worst. I could have got there the other day. Damn those donors. If anyone doesn't know Z donored one hundred dollars the other day. Wait, are we on Rando's stream? No, you're on my stream. People? I'm gonna do a focus group now. Would you say that the stream is now less sexy? The same amount of sexy? Or more sexy? Would you say that the stream is more appealing? Less appealing? Or the same amount of appealing? What do we think? What do we think? Don't get possessed by Barry White somehow? Mm -hmm. It's more creepy. That wasn't even on the paper, Tamanthosaurus. Please, please, Tamanthosaurus. Answer the questions on the page. Grex has left about 74% sexy. When the stream gets so cool. Yeah, there you go. There it is. Mel is left. Well, then who will I play games with? To a deaf person, the same across all the board. Ira, did it look sexier? Oh, it's back to not as cool now. Yeah. All right, what about this? This is only one notch. That was two notches. What about one notch? Oh, God. Ave says, why is your voice so high and squeaky now? Ave, Mel said that you would play a scary game with me. I don't know if Mel was just sort of, you know, uh, making things up for you or if you actually are keen. What do, you, what do we think? All the notches. What do we think? Need sunglasses? How does this sound? You're missing the Canadian in your voice? Oh, yeehaw. Dave said she would. I would. You can hold my hand. Will it be sweaty at the time? I'll still hold it. Just curious. All right, so this is one notch of depth. How does this sound? Hey, how does this one sound? Normal, 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 normal. One notch of sexy. Two notches of sexy. None. Canadians don't say yeah, yeah, it's a rando joke. Rando is not from Canada, but always says he's from Canada. That's the thing. He'll come in and say, how dare you? Me, Canadian. Now that I got water out of my nose and on my... Yeah, that's cool. Rosie, I'm glad that we could help you do that. That water did not belong there. Like a Hollywood accent? Normal? Okay. I mean, we can do this. What do we think of this one? Can you make your voice a squeaky? I cannot make it a squeaky, but I can make it a sound like this. Yeehaw, yeah. The Canadians in Alberta say yeehaw. Cool. Yeehaw. Thousand percent sexier. That's the one. 
You believe that if I streamed like this and everyone would come inside of the stream, they'd all be like, look at this guy. Look how exotic he is. Sounded like a summon from a princess a bride. You sounded like a summon from a princess a bride. And Nigo Montoya is a bastard. I do, says Ahalim. Yes. Do your high pitch accent, but in a two time deeper instead. You want me to sound like this, a split? I feel like this is not a congruent. You know? Good morning from Germany, everyone. Felkate, welcome on in. How you doing? How's it going? I hope all is well in Germany. Um, what's it? 7.17 a.m. on a Sunday morning. I really do appreciate you popping by. Yeah. I hope you're good. Crying? Don't cry. Inconceivable? Mildly. That wasn't bad, though. That one, just for a reference, sounds like a this without a thing. All right, for anyone who's just joined, um, I'm having so much fun in Stardew Valley. I lost all my girlfriends, uh, but I think I've got them back now. If you want to play a cruel joke on Gus, give him courts. He might not forgive you, though. Okay. Okay, Pam. Um, Keisha, are we going... No, I think we need more food. Okay, so today's love day. I can give out gifts again, which is good. So I need Sam and Alex on here. Okay, so Alex is easy. I have to give... Oh, crap. I left all my gifts at home. I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay, so we'll do gift day first. And then Keijo, let's... I think let's... Um, I'll look at food, at buying food that's really good for the caves. And then we'll maybe do caves tomorrow. How does that sound? We do, we do one day of prep. Go to the desert and wreck some face. Hmm. Hmm, that seems cool. Thanks for the follows, folks. Sorry, my voices were all weird. My apologies. Anyway, I did notice that I did make my voice deeper, though, and we didn't get a level 100 hype train, so... Apparently, maybe there's more to it than that. Maybe. Sounds good. Awesome. Well. Okay, Elliot, Sam, some random... Ooh, Alex, there we go. Okay, dwarf guy. Okay, I have all the things. What is a uh, Krobus like? A lot of you always say I must make Krobus like me. What is what, what is Krobus into? Anyone doesn't know Krobus is like a shadow man. There's a shadow man living in the town. Shadow man, you say? Yeah, like a legit shadow person. He's like a like made out of like a like a shadow something. I must take a gulp of goop for the wonderful Zawanechi 918. Void mayonnaise. Now, Dina, I don't know if that's the gift that you're telling me that he enjoys or if that's how you describe Krobus. So you're like, he's not a shadow man, he is void mayonnaise. Um, you've confused me now. Dean has confused me. I mean, I could, I would describe him as, as void mayonnaise, potentially. Would anyone else describe this particular gentleman as void mayonnaise? Yeah, I can see it, Dina. I can, I can see it. hi ho sorry, I'm still a little wary of humans. My shop is still open to you, however. Just a little bit of void mayonnaise. Void egg? Wait, so you take... So I have to get these... Sorry. Do you take these 5,000 gold eggs and you turn them into mayonnaise? That's what he loves. Oh, heck. It sounds pretty... I mean... Little Krobus, so sweet. Did I wink for Geek? No, I didn't. Geek, are you still there? I feel terrible. I should have winked for you. I'm, my apologies. Did I get an upgraded coop? Yes, I did. And uh, we actually were busy um, incubating that egg. Oh, maybe I own like a wyvern or something. I did I did incubate a void egg. So maybe, maybe that's what we can do. I did? I feel like I didn't do it enough though. Hello, hey, Sergeant Striker. Hey, Beard Phobia. How's it going, dude? Rando Raid just in time, my friend. You take the egg, hatch into a chicken, they make mayo. Aw, it's a chicken. I'm not gonna lie, Dina, Rosie, I mean, that's kind of cool, but I honestly thought of Void Egg, I thought I was gonna get like a dragon or something, you know, kind of more exotic. I mean, I guess a chicken will do. Little, little Void Chicken. Hey, Sam, have a pizza. Oh, yeah, pizza time. Sam is busy practicing the guitar. Okay, but I kind of need to talk to him to get my love points up. I see you being caught. Did you wear a shirt with a crimson M or man war? I don't understand the second word you say, Salty. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, I don't have a shirt that has an M on. I also think the ladies have forgiven me now. 
I think they were angry with me for like, I don't know, like 10 days or something. Hey, Buckling, how you doing, dude? I need to find Alex. I guess he's maybe at the beach. Um, um, um. So yeah, I think the ladies have forgiven me now. It came for the sound of the ocean. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes. Better than the sound of cold shoulder, which they've been giving me this entire time. All right. So yeah, I think, I think I'm in, hey? I think like for reals, I think all the ladies love me again. I think I'm back in, peeps. We can marry anyone in the game that we want to, including Elliot Shampooman. Nine out of ten. Oh, crap. Visit my cabin whenever you like. I could use the company. All right, so folks, we're basically going to do a battle royale. All of you are going to decide who I'm going to marry. Um, I alienated all the ladies, then I started romancing all the men. Um, now it appears I can have anyone in the valley that I desire. Anyone I desire. Did you just beat him with a hammer? I may or may not have beaten that man with a hammer. It was an accident, though. And that's what I'll tell the jury. For sure, for sure. When you see hot air balloons drifting over the sea, you'll know the summer's in full swing. Heck yeah. I hope you marry Krobus. I don't believe you can marry Krobus. I believe you can live with Krobus, though. You can sort of, like, cohabitat with Krobus. And just have, like, a shadow dude in your house. It'd be pretty damn creepy, right? I wouldn't like to live with a shadow man. Would you folks like that? I wouldn't. I don't think that's cool. I think he would do terrible things. Like, you kind of be, like, you know, in your room, having a private moment with someone, and then he'd be like, ah, like, against the wall, because he's a shadow, you can't see him, eh? Acrobus, get out of my room, dude! And, ah, and, like, sleek under the door like a shadow can. It's not, it's not a good idea. Vince has great hair. Vince. Who the hell is Vince? Vince. Oh, Vincent the Kid. He does have cool hair for... I, think, I mean, I don't really give him, like... The fact he has cool hair because he's like, you know, three. But now that you mention it, that little punk does have cool hair. You didn't show up to me in Haley's wedding. Sergeant Striker, you married Haley. I understand. All right, I need to go to the pub and I need to find... Where the heck is Alex today? Can't find him. But Krobus being hated on just because he's a shadow man. I'm just saying, like, I like Krobus, but I wouldn't want to live with Krobus. I feel like Krobus could, like, spring some surprise on you, you know? Okay, this guy has no food. Stuffing. I don't think that the dude likes stuffing, huh? Tried his grandparents' house? I did go to his grandparents' house. He wasn't there earlier. He might be there now. Let me just make sure it's not his birthday anytime soon. It is his birthday on the 13th. Should I wait? Hmm. Should I wait? To, I mean, how good is this purple stuff, peeps? Like, if you give someone this purple stuff on their birthday, will they just be like, Bing! Love me, love me. Say that you love me. And I mean, then I just give him stuff that he likes this week. So I need to go five hearts with him. Oh, yes, Alex was at the ice cream stand. Thank you, evildoer. That's true. Uh, but should I give him this stuff, though? feel like maybe I shouldn't. Should I wait for his birthday? Like, how powerful is this purple stuff? Is it good? Is it good stuff? Is this purple stuff, is, is, is it great? Oh, wow, your shoes are a little dirty, but that's fine, too. I mean, I can't let you just give it to him right now. He should give three hearts on birthday, uh, one on a regular date. Oh, yes, I can literally just... Yeah, because I mean, it's it's in 10 days, his birthday. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to wait till his birthday. I'm going to give him some ice cream from the ice cream stand for now. Surely he likes his own product that he pushes and sells day in, day out and gets um, sick and tired of it. This is cool, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, cool. All right, I'm going to save. I'm going to save that for his birthday. I just mustn't miss his birthday. And then, yeah, so that's pretty much Sam then. Couple pizzas for Sam. And then, yeah, one one week away. Oh, wait. 
Okay, no, this literally falls in the same week. That's unfortunate. His birthday's in six days, folks. Am I right in saying on a birthday you can give someone three gifts that week? Is that correct? I hope so. Otherwise, I won't give him something for the rest of the week. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I had to start the game up to find it. I'm not good with names. I uh, know all good. So you meant Elliot. Elliot's the guy with the long hair. So, okay. So you meant Elliot. That's all good. I mean, I've got their names confused quite a few times. Elliot is Shampooman. Good question, says Keja. Does anyone know the answer to the question? On a birthday week, can you give someone three gifts? Is that a thing? Winter is boring, you find it? Um, I had a pretty nice winter. You just got to find someone to get cozy with. And I got cozy with freaking everyone. You know? That's all. That's that's what you got to do, Sergeant Striker. Why would you give them three? They're lucky if I get them one. Um, nah, it's, it's the best part of the game. I just want everyone to love me in the valley. You can give an individual villager two gifts a week plus a third on their birthday. Thank you, Luna Sky. All right. Cool. Okay, so tomorrow, uh, I'm going to go quickly try... Crap, I think I'm already late, eh? What, um... What time was that fish? I could have done that fish today as well. I think it was till 7 p.m., Iris said. I thought you like, you need more birthday gifts? Listen, everyone could use more birthday gifts IRL, Matt. Like, for sure, for sure. I mean, I, I, I've mentioned this a few times. I, I notice a lot of streamers. And no offense if you're a streamer that does this. Like, you're just doing what streamers do. I don't do it generally. Um... When it's their birthday, they'll be like, birthday week. It's my birthday month, and they'll milk that. So I've been thinking, like, I should do, like, birthday year. Then I can get, like, gifts anytime I want, you know? Peeps, it's my birthday year. Why are you not celebrating with me? I don't understand. And for what it's worth, Geek, I think this guy does have cool hair for a little kid. I'm sure if you can afford it, but... Yeah, so it's like this it's the stream way birthday yeah no one buys me stuff i need or even once so i prefer not getting gifts kit um are you a voucher person can i buy you a voucher for your birthday can i get you a selena gomez cd mine too it's your birthday year as well holy moly we're born in the same we have the same birthdays in a year that's cool it's your birthday decade holy moly okay so i think it's too late for puffer fish yeah you can give me the second wink if you want. My birthday is this Monday. Like what? Like tomorrow? Sorry, th when people say this Monday, it can get confusing. Like, uh, well, so when people say things like next Monday, you know? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck is this thing? Sorry, people. It's been a while since I just had a random fish just be tough. I've caught all the legendary fish. I did not expect it, but I've got you now. Oh, you're just a cucumber. Monday the 8th, yeah, tomorrow, cool. Brilliant. Go get music I like, says Kit, but it's got your song on that you shared in Rando's Discord. The original. Sorry, Kit. Got it, says Z. Got it? Are oh, you talking about the fish? I did get the fish, but I need a puffer fish. Yeah, look at that. Did I get the chest though? I did. Holy moly, that was the perfect fishing. That's what skill looks like. Are they freaking out? say about the solar eclipse or was it just here in the US? Nah, Salty. Unfortunately, we don't have an eclipse here, huh? I was supposed to go visit my friend Black Cat's Manor for the solar eclipse, but I, um... I don't know. I just didn't buy a plane ticket. <laughs> we don't get one. We, we literally don't have an eclipse, so we ain't freaking about anything. Oh, when I would explore, where would I go? Jojo Mega Mall. Pretend you just want a free vacation. Where would you like to go? Jojo Mega Mall, of course. The beach, a dark cave, the old gnarled forest. What would she like? Oh, thank you, Z. I understand. I gotcha. Yes, uh, geeks, if you were in the uh, Discord, we would have your birthday. Planet Craft is coming with multiplayer on the 10th? Cool. Cave, you reckon she'd like a dark cave? Yeah, that sounds wonderful. Go caving together. In a dark, dark cave. Thank you, Dark Spider. I don't think it matters too much. I don't know what to do with myself now that I'm back. Hey, dude. Have a Jojo Cola. 
this. They gave this to me in Gatoro Prison Camp. I've been trying to forget. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think that that is the worst gift I've ever given anyone. Oh crap. Oh crap. This guy freaking hates me. And I hates me even more. I had dinner with his wife and now he is pretty pissed off with me. That's not cool. Forecast is for clouds for most of the total eclipse path. Oh, that sucks, BCM. That sucks. Maybe we will get better view here from Africa, even though we don't get it. Thanks, gonna get handsy in the cave? Listen. I once shared a sleeping bag with a girl in this game. There was a bear outside, and there was only one sleeping bag, and the tent shook, and we don't know what happened. Something happened. Way to ruin Kent's entire night. I know, but I didn't mean... Seriously, though, folks, he hates me. He always like says like subtle stuff. I've decided that he sounds kind of like this. I went and fought for the empire. I did. When I came back, I learned that you were having dinner with my Jody. You. <laughs> oh my goodness! You know, that's what I learned. That's what I learned. And then he would say stuff like, oh, "I might go fishing," but like by that he means like, "I'm going to be swimming with the fishes." You know, I can't believe you triggered his PTSD. Yeah, that's true. And PTSD stands for um, Position of Terror Stardew. That's that's what it is. You have, been, you have been flirting with the wife. Listen, I haven't. I actually don't like Jody. Jody is not the nicest. Did I say that Jody was the single most attractive person in the valley? I did. I do think that Jody is very pretty. If I had to like honestly like gauge people by their looks alone in the valley, Jody number one. Does anyone agree with me on that? Jody, Jody number one. That's all I said. But I mean, I wasn't like getting on her or anything you know i just went to her house every single day and gave her gifts that she would enjoy and spoke to her and had dinner with her and try to make friends with her and her children and worm my way into her life that's all i did prison term starred you yeah hey la mama how's it going i'm doing good random red good to see you buddy Eh, sebastian prettier no sebastian he looks like he's from dragon ball z that's that's the thing. Sebastian looks like a walking lawsuit waiting to happen, you know? That's that's the problem with Sebastian. He's got that like I don't I didn't watch Dragon Ball Z, but I was Z, sorry, I'm gonna get in trouble. But it's a su Super Saiyan it's called, yeah? I mean I know the stuff and the things. Streamer knows things. Robin number one for you. Look, Ma Robin's great, eh? And Demetrius is such a bastard. Demetrius was like it's the only reason I'm like gunning for Maru so hard. Is because Demetrius was so mean to me about Maru. So there is that, you know? That's Sam, not Sebastian. Um. Oh, sorry, Sebastian. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sam, Sebastian, I'm getting confused. Sorry, yes, 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 yes. Sebastian's the emo dude. Caroline gave me a potato. What do we think about the fact that Caroline is giving me a not-so-subtle hit that I suck at games? Oh, there's a perfect gift to you have a potato! I always liked Caroline, but yeah. I just think they're neat. <laughs> they have what? I just think they're neat. Penny comes second after Elliot. You reckon? Elliot Chimpuman. Made it to bed and Treat is getting to watch you. Nice. Nice. I hope we bore you to sleep quickly. We'll do our best. Hmm. We've discovered Potato Dunk's true identity. <laughs> Maybe it's Caroline from Stardew Valley. Alright. Uh, Keisha, are we going... Oh, crap. I actually forgot to get food yet. <sighs> so I was, I was going to go to the... I mean, I could do another gifting day. I was going to go into the mines today. Then we probably need bombs and stuff. Okay, uh, does, does today feel like... In fact, no, maybe we should have rather checked the TV. Hold on. Let me check the fortune teller. A new viewer has joined us. A young man from Stardew Valley. Welcome, welcome. The spirits feel neutral today. Should we go to the cave on like a good day? Maybe we should do that, Keja. Let's... Uh, like, unless it's Sam's birthday, we go to the caves on a good day. What do you think? I think that's smart. Okay, then I'll run errands today. That's fine. I need another pizza. Sam, speak to the peeps. Um, 
I also kind of want to see how this community center is doing. Does the fortune teller actually help? It does, Sergeant Striker. So the fortune teller actually tells you how your RNG is going to be for the day. So if the fortune teller says the spirits are feeling kind today, if you go into the mines, if you go fishing and stuff, you'll have more luck. T tell me if I'm incorrect, folks. That's what I've been led to believe. I think I think that's true. I have to admit, other than you trying to marry the entire town, I have no idea what is going on. So Salty Pug, or anyone else who kind of um, has no idea what's happening on this game, it is a really cool game, actually. If you like to do busy work and, and play games that have busy work, it's just really cool. So first and foremost, you can make a farm. Different seasons, so each season you, you get different crops. You have to scare away birds and stuff and set up sprinkler systems and basically get yourself some crops. I've seen people have huge, huge, huge farms in this game. You can really build it up if you'd like to. Uh, you can get animals. So you can get like cows and chickens and all sorts of cool stuff if you'd like to. Uh, you can do things with these cool chickens like make mayonnaise. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool, you know? You can make mayonnaise, you can milk them if you get like a bucket. You can make some cheese. But you do always have to remember to feed them and stuff. Where's time? Uh, he's busy doing timey, timey things. Okay, this thing is still incubating. I actually have a thing called a void egg incubating in here. I don't know how long that's going to take. Milk the chickens. You can milk the chickens and get eggs from the cow easily. I'm sure I didn't say those backwards, but if I did, then I'm standing by my comment and it's, it's correct. Uh, so you can do that kind of stuff. You can also um, forage... So you are expected to like chop wood and go mine and stuff. It does have like adventure areas that you go into. Um, yeah, you can build lots of barns. I've seen people make breweries and stuff. And apparently the game is filled to the brim with mods. All sorts of mods that add all sorts of cool things that you can do, uh, which I haven't experimented with at all. So yeah, it's just a really solid game. Apparently all built by one guy. So, I mean, that's just really, really awesome. Um, and as I said, it's got a lot of depth for that. It also adds, obviously, like these events in the town. Um, and I'd say the thing that keeps the game the most fresh, as opposed to games like this, is random events that happen. So they have like a festival in the town, which just has like a, a whole bunch of stuff going on. There'll be like a segment that'll happen in your farm. There's just like lots of like little cutscenes that just keep it interesting. Um, I found I found it very, very entertaining for, I'd say, the 65, 70 hours I played it. Do you have space for your void chicken? I don't know how much space it takes up. Family business things? Yeah. Those are the mushroom trips. Pip had no water? Really? Have I tried out Palea? I haven't tried out Palea. Palea, Palea. I have not. Is it good? I don't know how long it takes for creatures to die or run away or something. Sorry, Pip. I was busy showing off stuff. See, Pip still loves me. I will give Pip uh, water. Super good. Hello, hello. Hey, Bertra. How's it going, bud? How are you doing? Appreciate you popping by. There are things. It takes up a chicken slot. I forgot the max per coop upgrade though. Z, I have... I don't even know how to check that. Absolutely no idea. Like legit, absolutely no no clue. Whatsoever. It's free as well. Palia is free. I mean, I remember it went through like a kick where everyone was playing it a little while ago, but I... I don't recall what all went on. If you can put out four pieces of hay, you can only have four chickens. Okay. Let me see. Let's see what's up. I can put up this many pieces of hay. No, I think this is the barn though, huh? I don't think this is a coop. I think this is a barn. I think you're a coop. Okay, I can have this many chickens. Look at it. Look at them. That many chickens. Uh, things are great. How stard you? I always find these streams nice and relaxing. This game is not relaxing, Bertro. I was led to believe this, and that's why I started playing it recently. This game is the single most stressful thing I've ever done in my entire life. It makes romancing cans seem like nothing. Sorry, most of you won't get the reference, but Bertra will. Um, and it's it's been insane. Like, for instance, uh, the last time I played this game, I got dumped by six women at once. They all found out that I was dating everyone. It was, it was terrible. The game also has a really interesting relationship with time. So, like, the days, if you look in the top right, the day's always ticking by, and it's just always urgency. You're like, oh my god. Today is the, the day that I need to get the cow's milk. But then you also have to fish, because someone needs you to fish at that time, and you just get lost and confused, and it's 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 really stressful, and it's 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 honestly one of the most uh, insane games I've ever played. 
Stardew Valley. But it is also chill. But it's not chill. Romancing cans, a game was something for sure. What is that last can though? Holy moly. <laughs> Void chickens take longer than regular chickens. Okay. So I think I've got enough slots. I think I can have many chickens. I think is what you're all saying. Hmm. I think you only have three chickens. Do you know if there's a new social tab for animals? Uh, I don't know anything that's new. Just because I only started playing the game recently. So I... One chicken, two, three, four, four chickens. That's what it is. I'm mistaken then. I mean, it could also just be my narration. I, I have a lot of subtext in the game, which may or may not be accurate. Okay, peeps, I have to catch a... What was it? Um, a puffer fish. That's what I need. Let's do it. I think you can only have three chickens. Oh, sorry, sorry. So still only three chickens with that. Okay, now the only problem is we've named all our chickens after people like in the chat. So what do we do? What, like, how do you... Can you eat a chicken? Surely not. That sounds barbaric. No one would do that. You can... Eat. Like, what do you do with the chicken then? Look at that. First time. Upgrade your coop. Um, I feel like I have upgraded my coop. What, like again? I guess I could do that. Let's go see Robin. I've got the puffer fish I need. I'm going to Demetrius's anyway. It's like the universe is serendipitously opening up to me. There's a new beauty craze in Zuzu City. Apparently a lotion made from wheat is said to remove wrinkles. Now what does everyone think about this? Have any of you ever uh, administered wheat to wrinkles? You take like a slice of bread and just... Anyone find that that removes wrinkles? What does everyone think? Anyone who ships 100 bushels of wheat by the end of the season will earn a substantial reward. Hmm. I seek an extremely rare and powerful group known as ectoplasm. All the time, says Bella Blue. You, you reckon? Wheat, wheat's good for wrinkles. Alright, peeps, I'm gonna go in between stream break. I'm gonna go and stick like a slice of bread over my eyes and come back looking youthful. Not gluten-free. I mean, yeah, that's the problem. When the gluten gets in. Make a chicken sandwich. I could. I could, but I... Again, it would be a, named after one of the viewers. Hmm. Have you only had girlfriends or do you have boyfriends too? Will you be able to romance the ladies again? Silly, um, I think the ladies have forgiven me, but while the ladies were giving me the cold shoulder, I did start romancing all the men in the town. So now I pretty much have every single person that can be in love with me is, except for the one dude who's incredibly hard to get. But for his birthday, I'm going to give him some purple tea. Basically like a love potion, and that'll teach him a lesson. That'll show him to reject me. And then we're going to do basically like a battle royale. So I'm going to let all of you vote. And we're basically going to have like one person versus another person. It'll be like Penny versus Shane. And then you're going to vote, and it's going to be hardcore. I'm going to give everyone's pros and cons. It's going to be like a bloodbath out there. It's going to be like an episode of The Bachelor, except a lot more exciting and a lot more eventful. And the person that they get is far more handsome. That's what it'll be. That's what it'll be. Just like that. You have rooms for the void chicken? It just takes five days to hatch. Thank you, Rosie. Uh, Keisha, are there any of these things? Can you... Do you have a hundred bushels of wheat lying around, Keisha? Youngstar, the love doctor. No. I don't heal them, unfortunately. I heard... I learned that I'm the opposite of a doctor the other day. I heard... I heard a lot of people in the valley. That's not good. Um... Best competition? You, you're there for it? Okay. okay. I'm gonna buy this dude another ice cream. Because he didn't mind it. He said, this is cool, thanks. Okay, six out of eight. Yes. Soon. Soon. Best competition? Glam yeah, it's gonna be insane. Honestly, if you folks wanna see excitement, you wanna see heartbreak, you wanna see intrigue, be here for the Bachelor Edition uh, Stardew. Bachelor Stardew Edition, that's what it'll be. Thank you, I quite literally created the South African series Bursuk Fro in this game. <laughs> Mosquito, I've never watched that. What happens in that? A farmer, a farmer looks for a lady. Is that a TV show? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but anyway, it doesn't know. That's Afrikaans. That's a language that people speak here. Um, and that means farmer looks for a lady. And what happens in the TV show? Man, that must be quite something. And what do they do? Like, so, so what? He's like... If you date me, you can get these four cows and these eight chickens. I have 13 wheat. We'd have to start growing more now. Cage, it's up to you if you want to take it. You can you can opt in for the quest if you like it. 
Oh crap, I was going to Robin before you people distracted me. Oh yeah, I've seen some episodes, says Luna Sky. Okay. Is it good? This reminds me of an episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and what happened in said episode. It's about a farmer who brings a lot of suitors to their farm and then they vote out the ones they don't like till they get the last one. It's awful, your mom likes it. It's cool. Reality TV, all, all reality TV is awful slash addictive. The only thing I ever really reality TV'd was early Survivor. Early, early day Survivor was a, was a trip. But then after a while, you're like, it's just the same crap. Um, I also went through a period where, like, um, I didn't have, like, good TV. I only had, like, you get, like, free channels here, and I was kind of, like, between houses. So I had the, like, free channel. The only thing that came on the free channel was Survivor. And then I, then you're like, well, obviously you're gonna watch Survivor. Survivor on every night, you watch Survivor. So yeah, that's, that's it. But otherwise, I don't really do reality TV. I have seen all these things, various ways to get people to romance one another. Have a bunch of people that aren't allowed physical contact. Make people have the most intimate physical contact on day one. Um, so many different plans and things you can do. Anyone remember the show Joe Millionaire? Goldie Snatch, was that the one with the dude who was broke, but then they made him look rich to see if people would still like him? If which case, I know of it. Um, didn't really watch it. I used to think Pelican Town was kind of drab, but lately I'm starting to love things about it. Yes, it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, middle class promo. Yep, that was it. It was like a dude. I want to say he had, like, dark curly hair. He was a construction worker. Yeah, I remember that, like, he's a low-life construction worker. He only earns whatever it was. And I remember being like, that dude earns more than me. <laughs> he's the worst. He's the worst. He only earns $25,000 a year. And you're like... That's, I mean, it was a while ago, but you know, it was, it was, it was insane. It's 11.45 and the wind is blowing 90 miles per hour, literally. I do not know where my trash is and at the point I'm afraid to ask. Cammy, that sounds insane. Stay safe. Reality TV is actually bad for humans because they expect to be real and it causes them to live like it is. Hmm. Oh my. Peeps, now what do we think? I think that maybe Maru has forgiven me. What do we all think about this message? Come into my room if you ever want to tinker with my gadgets. Yeah, I'm with you, Kev. Everyone stay safe if you've got bad weather. Reality TV is actually bad. Oh, sorry, so the one comes in after the next level chef. I haven't watched it, but I see ads for it. Looks ridiculous. Yeah, there you go. Farmer wants a wife. Tier yeah. 3. Super supporter. Jeebus, dude, tier three super super support. What the heck, dude? What the hell? Thank you for that. Holy moly, peeps. These subscriptions help an absolute ton. Jeebs, why do you one more month then I can be free? No, 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 no. You've been here for 35 months. You don't get off next month. I did realize the the, the, the problems of my of my ways. So for anyone who doesn't know, we've been pushing this goal where Twitch has made it that you can get a better revenue split. So I'm on, I'm two months in and I had to get a 70-30 revenue split, which would be really cool. Literally, it's a 40% increase in pay. It's pretty awesome. But now I've created an image where everyone's like, oh yeah, no, we'll get there, but then we'll never sub again. Everyone will be like, yay, we helped Dunks achieve his life goals. Let's go watch someone else. And then I'll just be sitting here alone. 70-30 revenue split and no one watching and no one subscri subscribing. So, 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 it kind of, it's kind of supposed to, you know, I appreciate the support, but you're kind of supposed to watch and enjoy post that as well you know i'm like yes we won we won we did it we helped streamer win that was fun it was like a reality show let's close that chapter of our life and go on and do something else um let's go move over to kick or whatever uh wins 30 to 50 miles with gus up to 90 expected strongest night localized gus may exceed 100 mile wind holy moly stay safe that is against our agreement was only paid for three years of subs I see, I see, Jeebs, I see. All right, so, okay, I see you're on a whole different agreement. I mean, after three years, you know what? They say if you love something, let it go. If it comes back, it's Jeebs. So I'll, I'll do that. That's what I'll make happen. All right, peeps, what do we think about this thing? Rick's the only person who, to comment in Big Baker. What, 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 what do we reckon about you? Should I go to Maru's room and tinker with her gadgets? Both Maru and Linus are a bit weird when uh, you become friends with them. Hmm. Okay, I hope I don't get dumped again, though. That was, that was, it was painful for me. You know? That has taken a turn I did not expect. This game has a lot of innuendo going on in it. Uh, in the background there. I'm pretty sure 
the entire thing is a metaphor for or something I can't quite place. Who dumped you? Jeeves, did you not see, dude? Everyone. Literally all the girls found out. I, I walked out of the one girl's got like a dark room in the back where she develops photographs. And I was smooching her in there. And then as I like came out of the room, all my girlfriends were there. And they were like, we know what you've been doing. You sack of crap. They called me, and I quote, a sleaze. I know, right? A sleaze. What the heck? What the heck? I thought that was pretty freaking rude. Um, anyway, and then they all kind of refused to speak to me. They gave me pro probably the worst thing you could give anyone. The cold shoulder, they called it. And it was freezing cold. And it basically stung. It was awful. I don't know where Demetrius is. Where that really happened? Yeah, that happened. I didn't expect it. Tier it's a whole three. thing. Super support. Thank you so much. Another T3 sub. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Holy moly. Now, I know exactly who that is. That is someone who, you know, had to make another account to do the thing because the other account was already doing a thing. But thank you. Thank you for that. Those two people like that. I really appreciate it. Holy moly. Wow. 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 Not the game's fault you chose the start, you hoe run. I don't understand what you mean. I chose to use the hoe more than the pick. Hmm. Are you friends with Linus? No, I am not friends with Linus. I kind of, I don't mean to sound rude, but I kind of forget that Linus exists. And I mean that in the kindest possible way, you know? There you are, the specimen looks perfect. It's going to get uh, get it on ice straight away. Thanks, Dunkstar. Okay, Demetrius is slowly opening up to me. Demetrius pretty much hates me. Um... I will give him a salad. Thank you. Very interesting specimen. Welcome, dude. Sorry, I'm really busy. So this guy basically gave me a lot of crap for dating his daughter. But I'm slowly working my way into his heart. And his daughter's. And then, I will strike. I will marry her. And uh, just despite him, that's what I will do. Maybe, if she wins the battle royale. Relying Linus is space. I always befriend him first. No, I just always... He lives He lives away from society, so I never really see him, you know? That's the problem. So, it's not that I don't like Linus. It's just I can never... I'm, like, even now, where the hell does he live? He's got his tent pitched, what, up north? Also, what is Linus like? Like, can I give Linus a lobster? Can I give Linus, like, a rock? Because I don't actually have that many gifts on me. Can I give Linus a geode? Yeah, you see, he sleeps here. Oh, oh, and then at night time he goes and like rummages through people's trash cans. I remember now. He mostly likes forage. Okay, so anything that I forage, I can give him. Linus, Linus, Linus. Mm. He hasn't loved anything. He only likes. He has no space in his heart for love. Only like. Okay, I've also got the scroll that I believe I'm supposed to give to this dwarf, so he will be my friend. Ah, this reminds me of home. I got all this stuff from the surface. Oil of garlic. Mm. Sounds delicious. Miner's treat. Mega bomb. Bomb. Okay, so we can actually buy bombs from this dude. Sounds cool. You pitched his tent. No, he pitched his own tent. For sure, for sure. Uh, bro, the girl that you kissed set you up. You need to unleash your vengeful side before trying to recover. No, you know what actually set me up? Arcasia set me up. So I actually am playing this game multiplayer. Arcasia's in the background doing Arcasia-esque duties. And um, Arcasia actually said to me, go romance Haley right now. And then there's this item called a, a rabbit's foot. If you get the rabbit's foot, it gives you enough luck that the girls don't catch you cheating. But Arcasia, like at one point, is like, oh, I should get a rabbit's foot. And Arcasia said, don't get the rabbit's foot. And the only reason that Arcasia's thwarting me like this is because Arcasia loves Abigail and Arcasia doesn't want me to get with Abigail. So Arcasia would rather ruin my entire life and crush me in front of all my viewers and friends uh, rather than let me have Abigail. So yeah, that, that happened. No jokes. I know that sounds made up, it's not. It's, it's a real thing and it happened here. For sure, for sure. Arcasia, Arcasia, literally threw our friendship away so that they could get into a digital romance. True story. Like, for reals. That actually happened. All of it. All of it. Literally not one bit made up. Arcasia, do you want to defend yourself? 
Linus is a sweetheart. He's grateful for almost any gift. But what does he love, Rosie? What does he love? Linus likes blueberry tart, cactus fruit, and coconut. He sounds like Haley. Use mega bombs in the skull cave for quick mining. I will do that, Mushu Park. And how are you doing? Such drama, such drama. That's dramatic. It's honestly what happened. For reals, for reals. That's literally what happened. Sounds accurate? Yeah. Arcasia, that's what Arcasia did to me. Okay, I'm just going to buy this guy some spaghetti because I don't know what to get him. This is a fun gift. Thank you. Welcome, dude. This guy will buy a beer. Buy the bomb and a beer. A birthday gift that's very kind of you. I love it. 10 out of 10 with Gus. Oh, crap. Today's Gus's birthday. <laughs> crap, I don't even know. <laughs> well, we got 10 out of 10 hearts with Gus. I just bought him a gift uh, coincidentally. Eating healthy is very important to me. I want to live a long and active life. Yeah. Me on people's birthdays? Yeah. You know, I never was into soap operas, but this sounds like a real good one. I mean, it's literally what's happening here. This is The Bachelor, Stardew Edition. Hmm. That's what it is. Mushu Mushu Pug, I gave you one free, but I'll do another one. Okay. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Folks, I have been streaming for two hours, though, with no stretch break. That's bad. Let me quickly do that. If you are enjoying yourself and you haven't dropped a follow, please do consider dropping a follow. I will be back in just a moment. Um, I'm literally just going to go reach for the ceiling, touch my toes, do like some sort of like gyrationary motion with my hips, get myself feeling limber, and then I'll I'll be back. I'll be back. You'll you'll see. And then a couple things are going to happen. We're going to go into the cave. We're going to kill all the zombies, all the mummies, all the ghosts, all the skelly people, all the jellies, and we're going to get down to level 100. Cage and I, using nothing but food and bombs. That's what we're going to do. Food and bombs and hammers of law and uh, prismatic shards and all sorts of cool things like that. And I'm going to get everyone to love me. All the women are going to love me. All the men are going to love me. And then we're going to have a battle royale. We're going to break so many freaking hearts. One. Okay, sorry. Starting from Haley. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. 12 hearts, one winner. That's what it is. Battle Royale, Bachelor Stardew Edition. Who's going to get Dunkstar's hand in marriage? Who's going to get a mermaid pendant from me? Who's going to become my forever person? Stay tuned. Find out. Next on... Hmm. Maybe drive with it on the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. I'm sure that's fine, right? Yeah, no, definitely. Time is ready. Let's get out of here. The components must be reset. Oh, boo. Oh. So if anyone is wondering what's going on, you've come into enthralling... Ooh, ooh, hold it, hold it. That doesn't work. Wait, what is that? No, that's a bug. <laughs> let's get out of here. Oh my god, no. Tommy, I don't think I can pick this thing up, dude. Which thing? Like, I know I managed to get it there, but this is, look, this is as short as I can make this thing. <laughs> I, I feel like we've blundered. Get the forklift, Timeless. We don't have a forklift. We have a like... forklift. I've seen our forklift. We don't have a forklift. I swear to you, we don't have a forklift. Why did you sell our forklift? You totally bugged the 70. I'm not even joking. I don't think I can pick up any yeah, of this stuff, Tommy. Yeah, I can totally see why that would be the case. So I got bad news. You broke, oh. it so, you broke it so badly that I can't store it. <laughs> and as it exists, it's slowly deteriorating in condition. So it's so like gonna have to explode. So like, at some so point. like our truck is literally losing durability. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Like... <laughs> How much did you pay for that thing? I don't know. I didn't look at the price. <laughs> Let me guess, it's still bugged out, huh? Uh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, of course it's bugged out, because it wasn't actually the thing that was the issue, it was the bug timeless. I got another solution. I'm going to go buy a bigger truck. Don't! <laughs> <Stop. laughs> oh, forklift. There we go. Got one. Nice. Okay, bring it over. Now, this thing sounds like a cool uh, Jetson electrical kind of... Wait, we've got two forklifts? <laughs> um, 
Stop summoning fork <laughs> stacks. I don't know, I don't know how to stop. I don't know how to stop. Wait. Don't know. No, I know. No, no, I know what we can do. No. We're no. going to make this. We're gonna, so this truck's condition is currently 72%. We smash it all over the place until it explodes. And then Claim the insurance we'll, money. And yeah, and it'll instantly teleport it back to base or something. Oh my god, he's going for the insurance money plan. <laughs> is this even working? Oh, my oh god. there we go, there we go. Yeah, it's doing according to plan. <laughs> Did the rebar fall off? <laughs> that was plan B. So I'm actually, I, I'm actually with you. <laughs> so either the, either the materials will fall off or we'll get the insurance money. <laughs> we got 1% damage. What the hell is this thing made of? I know, right? What the heck? Can the truck swim? Oh. That's actually a good nice idea. There's, move. I We're see water over there, dude. For the water. <laughs> Roof, have you claimed insurance money for a truck before? <laughs> to the aqueduct. Oh. <laughs> How hard is it to destroy a truck? Wait, did you just spend money on delivery fee for the sand? How did this thing get filled with sand, Timers? Did you Uber? <laughs> did you get Uber sand? I got Uber Sad. You know we can't afford Uber Sad. Why are you getting Uber Sad? <laughs> Alright, so what do we need to move these things? Uh, we need this. I'm sitting up now. Oh, wait, how much did you spend on that thing? Why the hell did we need that thing? To move these things. No, man, we can. You take the left, I'll take the right. Come. <laughs> so I just looked it up, and apparently, um, we could have just used the truck. Time this. <laughs> well, I mean, this in this way you get to play with a cool crane, right? Right. Literally every single movement that I do with this thing bankrupts me beyond measure. <laughs> <laughs> every single second I spend inside of this crane is another generation of dunk stars that is not going to be able to handle this, Tony. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right. You just gotta get ready to walk onto the top. So there. Careful, careful. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not fast. Nice! <laughs> we. <laughs> I immediately understand what he's trying to do. Oh no. Look at that. You do view. realize somewhere there's a bunch of peeps who've actually done this in real life construction, though, right? Oh, yeah, no. Well, I mean, Bobby, give me a lift, you know. <laughs> so. Oh, a raid. I'm so, so, so sorry I wasn't around. Juice and the Lucid Gang. How are you all doing? Oh, come on in. How is everyone? Happy, happy weekend. What were you getting up to over at Juice's? Uh, folks from my side, um, I missed the raid. I'm probably not um, friends with Juice anymore. Who has commented, imagine not being here to receive your best friend, Juice. I know. I know. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. I'm really, really sorry. Anyone from my side who doesn't know Juice, what a cool dude. Juice is often my... Juice is my actual co-host on this channel um, when that other guy allows me some space, you know? So go check out Juice if you haven't. How you doing? Just Jess, nice to see you. Sim, thank you. Yeah, at least some people were here. Grex, thank you for that. Um, a lot of people actually getting my job done for me, greeting the Raiders and saying hello. I'm so sorry, folks. I'll endeavor to be better. Streamer taking breaks. It's disgusting, actually. Imagine. Imagine. It's a terrible, terrible state of affairs. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'll be more vigilant and I won't do it again in the future. You do that in forklift, says Big Baker. Hmm. All right. For anyone who's just joined, I'm busy playing a game called Stardew Valley. You may have heard of it. Um, you may have got preconceptions of it, as I did. But now that I'm actually playing this game, what a cool game. What an awesome, awesome time. Um, we are going to be doing a battle royale today. A romance battle royale where we are going to decide using nothing but like reality show-esque rules and all of you people voting who is going to be my lover. That's what we're going to do. It's going to be good. It's going to be fantastic. I'm excited. I'm excited to figure out who I'm going to marry. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to marry someone in here and together we will be forever. Probably unless we get divorced and I go for someone else. But other than that, it will be permanent. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be exciting times. We know it changed. So, Uncle, we don't know anything. We don't know anything yet. You peeps are going to vote. Who knows? Could be anyone. Didn't you lose them already? Okay, so. I, um, I did lose them. But I think I've got them back. 
Just hope that doesn't happen again. So I think most of the ladies have forgiven me. Most of them have decided that they were going to give me another chance because my character has really cool hair and an awesome handlebar moustache. And they've decided to give me another chance. I think, I think it's going to be okay. I hope, I hope. Apparently that's like an update in the game. Apparently they never used to forgive you. And um, that used to be a pretty permanent state of affairs. But I think, I think they're going to forgive me now. Pearl Wills. I hope so. I hope so. I really do. This is notes. Don't take notes. No written evidence of what I've just said to you, Pearl Will. I feel, I feel like you don't understand what's at stake here. Please, please, please. No written. Imagine one of the ladies finds your notes there. You destroy that. You destroy that piece of paper. Please. Please. You want to be my lover. You got to get with my friends. That was from Big Baker. Yep, I like it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, clip it. No, 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 clip it. No clip. Sorry, I didn't see what that said. No, no, no clipping. Misha! Juice! Juice, who let this lot loose? Control, control your, your raiders, Juice. Contain them. You didn't just bring in people here so that they're going to rat me out. Oh, look. A juice raid, says Z. Yeah. I missed, I missed it because we were all on break, Z. That's what happened. We all did it. Misha, don't you shake that. Don't you shake that. Antagonize me like that. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. Please, folks, please. Just let me let me continue this. I promise you at the end of the day, I will only romance one person, and I will be literally, literally the most monogamous person in the world. No one will monog greater than I will. It will be only it'll be like Highlander rules. There can only be one. For true Astrofire, I juice what? I can't control you or juice can't control you. Juice! I think Juice probably left now. Damn it! Oh man. Zai, no, 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 no. None of this. None of this, folks. Lost your risen game. Thank you. Said you lost your girlfriends. I did lose all my girlfriends, but I think I've got them back. So we're gonna we're gonna romance all of them. I'm just waiting. I actually don't know what I'm up to now, if I'm being honest. Occasion I oh sorry, I was supposed to check the fortune teller. You all kind of confused me because you know all this like loose juice was around. He's probably going to get some loss, haven't we uncontrollable? I'm going to talk to your manager, Misha. I'm going to talk to him and see what he has to say about this. I'd like to talk to your manager. Juice, where is he? Oh, no, he's out on lunch break. Oh, how convenient. Astrofire. Oh, my goodness. Now, folks, come. Just, just, do you not want to be cool wing men and wing ladies and wing people? I suppose some of you probably, uh, I have learned on Twitch that some people aren't human. Wing, wolf, wolf people, owl people, falcon people, whatever it is. Uh, just, just, just help, help me. Help your streamer find love. Help me. It's going to be beautiful. You'll see. It'll be the romance. It'll be a romance built on the solid foundation of the fact that I literally dated everyone before my spouse. If that doesn't build a strong bond, I truly don't know what does. Uh, the only show... Okay, let's talk to the... The spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed today. Good luck will not be on your side. All right, Acacia, it doesn't sound like a good day to go into the mines. Um... I suppose. But it's also then not a good day to fish or do anything, really. So I suppose I will go to the community center and see what we are lacking there. Basically, we're back to square one and we have learned uh, nothing with dating. No, no, Rockstar, we're gonna... No, no, everything's fine. So they still love me. Uh, remember the opposite? Uh, I learned this quote from Desperate Housewives once upon a time. The opposite of love isn't hate. The opposite of love is indifference. Hate still means you give a damn. So they all still had the 10 out of 10 hearts, you see. They still give a damn. They hate me, but they still have feelings for me. So it's going to be fine. We're going to turn this around. And uh, nothing a wedding ring can't solve, you know? Because everyone knows, you know, if you're having problems in your relationship, the best thing to do is just keep going deeper in. Get married, you know? That doesn't work, you know? Be a thruple. Just just keep getting deeper and deeper in. It can only help. So that's that's pretty much what I'm doing. I'm just getting in real, real deep. Okay, I can also romance Elliot Chimpuman. I still go in the mines. It's only less good. Yeah, but remember, Chopper, Occasion and I are doing like a hardcore run. We're going to take all of our bombs and all of our food. Uh, no, Occasion, the spirit said that it's bad. I don't want to be that guy, but the fortune teller said today is not going to be a good day. So we should probably listen to the fortune teller. For anyone who thinks that what I'm saying sounds like complete garbage, it might be. But there is actually a fortune teller uh, channel on TV. And they do tell you how your RNG is going to be for the day. 
Peeps, this is a not-so-subtle hint. Um, Dunkstar, a farm seems like a good place for children. Don't you think? I can pick up a hint. Penny wants me to farm children. Penny, I think that's unethical. I think I will stick to cows and chickens. That's what I think, Penny. Hmm. Okay, I need to go give a lobster to Elliot Chimpuman. And then we will take it from there. I'll talk to you. If my hair wasn't so popular with the ladies, I swear I'd have to shave it off in a second. Peeps, whatever you do, don't make me marry this man. I don't like him. Uh, where's Elliot? I don't think that's what Penny meant, said Z. Z, what else could possibly be inferred by that, Z? Think, Z. Think. She said a farm would be a great place for children. It's like it wasn't even like... It's not even like subtle. Like she was just like quite avert about it, really. Penny better start subscribing to the channel now, says Gerilop. At least for nine months, right? And how are you, Gerilop? Nice to see her when it's not the end of stream and I'm just like, you know, ignoring you. Hope you're good. For anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about, poor Gerilop is usually like the alarm system that it is the end of stream. Gerilop usually pops in and says, hey, everyone. We go, oh, crap. We're literally just ending, Gerilop. Sorry, dude. And it's been like that way for years and years. Gerilop still hasn't left. Okay, I don't know where Elliot Shampooman is. I feel like he's probably sleeping in. I'm going to give the mayor a potato. Thanks, this is great. Cool, as long as he likes it. Okay, I'm back. I hope I start feeling bad about taking... Okay, so, so, Juice, you actually missed a lot of drama, dude. Your raiders were misbehaving. They started taking notes and crap about, like, girlfriends and things. And they threatened, basically, to, like, blow open the entire scandal and get me dumped even more. So, that's not cool. And then when I tried to chastise them, they wiggled their bums at me. So, yeah, so Misha started taking notes. And I was like, you can't take notes. You can't take notes. You can't do that. There's evidence. There's a paper trail. And then people were like, clip it. And I was like, no, you can't clip it. You can't clip it. Yeah, this Pearl Wills character, this Misha underscore less than three, which is meant to be a heart, but I don't feel the love. It's it's not a thing. God, I was fire. You see what I'm saying? And then I said, juice, get your raiders out of control. But there was no juice. And um, they also told me that you can't control them. So I don't know. Okay, here's Elliot. Wait, he's going to the doctor. I wonder what's wrong with him. Dunkstar, this is a beautiful gift. Thank you. You're welcome, Elliot. Ooh, ooh. Okay, Shampooman's in, peeps. 10 out of 10 hearts for Shampooman. That means we can unlock, like, a, some sort of special scene with Elliot Shampooman. Um, I guess maybe I go to his cabin at some point? You have to go make some spaghetti. Well, I hope it was good. But yeah, uh, contain them. Contain them. One or two of them actually did drop a follow, though, so I don't actually... I did appreciate that, but uh, not not at the cost of me losing all my girlfriends, you know? Oh, then, no, no, none of that. Yay! Oh, here it is. Okay, there's our 10 out of 10 heart scene with Elliot Shampooman. Hey. So this, obviously, this person obviously has the best hair of anyone in the valley. Look, I fixed up that old rowboat that's been sitting by my house. Pretty nice, huh? Dunkstar, would you do me the honor of joining me for her maiden voyage? Look at him blushing. Get in the boat. Folks, what do we think about letting this guy take us out to the middle of a lake? You gonna sink? I don't know. Oh my. It's gonna row, row, row your boat to the middle of the lake. Drown, dunk, start dip him in. Go for it. That's not the right voice. Rosie, you don't think that he sounds like this? What do you think that Elliot sounds like? Rosie. Just picture Elliot looking into your eyes with his long, luscious locks. Hello. What does she really sound like? I thought it was cheese or what's that? <laughs> I can't believe it's not actually butter. That, is that what he's like? I can't believe it's not butter. We're going to need a better boat. Ooh, get in. No, your voice uh, is going to sing Kiss the Dunk. Uh, let's see where this goes. No one will find the body. Everyone should find the body. Oh, this is really far out. 
Oh, oh, you're talking. Oh, no, Rosie, what do you want? Which which one do you want him to have then? The deep one. So, my book's been out for a while now. It's not a bestseller or anything, but it's been getting some good reviews from the critics. And I really couldn't have finished it without your moral support. La 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 la, don't be scared, it's gonna be fine. I mean, it is the ocean. Yeah, but I didn't expect him to take the small little boat. I mean, we started out in the Atlantic and now we're in the Indian. So, you know, we're like, li we're like life of pieing this all the way, except he's the tiger. Are you there, Dunks? It's me, Elliot Shampooman. Yes, for anyone who doesn't know this guy's official surname is Elliot Shampooman. Does he use shampoo? Man? Actually, that's not true at all. I would have finished it either way. But I am grateful that you believed in me, in my vision, and well... Um... D Dunkstar? H how do I say this? Alright, now judging from his face, he's either gonna say... That there's a spider on me. There's a kraken in the water. Or... I mean, what the hell his face is that? How do I say this? I love you. Like, there's no... There's, I love you, I got a poo. <laughs> I don't know, he's got gas? Shock? Yeah, I don't know what the hell is he gonna say. I don't know, that does not look like a romantic face to me. Folks, what do you think, okay? You're, you're like, um... In the throes of passion with someone. And they look at you and they go... I've been really looking forward to this moment for a long... I love you! It doesn't... Uh... You've got split ends? He's only got one eye? We're sinking! This has to be- this has to be fear though, right? This isn't nerves, this is actual- this is god fear. This is- this is actual fear. Broken nail. And now's the time to come clean the face of someone about sh to shot. There we go. The boat is sinking. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, his boat is so sturdy. What could sink such a boat? Does my boyfriend or husband look like that? I'd be flipping die laughing. Yeah, that's it. Shock. This isn't my real voice. <laughs> You must have something stuck in your teeth. He has your child. I'm carrying your baby. <laughs> what? What? Elliot, how did that happen? All I did was give you lobster. All that hair. Okay, well, this 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 could go one of many ways. He sees Cthulhu behind you? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I mean, the only thing my character brought in this boat was all my gifts. And uh, the only thing that on this boat that could sink the boat is obviously Gargantheclops. Let's see what he says. How do I say this? Well, we've been... Fr See, it actually was his... It literally was his... His, like, love face, apparently. He saw a pimp of his own reflection in your eyes. We go... <laughs> this is my real hair? Pulls of wig. Oh my god. He saw a pimple. Uh, <laughs> I was like a pimp. His hair is a wig. Wait, Elliot Shampooman is actually Elliot Baldwin? What? He's one of the Baldwin brothers. No. Well, we've been friends for a while now, but I'm... I'm not sure if I feel that way about you anymore. Oh! Is he dumping you? I think he might be! Hey, man, Etheria? Yes, yes, I'm actually Ellie. <gasps> no, no, no! I'm not wanting... I don't want to cut all ties with you. Oh my god, this panic face, though, peeps. I don't know if I can love this guy. Every single time he's mildly perturbed... <laughs> I mean, how often is he going to pull this face? Oh, hi, I cooked you spaghetti bolognese for dinner. <laughs> well, you know. Hey, today I'm going to take you out for dinner. <laughs> it's, too, it's too much. It's too much. Maybe it's Maybelline. Yeah, no, I think he was born with it. Stop. I can't. It happens all the time to him. In fact, quite the opposite. Let's see. How do I put this? For once, I'm at a loss for words. <gasps> I feel like there was no- I feel like that was magic. I feel like one moment I was sitting, I don't even know what happened. One moment I was sitting in the boat, and the next moment, I was in that man's arms. I was in that man's arms, and he was kissing me, but his eyes were open. I was like, so yeah, I could just, I picture he's making that face right now. 
literally that face. He loves you. Young star, you're trembling. I'm happy. You're making me very uncomfortable. Stop. Um, I mean, I am trembling. I don't know about that face, though. Yeah, Elliot Shampooman made that move. Yeah, you look like you're trembling. I am trembling. I am trembling, Holly. I've, I've never been... Um, I've never kissed someone with such long, luscious locks before in my entire life. Uncomfortable? He didn't ask for consent, says Jeeves. That face? We could say no. <laughs> That's what he's got. Gonna rock that boat? All right, obviously we have to, we have to kick this down till marriage wars. So we're gonna say we're happy, but then we're gonna do a reality show and we'll see if he can make it through to the final round. That's what we're going to do. It's going to be very exciting. For anyone who doesn't know, we're basically taking everyone in the valley and we're going to see who's going to romance me. That's how it's going to work. I'm happy. I was worried you might not feel that way about another man. We'd better head back before the southern wind picks up. Look at the valley from here. It finally looks like home. Ah, what a day. Loop, loop, loop. All right, I just came into the beach. What's up, Alex? How you doing, dude? Life can be tough. Life can be tough. He's going to tip the boat and you're just scared. Dunk feels that way about everyone, silly goose. Well, for now. So look at this. All right, so literally, in order for us to do our reality show, all we need to do is get Sam four more stars. So I need to go buy a pizza. And Alex, Alex four more as well. But Alex has got his birthday coming up, so this should be easy. So Alex's birthday is on Saturday, so this should be easy. Hey, Haley. I went shopping last night and picked up a tuna on sale for only 150 G. That's cool. Is that a tuna in your back pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Almost uh, must stream, I think. Worth it that I made it for that look. Now, nah, I've only been streaming for two and a half hours. We still got a whole reality show to get through today. This beach looks like the Goof Troops game. I don't know what that is, Jeeves. Simple things in life are best. Now, peeps, you need to start noticing this per these personalities for when we start voting. A soft summer breeze, majestic clouds, and a goblet full of star of dew valley red. See, Leia, Leia likes the simple things in life. She's an artist, and she likes to go outside. And she was actually pretty upset when um, she found out that I had... I was dating all the girls in the valley. Her and Penny. Penny was the most upset, though. Okay, I need a pizza for old Sam. Oh! I want so much spaghetti bolognese. Ah, oh, exquisite cuisine! You really know what I like, Dunk! I do, dude. Okay, I've already got this guy 10 hearts, though, so... Fried calamari, no. Now, have the uh, guys done the same as the ladies? Um, I don't know if there's a scene for the guys the same as the ladies. I... I don't know. Uh, once I get to 10 out of 10 hearts with all of them, I suppose we'll see. Eric, how's it going, dude? I hope not. Because uh, I already had enough cold shoulder to last me a lifetime. Okay, the bookseller is here. Eric, what's up, dude? How are things? Goof Troops was a short of show in the 90s, that last season. Um, are you talking about Goof Troop with Goofy, Jeebs? Sorry, I, the game, I didn't know about the game, but I mean, I know the show, because it's the Goof Troop, and he it was Goofy, and he had like a cool son, and he had like a neighbor that was kind of like a fatter Goofy, and then he had like his own like fat Goofy-esque son. Um, that, that, that show, because I know, I know that show, I watched that for sure. That was a cool show. <laughs> no, sorry, I can't do goofy today. <laughs> Gosh. Something something like that. Uh there's a goof troop game for the SNES. You and Time you try to play it, you'll hate it. Sounds fantastic. Um, I never actually had a Super Nintendo, that's the problem. That's where he is. Thank you, you're very welcome. Okay, I just need to find Sam. And then I think I'm okay. Then we're going to do community center. So folks, this uh, this Joja Cola playthrough thing, is that completely different? If you do that or not really. A 
Because I think that, I mean, you'd literally just need money for that, right? You buy the ticket and then you get a cool warehouse. I don't know if they make you like fill the warehouse with stuff and it's like similar gameplay or if that's literally all you do is spend the money. Because yeah, this community center obviously does take a long, long time to get. Where's Sam? Things haven't changed much since I've gone. All right, you can have some spaghetti bolognese, dude. It's a really great gift. I'm glad you like it, man who hates me. I gave him PTSD last time I saw him, but I think he's okay now. Um, where the hell does Sam hang out? If you were Sam, where would you be? Where is he? Hmm. I don't know, become me in the first place. It's just a long story, he says. Hmm. Playing pool? No. I think that's only on Fridays, huh? Check your map. Um, I don't think it shows, Le Lexi. Thanks for that. Maybe it's a mod or something that brings it up. Um, unless I'm missing something. If there's something I can click, maybe. But thanks for thanks for the tip. I don't seem to be smart enough to get it to work. Unfortunately, the warehouse is nothing for you, but just buy uh, town upgrades instead of donating goods to them. Ah, worst date ever. Oh no. Okay, Emily is insisting I come inside. I don't know. I don't know. And thanks. Uh, welcome, audience peeps. Thanks very much for the follows. I really do appreciate them. Uh, for anyone who's just joined, I'm busy doing a Stardew, my first ever Stardew playthrough. I'm loving the game. It's a really cool game. Got a lot of aspects to it. Uh, for now, I'm busy focusing on the love aspect. We're going to do like a bit of like a reality show that you're all going to get involved on for who's going to be my first ever Stardew spouse. And I don't know. I have no idea who it's going to be because I can't decide. So you peeps can decide for me. So many good contestants. So many good candidates, you know. And yeah, last time I played, I lost all of my girlfriends. They all ganged up on me. And uh, luckily, it does seem like they're all talking to me again. I don't. Ooh, yes, sir. I don't know if they'll talk to me again, but hopefully. Oh, yeah. Pizza. OK, cool. Seven out of eight. So close. Hey, Dunkster, you want to hang out or something? I do, dude. Let's get an 8 out of 8. Okay, I should also probably go... I think Pierre's closed, and he's going to be closed on a Wednesday. Probably buy a couple bouquets. Can't hurt. And then I would literally have everyone under my throes of passion, really. Do you need something? You're a little busy. See, now, this lady doesn't like me. Jody's never really liked me. Um, I did I did say that I think Jody's the, the most aesthetically pleasing person in the valley. She's the prettiest. A lot of you like Robin, though. Robin as well has got some, some stuff. These, these, these two ladies are married, so none of that. Apparently need a mod to do that. Marnie also doesn't like me. I don't know why. Yeah. yeah, you won't sell anything to me. So yeah. Also, for anyone who doesn't know, this game is like a cult. Look at this. It's called Yoba. They worship the Dark Lord Yoba. Come here at the back, and uh, some of them just go in here and they go, "Praise be to Yoba. It'll be a good harvest." The altar of Yoba. And I mean, what type of altar? This obviously is for some sort of sacrifice. I assume that this is some sort of spike with which people are impaled. I don't. I don't know. I've never actually seen it going on. But it's a, it's a whole thing, I believe. And then there's a cool back room over here where this lady likes to get high as a kite. Which is pretty cool as well. You just come chill over here and yeah, she gave me some of her special tea which made me hallucinate. It's a castle playset. So what, someone spray painted a castle playset gold, good, and now pretends that it's an altar and they get collections for the collection play. It's pretty smart if you think about it. You're an interesting guy, Dunkstar. I'm glad you moved here. Yeah, it was so interesting that way that I dated you and then you found out I was playing everyone. That's, that was pretty interesting. I agree. That was, that, that was pretty cool. Glad, just glad I could keep life in the valley interesting, you know? That, that's all. That's it. Okay. So Saturday is the next sort of significant birthday. So occasionally I... Um, 
I'll try keep it. I don't know if you have a lot of food, Keja. Because, yeah, tomorrow is Maru's birthday. That's fine. Maru already loves me. Um, I don't know if they love you less or something if you forget their birthday. I'm not going to lie. If I were to put in a game mechanic, I'd make it that people like you less if you forget their birthday. Okay, I'm going to buy a bunch of fried calamari just in case. I need to take that into the mines. Keja, do you have food? Do you have, do you have food if, we, if we're going in tomorrow? We need food and bombs, you know, just like for any good exp um, excursion. 75, 33, what is this? 80, 36. I can get some. Okay, I think that's probably a good idea. I just bought some calamari. I think there's... I mean, I can make like sashimi. I can make some pretty... Um, sashimi some pretty easily. I can make some 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 sashimi some pretty easily. My sentence there was not good. If you Sunday's not even off day. I don't know if any of you ever get this where your brain knows which days it's supposed to be off. And if you ever work on those days, it doesn't know what's going on. They do like you less, says Jeeves, if you forget their birthday. Okay, I guess I could get Maru a gift then. I mean, she already is 10 out of 10, though. Maru likes batteries. I'll give her a battery for her birthday. Now that is romantic, right? Remember that time you gave me a battery for your birthday? Oh, I remember. I'm gonna crack this geode outside. Keja, bat wings are not for eating, my dear. Okay, and then I think sashimi's pretty good stuff. 75 health, 30. Yeah, this is cool. Okay, I'm gonna make like 10 plates of sashimi. That's what we'll do. I guess something that gives me mining wouldn't be the worst thing in the world either, but I don't seem to have anything that does it. I can get us our candies. I'm actually going to do that, Keisha. I'm going to buy us some candy. I'm going to get us some mining candies. I think they're expensive, but I'm going to I'm going to see if I can get in there. Uh, bombs. <clears throat> I don't know what your situation is on bombs, Keisha. Keisha, I'll tell you what. You're going to be the person who's got the bombs, okay? I'm going to trust you, Keisha. You can come take the bombs out of here. And you can, because I feel like if we both place bombs, that we're just, there's going to be like catastrophe. That's, that's what I think. How's it going? I'm on year two. How you doing? Okay, I'm going to go get us candy, Keja. You have two bombs. Keja, if you go take a look, see at the house, there's like 12 bombs or something. So you can go stock up on bombs uh, over there. I guess it's probably best not to take all the bombs in case, actually, I don't know. If we're doing this, I guess we do it properly, huh? So yeah, there's like 12 bombs and two cherry bombs over there at the house. Cherry bomb! And then, I don't know, there's like a nuke that I kind of half used. Um, I think this candy helps, yeah? So if you take a look at your skills, mining, I've got six. So I think if you suck this lollipop, you become really good at it or something? Witty, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. How's it going? How you doing? What is up, peeps? Dunkstar is the best. The raid message is not a PR stunt. Sorry about your girlfriends. <laughs> Murderatica, welcome on in. How's it going? Tech Gadget, how you doing? Lo-Fi Explorer, what's up? Call me Draft Daddy. What's up, Draft Daddy? How you doing? Witty, welcome on in. Folks, if you don't know Witty, Witty is absolutely delightful. Witty, in fact, says such kind things about me that I have nominated Witty to be my official public relations person. Witty likes to basically, like, uh, turn, turn negative things onto their side um, whenever I blunder. So thank you for that, Witty. Also, 41 is my lucky number of all strange numbers, so thank you very much for the 41 people raid. That's absolutely huge. Uh, you're playing some Sims. Nice. Uh, so if anyone's just joined, I'm busy playing some Stardew. It's my first ever playthrough. It's so much fun. Such a cool game. Very, very awesome. Lots of eventful stuff happening here in the valley. I, um, yeah, as, as you all wrote there, I got a whole bunch of girlfriends. I actually got too many girlfriends in the game and they all found out about one another. And now I, um, yeah, I don't know if I have any girlfriends. I think they've forgiven me. I think they've forgiven me. I've since turned to, to boyfriends. So, so I've got lots of those now as well. So I've kind of just gone deeper into the issue. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to have like a reality show where we're going to vote who 
um, I'm going to marry. It's going to be like an episode of The Bachelor, except it'll be Stardew Edition. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be pretty sweet. And then I hopefully, hopefully we'll find my forever partner, whoever that might be. We're going to see who's the favorite person in the valley and who, who um, compliments me the best. And I agree with your sentiment there, Z. Witty is amazing. Folks, as I say, if you haven't gone to go drop Witty a follow, go say hi. Go say hello. The Sims has been super fun. I've been very addicted to building. Nice. Now, I'm going to say something that's probably going to get me in trouble. I've actually never played a Sims game. But nothing against them. I just, they sort of haven't sort of come past my path. You know how it is. I was uh, historically a console gamer growing up. I only got into PC games like fairly recently. And I don't know. I just kind of never... Never went that route. But maybe. I believe it's always a fun time, right? Like about a million mods on The Sims 4 these days, I think. If you play Sims, play Sims 2 or 3. Jeeves, what? 4? Not good. I actually am part of the EA uh, creative programmy thing. So I can get like any Sims 4 stuff I want. But I, would, I honestly wouldn't know what to get. Hmm. I echo that sentiment, Z. Okay, bedtime. <laughs> Alright, it's Maru's birthday. Keiji, let's quickly check what the... I mean, or should we not even bother checking the fortune? Hmm. You don't care for much? All of it, of course, says Nikira. What's up, Nikira? How you doing? Just get a billion mods. Just do it. You've never played Stardew before and here you are? It's true. I mean, that's the joy of being a streamer. Um, this game though, by far, I've said it a few times, is the game that I was asked to play the most, of any game. Sort of, uh, early on, everyone was like, try Stardew, try Stardew, Stardew's great. And I almost played this game quite a few times over the years. And for whatever reason, just always would sort of get, like, outclassed by one game, or I'd choose another game over it. But, um, here I am, finally. Congratulations to you and Hellgate. Yeah, I mean, sorry, sorry, when, when was the big day? When is the big day? I mean, I don't know, it's getting close. Are you, are you, is that, is that engagement news or wedding news? Am I out of the loop? Have I done the bus tunnel quest line? Um, bus tunnel quest line. I stuck a battery in there at one point and got a guy, if that's, if that's what you mean. Like a Mr. Key or something is now telling me to do stuff. Luck will not be on your side. Ah, oh, it's a bad day. Always forgetting the TV? No, I watched it today. It's not good. Two weeks ago. Witty, congratulations. I'm so sorry I didn't congratulate you close to the time. Um, wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow. So happy for you too. I obviously got to, like, saw some of the engagement stuff and whatnot. Uh, and yeah, definitely share the pictures. Congratulations, Witty. That's amazing. It was on March 22nd. Sorry I missed it, Witty. I hope it was fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. Just saw the girlfriend's clips perfection. There's actually a longer clip of it, so at first I actually went, oh crap, but I literally went on a break and then popped back up and I was like, oh, they're gone, but they were still there. You need a rainbow shell for the train station box now. Oh, okay, so it actually changes every time. I thought it was just the battery one and done. Yeah, sorry, peeps, I, I've been focusing on romance. I haven't really looked at my um, quest lines for the longest time, actually. Not ideal, but it is what it is. Bring maypole syrup to the secret woods. Okay, do we have any maypole syrup? Okay, I see it there. Got it. Um, just start the quest. All good will be in your quest log. Thank you. Okay, I'll, I'll follow it now. Got it. Uh, and it's okay, I vanished for a bit because of all the wedding shenanigans, so no worries for not saying anything sooner. Nah, I'm a bastard. The stream is an arsehole. I'm sorry, Witty. Everyone, every single day... We choose a random viewer to be featured viewer of the day. Someone that we really appreciate for being here. Someone that we honor for spending their time. And everyone writes in chat, Oh my god, I can't believe that viewer is here. Wow, that viewer is here today. It's Witty. Also, to celebrate Witty's news. Oh my god, Witty Mishy is in here. Always so wonderful. Always absolutely fantastic. Super duper duper kind. And congratulations on your news. It's featured viewer of the day, Witty. Everyone say, OMG, can't believe Witty is here. Wow, wow, Witty. Can't believe it's witty. And I can't. I can't. Spending their time here. Holy moly. Holy moly. Meet me on the docks on a sunny morning. I've got something in mind. Wait, Elliot hasn't had enough? He he hasn't done enough? He hasn't he hasn't had enough? Oh wow. Okay. 
Hi, how are you doing? I hope you enjoy the gift I've sent you. Thank you for this urchin, Emily. It means a lot to me. Yeah, thanks, Star. Tomorrow we'll gather at the beach for the annual Pelican Town Luau. The highlight of the event is a communal potluck. Make sure you bring something good to contribute. Wait, you only told me this one day before? Oh, crap. What are we going to put in the potluck, Keisha? Hmm, it's witty, it's witty. Yeah, OMG, it's witty. I'm with all of you. True, true. Can't believe Willy, witty is here for sure. Can't believe it's witty. Yeah, witty, witty, witty. Everyone get on in there. Absolutely, absolutely incredible. Thank you, witty. It's witty. Yeah, there we go. Better water, Pip. I should. I totally should. Take mayo to the potluck. No, Timeless took mayo to the potluck last year and it was disgusting. He put mayo, mayonnaise in this entire like potluck and it was awful. Do you have a gold cauliflower? Maybe. I'm going to give that a hard maybe. I'll look, I'll look tonight. Gold cheese, I'll give you some. Golden cheese. Mm. Golden cheese, delicious. Okay, I'm going to just remember it's Maru's birthday. I'm going to wait for Pam to come here. Thank you everyone for being such wonderful people. Yeah. All the love for you, Woody. Okay, golden cheese. Hmm. I suppose that sounds delicious. So, folks, for anyone who doesn't know, they basically got this, like, cauldron. And that, like, just you bring whatever crap you want and you chuck it in there. Last year, I stuck, like, a fish in there. And Timeless stuck, like, mayonnaise in there. And apparently, like, yeah, the, the governor came and he wasn't overly impressed. With what was up? Are you, have you come to give Maru a birthday gift, Keja? Not before me. Morning, Maru. Happy birthday. Have a battery. Hey, what's this? A birthday gift? It's great. Thanks for remembering me. You're welcome. That's a partially used double A. You, you enjoy that. First was the no no. Mayo is okay. Um, gold mayo will work too. Timers didn't bring his best. Wait, Timers didn't bring his best mayonnaise? You only used the cheap ass mayonnaise. <laughs> you didn't use the tangy one? What the hell? Little did Dunk know that Abigail hates golden cheese. And he's being set up. Listen, it wouldn't be the first time, Kit. I've been set up a few times. Okay, now I don't know if we've wasted too much time now with Maru's birthday. Okay, but we'll go to the caves, Acacia. Kidding. Hmm. Hmm. Cap, into the caves I go. Oh, Pam hasn't even got to the bus yet. Okay, Keisha, okay, we're still making good time. <laughs> do it, Pam. Maybe if you do real well in your farm, it'll boost the local economy. I'm telling you, Pam, I'm a one-man economy boosting machine. Folks, you see where Pam is there? I'm telling you, I drove myself the other day in this bus. That's literally where my character was. Okay, I'm not even going to go say hi to what's her face, Sandy, today. I'm I'm going straight into the cave. Is that a coconut? There's coconuts in the desert? Cool. Alright, Keisha. I don't know if you brought all the bombs. Oh yeah, ooh, Keisha also never gave you... I never gave you all the stuff I was supposed to give you, Acacia. Oh, I feel like we're rushing now. <sighs> Acacia! Offer your miner's treat to Acacia, yes. Alright. Eat it, Acacia. It gives you all the... I don't know if we should have saved it. It gives you like a million levels in mining. Or maybe I should have... No. We should have, we should have thought about this, Acacia. I should have... I should have mined. Then you should have been the adventurer. Then I should have been the adventurer. We, we, we could have swapped roles or something. I don't know. So much panic. Okay, yeah, so for anyone who doesn't know what's going on, basically I have to find like a ladder down. If you keep like chopping things here, you find like a ladder down. Or I need to find like a hole. A hole is actually better because it takes you down multiple levels. And we try to descend as far down as we can get. It's pretty difficult though. Um, to get all the way. Okay, I'm just going down, Keja. I feel like this minus treat has barely done anything for me. 
Oh no, I'm at mining level 9. Okay. That has boosted me, but yeah. Junk stole the bus that one time. You steal one bus that one time. Straight to the caves. Is that a coconut? Yeah. <laughs> was it a coconut? I wasn't sure. I mean, you know, coconuts are pretty rare. Haley likes it. Oh, these bloody mini dragons. Worst. Hard foul beasts, I tell you. Come on, winner, winner holes for dinner. So yeah, I think because the spirits hate us today, today's probably a bad day. Maybe. Killing monsters you can find letters. Thank you, Sergeant Striker. That's true. I appreciate you still talking to me, even though I'm probably going to potentially marry the person that you're marrying, you know? Okay, I smacked them once, Keja. Oh. So sad. None of that. Just because I love Haley and you love Haley doesn't mean we can't be friends, you know? Oh, there's a hole. There's a hole right here. Well, eight levels. Ouch. No, that's good. I don't re oh, there's a ladder already. I guess you just take stuff down if you can find it, huh? I don't know what this is, but it's green. Jade. Okay, I think emeralds are probably worth more, but you know, never. Come on, winner, winner. I need all of you to think about a black hole. Don't send the stream into a place like that. Just obviously that's what I want to I wanna find, you know? Yeah, these little jellies are the worst. Okay. Haley has turned into a real farm girl. I don't know. You know, they say you can take the Haley out of her house that's adjacent to the farm. But you can't take the adjacent to the farm lifestyle out of the Haley. I believe, I believe that's a famous saying somewhere. Ladder? Did I, did I miss a ladder, Shells Bells? Sorry, there is a bit of stream delay. Um, I don't know which ladder you're referring to. Did I, did I miss one right here? There was a ladder behind you? Oh, crap. I blundered. Sorry, peeps. I have a thing called streamer vision. Crap, I see it there. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, no. I literally didn't even see it. It's because it's I read chat. Because I read chat. But um, I would rather read chat and miss ladders. But okay. My, my, my bad. Okay, we probably shouldn't play tennis and hit this thing into each other, huh? Sorry, Acacia. Okay, sashimi for me. Nom, 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 nom. Thank you, thank you, thank you, folks. Uh, for anyone who's around here, I really don't mind any backseating. I do apologize, though, if I don't... Keisha, here's a ladder. If I don't take it, it's sometimes it is just a bit of delay. So I'm not ignoring you. i probably just seeing it a bit late. Don't just like to ignore us. I don't ignore you. Today is the day. Today is the day. I get some chickens. Awesome. I, um, I've been hatching a void egg. I was told it makes a chicken. I was kind of hoping it would hatch a dragon, if I'm being completely honest. But, you know, I guess a chicken will do. Have to do, I suppose. Okay, I'm just going to kill this mummy. I don't have a holy sword. Pretty gems. So, peeps, I'm kind of panicking in this. This is, for anyone who doesn't know, this is kind of like a... It's like a, like a challenge run of the other cave. You're basically trying to descend as quickly as possible. The other one has like an elevator where you can quite nicely and reliably descend to anywhere you want. This one's kind of like each day you got to do it. I mean, it's already 3 p.m. and we're only down to 14. And it goes down to 100, I think, at least. I mean, I've got a quest to get to 100. So, yeah, that's kind of... To be honest, I don't even know. I don't even know how you're supposed to do this. I guess bombs, bombs, and more bombs. So I noticed we haven't used bombs today. We'll probably use bombs on a day where there's good luck, I guess. You have a chance of a dino egg here if you find a Rex prehistoric floor. It goes infinitely low. Okay, but I have to get to 100 for my quest. So at the very least, I must get there. Damn, okay. Infinitely low. What's the world record? And are we going to break it today? Probably not. Damn, that's a lot of jellies. Holy moly, these jellies are horrible. And they jump at you? Goodness. Jelly's gonna kill me, Keja. I'll be back, I'll be back, Keja. Bro. 
probably shouldn't have left Acacia with her jelly and my jelly. Um, love you, Acacia. <laughs> We're both. Each of us. Each of us had our little counterpart jelly, but I was just a one hit away from death, so I ran away from my jelly, and then both jellies attacked Acacia. Um, sorry, sorry about that, Acacia. Your personal best was 100. Wait, 178. That's pretty insane. Isn't a chicken a modern day dragon? I believe like a goose is or something like that, huh? Maybe. And thanks for the follows, folks. I appreciate that. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You'll notice the silence from Acacia in the chat. Okay, this is actually pretty tricky. Ooh. It's a problem? Oh my god. Yeah, these things, they come at different times. I swear this hammer's not good, huh? Um, it's just slow. What did they take from me? Rip, yeah. Man, I feel like, I feel like maybe the galaxy sword's better than that. I lost my omni geode, my purple mushrooms, and my copper ore. I feel like I got off pretty light. Hammer sucks, it does seem um, a bit slow. Like, especially when those things are coming at different times. At least the sword kind of does it. But I did I did buy this for 75 grand, so I kind of do feel like I should use it. It also does have an active skill, so I don't, I don't know if I mark that up. Hold right click and left click. Doesn't seem to do anything. Right click just does the slam. Unless I'm missing something here, Preston. I think maybe that's another weapon. This one's just got, if you take a look, see at the bars, just the right click does this. Which has like a bit of a knockback. Bombs are key to speed levels. You just bomb all the rocks to find the staircases. Makes sense. Is that on a mob? It has a cool line. Yeah, so just the right click, huh? Okay, I'm not feeling so good. Sword is good for serpents. Hammer can be good for area damage. Yeah, I, those bloody flying things. I just, I just always know. Like if they come at, if there's just one, it's fine. Man, when there's like two and they're coming at different times, you swing the one away and then the other one like gets a hit on you. Hold right and left doesn't do anything, Preston. Doesn't, doesn't do anything. I don't know what to tell you. The right click makes that happen and then nothing happens. Hold and right click, same, same thing. Trust me, it doesn't work. I'm literally doing it right now. I, I do trust you. I'm trying. I don't know what to tell you. Or are you saying, oh, sorry, are you saying I actually am doing it and it would do something else? I don't know. Uh, when the hammer hits the ground, it does a small area of damage. Thank you. Uh, that wasn't intended anyway. Maybe it was fixed this update. Oh, was it? Okay, is it like a glitchy thing where like it, like all of them turn into the power hit? So, I mean, I'm just looking. It doesn't look like it's doing anything, but you're saying it might do something when I hit, when I hit the bad guys. Okay, because yeah, it doesn't, doesn't definitely doesn't have like um, a effect that happens now. All right, Preston, we can give it a go. We can give it a go. I don't know it was unintended, uh, but it does still work. As I don't even know what you're talking about. It doesn't look like it does anything. I'm assuming it's going to make it that every hit does the the power slam. I I, I guess, or every hit does a knockback or something like. I don't know. I will try it. Does a lot of damage. Okay. I'll give it a look-see. Alright, that was a bit of a dud. Um, it's fine, it's not like we wasted any bombs. I thought we were going to bomb our way down, but uh, I guess Acacia deemed it not the best day. I would love to live in an old farmhouse like you. Creak of the floorboard, the slow plumes of dust whispering through the rafters. Something special about an old building, isn't there? Yeah, the ghosts. All of that cool stuff. Regular Mines is a good place to start to practice the different attacks. Thank you. So I have been to the regular mines. The regular mines are not too bad. This this one's obviously an upgrade in difficulty. Bedtime for Jeebs. Jeebs, you have yourself a good night, dude. Sleep well. Okay, so I guess, yeah, mining, having mining level 10 also can't, yeah. Yeah, you totally didn't forget about the bombs. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. This game is Squirrel Simulator. I know all about it. Well, do, it's it's probably for the best anyway. I'm assuming. Uh, does anyone know if the fortune teller's luck is linked to the holes that you find? 
I would totally think it would be. Because, yeah, today was a bad day. Yeah, sleep well, Jeebs. Thanks, Damien's. Yes, it is. Okay, yeah. So, if we go to, like, a good spirit day, it'll be better. Yes, it is. Okay. So, yeah. So, that was a bit of a dud day anyway. I understand. Hmm. Haley doesn't like cats. Well, then Haley can go to hell. Pip is here to stay. Pip sleeps on my bed every day. You definitely want a good luck day for a desert day? Okay, thanks, Pill Wills. Howdy, by the way. I've been lurking for a bit, playing well. Nice, dude. How's WoW treating you? Eh, 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 eh. Sergeant Striker, don't you sow the seeds of discord between me and Haley. You really want to go and star drop luck days? Nice. Now, you know the next day is going to be a star drop luck day, even though um, it's a festival day. Then I have to do the festival. Pearl Whirls. Juice, don't you tell me how to pronounce things... Everyone always comes in my stream and attacks my perfect pronunciation. Milk. It's perfect. It's Tuesday. Tuna. Treating you well? Awesome, dude. I've played a lot of WoW. I've played six hours of it. I'm pretty much a professional. I delivered many notes in those six hours and collected some wolf pelts. I drink milk and tuna on tu No, man. That's not what I say. I drink milk and eat tuna on Tuesdays. Trust me, peeps, your streamer, your streamer enunciates and pronunciates everything completely and utterly correctly. Always. I do have a couple things, but then I own those flaws. As an example, I grew up my entire life saying overarching. Or overarching. Now I can't even remember which one's right. I just knew that I used to say the wrong one. Overarching. It's the I used to say overarching, but apparently it's overarching, and overarching sounds ridiculous. Why well, it's it's the arc. It's an arc. It's it's an overarching. The arc covers it all. It's not an arch, right? Something something like that. I can't even... Like, I... What does this mean? At that time, the moon... Go to the bush. Their thing. Actually, do you know where this is? At night time, go to that bush. Okay, I can do that. Fush and chups. No, that's if you're from Durbs. Fush and chups. It's cuff to eat fush and chups, yo. Good morning, y'all. Hey, Lupakel. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, okay, it's festival time today. At 12.40 to be specific. Okay, I was actually supposed to look at that clock that was showing me a very specific time. And instead, I just chose to look at the moon and believe it was the entirety of night time. That makes uh, a lot of sense. Don't go about to find out some real big gossip with that note. Soul Bishop, what? Are you saying there's going to be even more drama in the valley than we already have? This game almost has too much drama. I want to, like, after this, I think I need to play something that's, like, got way less drama and way less intrigue. You know, something like Detroit Become Human, you know? This game, it just, it just has too much intrigue. Too much drama. Way too much. Okay, it's lovely. I already want to hang out longer, but I need to wake up early tomorrow. Just a small reminder that you're amazing, even when you don't feel like you're witty. You're amazing. Again, so much congratulations. Please give my congratulations to Hellgate as well. And uh, I'm sorry I missed the big day, you know? Acacia's offering me her cheese. Thank you, Acacia. I'm helping you. Or sh Acacia, sorry, are you actually... Uh, I think Acacia's supposed to harvest. I actually think if I harvest, it's bad. Sorry, Acacia. I only have silver-starred summer spangles. By the way, Akej, have you ever checked our computer? We, we own a computer. You, you, you take my summer spangles. So, sorry, Akej. I'm sure Akej has got a huge, huge system going on. I'm so horrible. You reject to put AI girl in Detroit? Yeah, well, I've got girlfriends in this game. I don't need girlfriends in that game. You know what I'm saying? Less drama and intrigue, like Game of Thrones. Yeah, exactly like that. Rafiru, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Far less intrigue. This game has so much going to it. Thank you for being a great human human. No, Witty, that's that's at you. Thank you. Truly, truly. There can never be enough drama in this valley. It's almost too much. Uh, what time is the Luau? The Luau. Where does the Luau happen? Where the heck was the Luau? At the beach. Must be. Luau has begun at the beach. Thank you, game. 
Kent, why are you not coming to the luau? Yeah, have some sashimi. I've already given him two gifts. Are you friends with my son? Maybe so much more in the future. Who knows, dude? Who knows? Everyone's my friend in the valley, except for Kent, who hates me. Pips, do we agree, though? Okay. I just want all of you to burn this into your memory, okay? Do we think that Emily dances the best? Like, literally, no one dances better than Emily in the valley. Do we at least agree with that? Look at this. Look at this provocative creature. I'm not, I don't think Emily's personality, like, suits mine the best. Um, she's kind of, like, very earth childy, very spiritual, and, like, communes with nature and stuff like that. Which is cool. But, you know, not really, like, suited. Uh, but, I mean, look at these moves. Holy moly. Look at them. Mm. She's on that good, good tea? Oh, yeah. Look at it. <laughs> it's all in the hips. Oh, look at her, all sweaty and hips. Ah, oh, I can't wait for a bowl of piping hot soup. Why do humans enjoy dancing? Perhaps it's an instinctual mechanism, so they will inadvertently convey our genetic quality to potential mates. Demetrius, it's because it's fun! This couple does not belong together. Robin should be mine. Robin should be number 13 of my options. Lady in red is gyrating her hips just for me. So many others. It's not just me and her. Those are the words. Avi doing a generic white man dance. Clap, clap, point and tap. There are mods for that. Robin can be yours with mods. Now nah, I'm gonna play vanilla first. Ah, smells are wonderful for bringing back memories. I've heard the summer season gets very busy for farmers. Make sure you don't overwork yourself. Thank you. Why can't I go play by the tide pools? Because you'll drown, you little bastard. Oh, 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 can you smell that? It's a signal that the roast is almost ready. Man, Linus is always popping out for the free food, huh? I'll never turn down free food. Shane as well. Isn't it wonderful to see our community come together like this? I try my best to treasure these moments. Penny, you're so nice. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need more of this. She takes after her mother. Oh yeah, so much more of this. Delicious. Oh, this bench has been cooking in the sun all day. Maru, I'm sorry you burnt your bottom. Sanj, thank you very much for the, the raid. Let's get a shout out. But a terror, greetings to you. Don't forget the cheese, I will never forget the cheese. The governor is our distinguished guest today. I expect all of you to be on your best behavior. For those who brought some in back for potluck, contribute your ingredients to the soup cauldron. I eagerly anticipate my visit to Stardew Valley each year. There's a palpable charm in the air. Thank you, Sanj. Thank you, thank you for that. Sim? Z? You love Linus, says Mystery Gaming. Now, Mystery Gaming, I have absolutely nothing against Linus. I know a lot of people love Linus. I just never see him. He lives, like, out of the way. I guess I take, like, a different route to the cave. I just, I kind of forget that he exists. But I think it's true. He, like, hides in the shadows. So it's not really my fault. Leak and garlic mashed potatoes. <laughs> Honey, I think I've died and gone to heaven. Wait, he's happy for a change? Oh, don't overeat, dear. I wouldn't want you getting a stomach ache. Mmm! This festival always has the best food! Mm -hmm. Delicious. Fair, I make it a point to befriend him. Yeah. Go behind the shop and talk to Pierre. Uh, I was like, Pierre's too busy selling stuff. The moment Lewis steps away from the governor, that's my moment to rub elbows. Pierre's always an opportunist, though. I didn't see you there. I see you. You want to buy something? Talk to me on the other side of the counter. Here, no, I will talk to you on this side of the counter. Gus used my potatoes to make several dishes for the buffet. That's cool. What kind of ingredients are you adding? I'm just adding in golden cheese. Hello, Dungstar. Did you bring an ingredient for the potluck? Just climb the stairs and toss it right in. 
Thanks, Manny. But, but do I have to eat it? Yes, you do. Uh, I always friend Linus first because he gives me a good recipe to romance Sebastian. That makes a lot of sense. Um, I have pretty much just randomly done all these things. And it's kind of a surprise that I've romanced anyone just using the cruel passage of time. One bad ingredient can ruin the whole soup. Next year, I gotta remember to bring my electric guitar. Imagine a solo at this part of the song. And what? Or this part. Um, is that right? Dude skills? How's it going, buddy? Thank you for the raid. Is this how to get food poisoning? What, just dump whatever random crap you wanted to us do? What could go wrong? Mayonnaise, cheese, whatever's on. Now, folks, if you don't know Dude Skills, go check out Dude Skills. Thank you, Sanjian, for uh, the raid. I hope FF7 is treating you super duper duper well. And Dude Skills, thank you very much for the raid. Back to back raids here. Let's show some back to back support. Thank you, folks. Chicken. Yeah, a bit of chicken, a bit of beef, a bit of fish. Just add in whatever. Dude, you're playing Conan like Conan Exiles. Streaming like Conan O'Brien. Raw chicken? No, but it's getting cooked in there. Marnie's stirring it all up. Marnie, I believe this, there's fire underneath this. There's got to be fire underneath this thing. Definitely. I think. Right? We all agree that it would definitely be piping hot, right? Chapter 4 is sick. Nice, dude. Um, I actually kind of forgot that that was out. Here's the douche that brings the guitar to parties to sing at people. Z, if I could play guitar, I would sing at you all the time. Hey, Z, what do you think about that? Hey, would that be douchey, Z? I'm going to come over to your house. I'm going to sing a guitar to you. You're just going to have to deal with that. Adding Mayor Lewis's trousers. Wait, is that a thing you can do? <laughs> that would be amazing. My dad's obsessed with the governor's visit. Everything has to be perfect. He's hoping to be mayor someday. You can sing with me. You said you'd never sing with us. Oh, check the wizard. Is there a way to talk to this dude? Oh, well, there's smoke in the pipe. Don't worry, I'll be back for the soup. Yeah, I, th I think it's I think it's hot, geeks. I think I think they they cook it. Z, I thought that you were never going to reveal your singing voice. For anyone who doesn't know, my moderator Z used to sing, I'm going to say professionally, competitively. She used to sing for like a professional capacity, winning awards and stuff and doing all sorts of singery song or do things. But she refuses to share the singing with us, which I think is mean. Ah, the luau. All the hustle and bustle of town brought to my very doorstep. Hello. What type of adventure? There should be a DLC for this guy. What does everyone think, right? There should be a DLC for this guy. Where I mean, the amount of crap this guy must protect. I mean, this guy's literally like watching out for sea monsters. He's seen some stuff. This guy, if you ever lose your items, he goes back to fetch him for you like it's nothing. You can lose all your items at level 200 of the dungeon. He can descend there two seconds and see what's what. There's a mod for him? Like what? Can you go on adventures and stuff? You know, down on the right to the docks. Well, like, yeah. No. I think I've seen everyone. Uh, what is the point of talking to everyone here? Does it kind of, like, increase the, um... Stuff. Oh, she is getting sweaty. Call this. Is indeed. Yeah, I can imagine the guy getting pretty insane in a DLC. No, I think I've got everyone. I don't think I spoke to Leia, actually. Hello, Leia. Can't seem to decide what to eat. There's too many options to choose from. Leia, you should eat it all. All right, let's uh, put in some golden cheese. Hopefully it'll be better than last year. The governor said that it was average. Talking festival gives plus 20 to friendship. Oh, cool. Hold on. I don't know what that means, though, in a number. Okay, Sam's up one. Alex. Oh. It's just Alex and Sam that I really care about at this moment in time. How much is, like, one whole heart? A hundred. 
That's, it doesn't really tell you. It should increase your friendship, so I should get a good response from the governor. Potluck should give at least one heart after it's over. The soup will help. All right. A golden cheesy soup. Each heart is 250. Okay. Understood. Okay, and then by talking them here, you get 20. Wait, so you get one tenth of a heart. Not even. One twelfth. Point five. Oh, wait, I didn't talk to these two. Do you think if I went in the water, other people would follow? I don't want to be a solo swimmer. Don't block the sun. I'm in just the right spot to avoid getting tan lines. May I, um, Sergeant Striker, that's, that's, that's yours over there, is she? Tan lines. Okay. I think that's good. Should we move forward with the luau? Yeah, let's start. Let's do it. Of course, of course. Hello and welcome everyone. I'm pleased to announce that the potluck ceremony has begun. I have high hopes that you all contributed high quality ingredients. Want to leave the governor with a good impression now? Well, governor, would you indulge us with an honorary first tasting? I would be delighted. I've been eyeing the soup all afternoon. <laughs> Shirley's gonna love it, right? Golden cheese. <gasps> oh, oh my! That's the best soup I've ever tasted! Incredibly lactose intolerant and laid on our poop fire, but. Oh, he just dips his head in this. You're right, it's delicious! Wonderful job, everyone. Now, who else wants a taste? Look at this guy. He's, he's literally just double dipping. The governor wasn't kidding. The soup was out of this world. Now, folks, never double dip. I, um, I've noticed sort of, you know, uh, Corona kind of made, um, I've always been like, I wouldn't say like a germaphobe, but like I've always been like cognizant, like if someone's sick or something, like I know never to like touch my face or anything till I've like washed my hands and things and I'm always like kind of cognizant. Obviously, COVID like made most people wear Oh my god, I've noticed like since then, like I went out to a dinner the other night and um, like there was like spring roll things that were like people ordered. It was a guy's birthday and he bought everyone like um, dinner. So it was like these spring roll things and then someone just take a bite and then you just pop it back in. And you're like, ah, no, that's not smart. That's not smart. Um, you know, yeah, we've got everything. Yeah, Molly, exactly. Just everyone forgot everything. I mean, at the very least, turn it around, you know? Hold the bit that you bit and then dip in the other side, you know? No, I can't even know. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah. I wanted to dive into the pot like Augustus Gloop. I think he did. I think he actually was that. Time to head home. No OMG says he, yeah. Alright, so would I get my hearts now, huh? Oh, oh, you see, it did work. Sam, Sam is ready for a bouquet. And Alex is just one heart away from the bouquet. Ooh, and then I can execute my plan. It is Alex's birthday on Saturday. In theory, if I can get him this and get him the bouquet, I could literally just... But I don't think I'm going to be able to get him one heart. Unless I can get something that he really enjoys. Which I kind of get the feeling I'm not going to be able to. You always get plus 20 hearts from talking to them plus on the thing. I may be lurking, but I'm watching you, Dunk. Always watching. Kura, I see you there, dude. They always get that, like, autocorrect of people. Always the autocorrect. Duncan autocorrect. Who is this Duncan? What does he do? What type of name is this? I couldn't eat. Felt sick. How's the love life now? It's on the mend. Uh, slowly but surely, it's getting a bit better. Um, I think it's okay. I think it's going to be fine. I hope. I've almost got every single person in the valley. 10 out of 10 hearts. Then my master plan will come to fruition. I'm going to do a hardcore dating show. It's going to be fantastic. That's what we're going to do. Okay. I was going to try speed Alex to bouquet level. 
Oh, Keisha, you don't have the breakfast. We don't. I mean, what else does Alex like, peeps? I feel like he's really thwarting me. I still think I've given him two gifts this week, so I don't think there's much more I can actually do about it for his birthday. Yeah. Oh, well. Might as well put the, that coal in the forges. Um. Do I have duplicate coals here? Sorry, Timey. Timey obviously normally puts these things wherever they need to go. Oh, this three coal over here. Sorry. Yeah. You love salmon dinner? Um, I don't have uh what's that stuff called? Salmon. <laughs> no. The other thing you're supposed to put in there. Um Amaranth. I don't have amaranth. Unless some of this stuff is amaranth that will grow by tomorrow, but I don't I don't have amaranth. Oh well. Another reason why you don't share food? Yeah, Alex is one of the few NPCs I don't know as gifts. It's really hard. He's, he's, a, he's a tricky one. Maybe not for everyone, but for me, man. I said, not entirely sure I actually have salmon. But yeah, I don't think I have salmon and I don't have amaranth, so. Whoopsie daisies. Alex is uh, terribly difficult to please. That's what I know. We'll try. I guess we'll just have to probably then, I don't know, what, to take one more week. I don't know. If you can get something that people love, you can normally take a week. I do have a purple tea. Any star drop tea? I do have star drop tea. The only problem, Molly, is I don't know. If you get someone hearts before you give them a bouquet, does the hearts or the goodwill that you built afterwards come once you give them the bouquet? Because the problem is I do have star drop tea. It is almost his birthday. His birthday is tomorrow, which is good. But the problem is he's on seven hearts. So I'm a little bit scared that the star drop tea is literally on his birthday. is just going to push him hard to eight. But if there's a wall here, then I kind of waste it. You see what I'm saying? That's the problem. Because otherwise, it might be better to give him something that he likes for his birthday, then give the bouquet, then give him the star drop. What do we think? What do we reckon, peeps? Is there is there a hard wall until you give the bouquet? Because then, yeah, then I'm just going to give him something he likes for his birthday. Give him, like, some eggs or whatever. My father-in-law sensed him, um, sense, sense on your dinner one sneezed? Just give him a field snack? Um, field snack, yeah, field snack and eggs, right? So you're saying for his birthday, and then give him the thing. It'll push him to just below the ninth heart. Yeah, but even though I haven't given him the bouquet. So he will only give him one if not his birthday anyway. Okay. It'll only be eighth heart. All right. So do we agree, birthday, either the field snack or eggs, and then, um, or, uh, and then afterwards we give him the tea. Do we agree that that's the way to do this? I think so. Give snack. Kit, uh, now, now it just sounds like Kit just wants a snack. Kit, Kit, you can have a, you can have a snack, but what do you what do you want? I don't know if I have anything that's actual quality. That's a good plan. Yes, Kit goes give snack. Kit, you 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 give snack. <gasps> hey, Dunkster, guess what? My band is playing a show tonight in Zuzu City. Meet me at the bus stop around four this afternoon to leave for the show. You better be there. Oh, cool. Okay, bus stop at around four. I'm also supposed to go in the afternoon to the beach to do something with Elliot. Uh, and I can buy the bouquets and give one to Sam. Okay, it's all happening. Okay, so that's it. Buy bouquet, go to beach. After, I don't know what time the Elliot thing was to the beach. Go to the bus stop at 4 p.m. I'm going to go for a stretch break, peeps. I'm probably going to forget all of that. I'm going to need all of you to remind me of what the heck stream was doing before he left. Hey, AK Assassin, how's it going? Because I don't know. I don't know. I might forget. <clears throat> Alright, folks. I'm going to quickly go reach for the ceiling and touch my toes. Do some stretches. If you are enjoying yourself and you haven't dropped a follow, please do think about dropping a follow. I'll be right back after this. Stay tuned. Are you building with stone this time? It does work. I'm in shelter. Get out, Timeless. Only one of us fits in here. Oh, no, no. There <laughs> we go. I'm in shelter as well. Dig deeper, Timeless. Go deeper. I think this is as deep as I can go. Don't break through the other side. There we go. Now go in, go in, go in, go in, go in, go in. Alright. Look at that, 
it does work. My exposure's going... Okay, no, no, there, there, there's shelter. Hey. How's it hey. going, dude? Quite nice. Do you remember when we used to have a bed and a fireplace? <laughs> and now we live in a room. Please rock. don't mention the F fireplace there. Don't mention that F word. Oh, so I've rebuilt everything. Yeah. And now we've got wood instead of thatch. Now we've got wood instead of thatch? Yeah. Well, surely that could never burn down. Thomas, you know what you sound like to me? What? There's a story, dude. You may or may not have ever heard of it. It's called The Three Little Pigs. Okay. And believe it or not, we don't have to play this game. We don't have to move from thatch to wood. To you could have gone <laughs> directly to bricks, dude. <laughs> we don't have to play this game, Thomas. We really don't. I see you've left the uh, burnt husk of your previous home as a permanent reminder. Yes, that's your home. Uh, mine's one next to it. Okay. <laughs> oh, sweet, sweet oxygen. Oh no! Oh no! My water's low? Seriously? <laughs> oh my god, they can swim! Ah! Timeless! Did you escape? Ah! Wait, is he standing on the. Oh! Jesus, bear! Can, can they climb? Stamina's depleted? Yeah, I'm pretty sure bears can climb. I will um, be returning home with nothing, just so you know. <laughs> Wait, no iron, nothing. No, I'm literally either eating or drinking or inhaling whatever it is that I have been able to find. <laughs> I mean, I'll come back. I mean, I'll bring you like a Toblerone that I'll get like from the spacecraft just before I arrive, you know? Oh dear. What's oh? Oh dear. Fire burns. Fire? No, dude, is our base on fire again? Yes. Timeless! Dude, build a fire swatter, no, dude. Build the fire I don't swatter. Have a fire swatter. I don't have a fire swatter. Make one, it's very quick. Oh my god, he's done it again. <laughs> Time to make a fire swatter, dude. I can't. I no. <laughs> no, man. How did you set it on fire? Oh. I don't think Time has put a campfire in the house. Uh, <laughs> I didn't put a campfire in the house. I put a furnace in the house. You put a freaking furnace in the house. <laughs> it said I couldn't use the furnace unless there was shelter. <laughs> Oh, that's what a great idea. The little campfire burnt on us. The furnace needs shelter. Let's put it in. <laughs> yes, thanks. Again, like the phoenix, we shall rise. <laughs> even bigger and better. <laughs> oh my god, the flames even... It's literally just gone now. Yeah, I know. It's gone. There's literally nothing even left to beat. <laughs> not even anything are left you, to beat, Timeless. Are you, are you just standing there with your fire whack <laughs> looking at an empty space? Turn around, Timeless. Stop setting fires <laughs> to all of our stuff, Timeless. Stop putting freaking furnaces inside of wooden homes. Stop putting campfires on thatch bases. Ugh. My shoulder's literally getting really sore. <laughs> Damn it, timeless! Uh, 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 my stamina, I got, uh, uh, fire! So much fire! <laughs> You're struggling, man. So much fire! Stop, stop making... Uh. You feel better, bud. <laughs> stop making fire! <laughs> That's why we can't have nice things! Time to, you, no, dude, you're not doing it again. I need it, man. I need, I need all the iron. Yeah, but you've literally just burnt down our place, like again. It's controlled this time. Now that you're here, we have a fire whacker ready to go. So you honestly think because I've got a small stick that has a few <laughs> little bits of reeds attached to it, um, that uh, that's fine. That's that's reason enough. I mean, you seem to be quite proud of your fire whacker. <laughs> So this is my job now. That's it. Time to look what you've built, dude. 
All right, so are we testing you if think? you can burn this down? We're going full three <laughs> little pigs. <laughs> We're going full three little pigs. He's burned down the thatch base. He's burnt down the wooden base. Let's see if he can burn this one down. I think a wolf is attacking our base. Oh, is that that sound? What did you think it was? I'm curious, what did you think the <laughs> sound was, Tony? I didn't actually think it was anything, but there's nothing around our base. Oh, wait, there it is. It lives beneath the base, Timeless. Oh my gosh, the wolf did this? The little piggy tail was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> you can build your house out of bricks. Wolves don't care. <laughs> Wolves we don't care, Beavs. What the heck? So the wolf huffed and puffed and tried to blow the house down. <laughs> you look like you're from... Um, uh, Among Us. You look you sus, look like dude. You look like you're wearing diapers. <laughs> well, I'm wearing your cloth. We, we've, you've got my pants, dude. I've got your pants. I am not putting on those diapers. <laughs> Put I'm on the diapers, dude. <laughs> no, I'm sticking with the leather. All right. All right, all right. Safe travels into, <laughs> into outer space. Hold on. I just want to... Where are you? Fuel timeless burner of bases. Troll. Good luck, my friend. Okay. Travel safely. I hope that your leather armor uh, stops you from burning up into a crisp in the atmosphere. Bye-bye, Timeless. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, my bye. God. He didn't have a head. He, did everyone see it? He turned into a headless, weird <laughs> creature. My secret has been uh, exposed. And you look like you're sitting on a throne. Bye. Bye-bye, yeah, Timeless. That's... I missed another raid? I'm just the worst. Peeps, I feel like my schedule of taking stretches today is just the worst. I'm so sorry. So sorry, Valora. I can imagine you all came here, raided a lot, and it was just really scary, and you felt alone, and there was just no one here to say hello, and... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Can you ever forgive me? Can you ever forgive me? Folks, let's get a shout-out for Valora. Um, go say hi to Valora, if you haven't. And, um, try a tone for streamer being such an arsehole. So, I, I, I can't take a stretch break. I can't do it. Every single time I take a stretch break, someone raids. Folks, there's only one thing to do, and that's never stretch break ever again. I must just basically do my, my stretch breaks in front of you. It's the only thing. You peeps are going to see some of this kind of action, you know? What does everyone reckon? It's, it's the only thing that can happen. I'm so sorry. Terribly, terribly sorry. Terrible timing. Got mad. Threw a full-blown tantrum. Understandable. Completely and utterly understandable, Valora. That is your right. And um, I'm sorry that I did that to you. I'm so, so, so sorry. But it's good news. I can make it up to you. I can make it up to you by um, showing you some Stardew Valley. It's great. Also, you were playing... Sorry, how's content warning? Um, that's a good question. It's a good question that Zia's asked because I was thinking of playing that game. Um, I'm just trying to convince people to play with me, you know? Avenda said they'd play with me. Mel said they'd play with me. Valora said they'd hell dive with me sometime. I don't know. I don't know. Probably not after this. Valora would have played games with me, but not anymore. I don't think so. I hope the stretch was good. It was actually not a stretch at all. I actually went to go grab a piece of toast. But then I thought the toast would take too long, so I just ate crappy bread. So yeah. You're gonna get fired if you keep it up. I know, right? This is a terrible, terrible performance. That could be a fun time to do together. Encourage us to stretch more. Now, Kershi, the only problem is... What does everyone think if you come into the stream and it's me going, and lift, and go up, and side, to side? I think, I think maybe people wouldn't like that. I mean, th those of you who are here, like, who cares about the new people, I suppose? But, you know, we're always on the lookout for new friends, so I don't know if we'd make new friends that way. Like, my throat is killing me. I scream, laughed, it raw from the game. That good, huh? Scream, laugh, that throat raw. Is that a good thing? Sorry, I mean, I feel, I feel like it is. Um, I just need to confirm. Is that something I would want to do? Scream, scream, laugh, throat roar. Is it something I should aspire to? It fits your raid message? Yeah, there you go. It was just flexing on us. No stretching, says Rando. There's no flexing. There's no flexing. 
Okay, it could be a silent stretch thing. Just stare at us and make us feel bad if we weren't stretched too. So, Kershi, this is the type of thing you want. That's, that's the content. It's such fun. I got scared so much and then cried laughing. I still don't know if Valora... Is Valora... Can anyone else translate this? Does Valora want me to play the game or not play the game? Scared so much then cried laughing. I, I don't know what to do with this information. Legitimately have no idea what you're telling me. Is it a code? Is it... It sounds positive, but it also sounds extremely negative. I'll, I'll have to see. I'll have to experience it for myself. Um, I did get the game when it was free, though, and I see it is trending at the moment. We'll, we'll have to do a community playthrough at some point. All right, you folks were supposed to write down what I was supposed to do. Did anyone Did anyone do what they were told? Did anyone do what, what was I supposed to do today in Stardew? It's like an important day. I got a headache from laughing while playing, so I'd say it's a good time. No, but again, Calamity, you're not helping. I got a headache. Okay, but from laughing is good. I, like, it, the game, the game, first it giveth... Then it taketh away. That's that's what it does. I'm, I'm definitely seeing this game's kind of neutral. Get married? No, no, no. We're doing a whole we're doing a whole reality show for that. That's what's happening. Go to the gig with Sam. Oh yes. Okay, the gig with Sam is at 4 p.m. by the bus stop, and the beach is with Elliot at some point. Molly, that's exactly right. There was one more thing I was supposed to do. Um, what was it? I think probably just talk to Alex, eh? Okay. Maybe talk to Alex, talk to Sam. Beach and bus. Thank you, PJ. All right. Bend down. I'd follow. Do it too, then faint. Mm -hmm. Something at 4 p.m. Chimera, you do good work. Buy butter, flour, and soda at random. <laughs> no, random. That's not correct. Oh, oh. Buy bouquets. No one said buy bouquets. I'm supposed to buy two bouquets. That's, that's what I was supposed to do as well. Okay. Give him field snack. Um... That's tomorrow, though. I can't give him anything today. It's his birthday tomorrow. Okay. No, no. So that, 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 that's tomorrow. Okay. So today is buy two bouquets. Um, go to the beach with Elliot. Go see the concert with Sam. Keeps this game is so stressful. Honestly, I have so much stuff to do. Always. It's by far the most... I don't know what to call it. Chaotic, hectic game ever made. Is Stardew Valley. Thank you. If you ever need a fourth for content warning, you just let me know. Even after stretch gate. Are you sure, Valora? Okay. All right. That's cool. We just have to kick out timers. That's that's it. That's all we have to do. Just have to throw out timers. It's very simple. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it today. Okay, care, care not for that boy. Okay, two bouquets for me. Bum, 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 bum. All right, so if anyone has just joined, what's going on in this game, you ask? A lot of people judge this game by the graphics. Fair enough. It does have sort of like pixelated graphics. I like graphics like this because I grew up with graphics worse than this. I started gaming on the NES. So this, this is basically cutting edge graphic to me. However, the game is so much better than the graphics show. It is a really awesome, nuanced game that has a lot to do. Lots of busy work. I can definitely see legitimately like 300 hours worth of content in this game. Um, it's proper. It's proper stuff. Sorry, my room is so messy. Okay. Cool. And yeah, at the moment I'm working on love. So what we're going to do, peeps, I have two more people to romance. So a couple things have happened in the valley. I got all the girls to like me. All of them. Every single one of them thought they were dating me. I was just trying to see their personalities. I didn't realize we were dating. I'm a nice guy. Um, and then I got busted. And then I had no girlfriends. Every single one of the girlfriends was like, stuff you, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. When I spoke to them, that shake with anger and say, get away from me. So that happened. Then I thought to myself, what am I to do? You know, I've done a terrible thing. I've played all these girls, allegedly, and now I don't have any girlfriends. So I did what any rational person would do. I obtained five boyfriends. That's what I did. I obtained five boyfriends, and um, I have two boyfriends left to go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to basically do like a round robin where we're going to do like a reality show. We're going to do a reality show where all of you are going to help me vote. It's going to be like The the Bachelor, and we're basically going to make all these people verse each other. It'll be like Sebastian versus Maru in round one. Leia versus Emily, and we're going to have a whole, like, tiered system where um, we'll decide who's going to be our forever person. It's going to be insane. Because for Duncan's looks cutting edge. We'll just get glass to see the difference. 
It is cutting edge. Do you like my bow? I love your bow. Sports bracket? Yeah, I'm going to need someone to make a sports bracket. Should we should we make all the men versus each other and all the ladies versus each other? Or should it be lady versus man in each round? Um, that would probably be a good way to divide it. I go for the graphics heavily. Um, I take the L with it. Sometimes for things like this. Fair enough. Morning. Oh, sorry, Maggie. I did see you. Sorry, Maggie. I mean, I, I did say hello over at Randos, you know. How many times do you have to greet someone a day? Gosh, Maggie. Gosh. I told you I'm playing hard to get now, Meg. That's what I'm doing. I've learned that that's the way to do it. The problem is I was fawning over after you before. Please be my friend. Please be my friend. And you were doing the hard to get role. Anyone who doesn't know, Meggy refuses to be my friend. Is only timeless as friend. So now I'm but now I'm just being like, yeah, I don't care. Honestly, I don't care. I don't care so much. But don't tell Meggy that. And Meggy will turn around. Oh, hi, Dunkstar. Hey. Makes it slept. Do you say hello? Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Boys will not let you the hook just by staring at you. You think the boys will beat me up? <laughs> I slept. Okay, sorry, it's between sleep. Sorry, I vote for Krobus. Okay, um, I need void omelets or some crap. Where the hell's Sam? I need to give Sam a bouquet today. Is he still at home? Does this dude not leave the house before 11? not good oh no there they are okay family meeting it looks like a decent day for fishing doesn't it food at Jojo Mart might not be the healthiest for my family with such low prices you'd be crazy to shop anywhere else you hear that rando Jojo Mart best mart rando mart I'm gonna give this woman some fried calamari in front of her husband I hope you like it Thank you, this makes my day really special. And then I will give him some of whatever the hell this is. Oh no, I've already given him two gifts, okay. Wouldn't it be cool the town at a skate park though? Now I have to convince Mary Lewis. Then we take this guy and we give him a bouquet in front of his parents. I'll accept this, thank you. There we go. I'm dating Sam now, it's official. Um, so can I get a kiss? Whoa, dude! We just got to eight hordes. Holy moly, this guy reminds me of myself dating Leia. I can see now. Should I attack him with a hammer? What do we think? Should I attack him with a hammer? Holy moly. Um, for anyone who does not, I asked for a kiss from one of the ladies and she attacked me with a hammer. So I feel like it's a rite of passage. Try to kiss me with only eight out of ten hearts. What the heck? Hammer time? Yeah. Boys will send you to the sewers where the balloon can be found. Hiya, Rando. Want a balloon? Does it float? Oh, it floats, Rando. It floats. We all float down here. Okay. But then I will come to the sewer with you. Sorry, that's that's it three. Rando, Rando, Pennywise. Uh, the clock is for Keijo, you in the cutscene. Rando, don't leave! That was a perfect Rando Tucker impersonation! It was! It was perfect! It was wonderful! <laughs> it was so good! It was so good! It's me, Rando Tucker, from Rando Mart. It's that voice? Yeah, good, huh? So good. So good. Yep, cutscene. Oh, okay. My grandpa was a farmer, it's a respectable profession! Thanks, dude. Your aunt spends the whole day in front of that darn television set. All right, well, George can eat spicy whatever this is. Thanks. Okay, I think everyone's starting to love me. Old lady, you can have some sashimi. It smells... Oh! oh. Okay, um... I don't know how this happened, but the old man who's like a real, like... Honest, like, nasty dude likes me more than the old woman. Like, I thought I was like a shoe in for the old woman, you know? Look at this. Damn, dude. Cage is in. So, for anyone who doesn't know, Cage is in a cutscene. I don't know what Cage is getting up to. I don't know what time I must get to Elliot. I know I need to get to the other thing at four, so. Hmm. Valora, there it is. Did anyone honestly think I didn't sound like Rando? I think I sounded just like Rando. I think I was spot on. Anyone who doesn't know, Rando's another streamer. He's got an incredibly deep voice. 
No, I was just trying to impersonate him. Gonna get out of bed, Maggie. You enjoy getting out of bed. Maybe you can only pick one at a time. I don't know. Um, 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 um. Okay, I have to wait for time to pass. I know how Acacia feels most of the time. Herod, you and Sam got together. He's a really good guy. Okay, so apparently she doesn't mind if um, I date a dude. But she does mind if I date other ladies. So that's an interesting dynamic. Apparently my girlfriend is thrilled that I got a boyfriend. Hmm. With that impersonation? Oh, Z's done a shot. All right. Well, there you go. Now you have to follow peeps. You can go see if I did a good impersonation of Rando. It is me, Randall Tucker, here busy running Randall Mart. Lowest prices, best vulture impersonation. Why vulture impersonation? Because Randall perches on his freezers and tries to look ominous. Okay, the clock is ticking once more. Navo, crank up the mixer now. <laughs> do -do 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 Sorry, the do 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 do. I'm actually still doing the impersonation of Randall. Hey, Dunkster, where are you from? Vlad, I am from South Africa, of all strange places. That is the accent you hear. It's a difficult one to place. There are 11 official languages in South Africa, so it can be tricky to figure out where I'm from. We all sound a bit different. Um, I feel like 1 p.m. here, maybe. Now, I've never noticed you painted your mic green. Wait, I didn't paint my mic green. Wait, is that a thing? Oh, uh, you know what happened, Valora? Crap. So I actually had green screen issues the other day. And I just clocked up the um, sensitivity. So... I don't really know what the answer is here. Because, yeah, the mic actually is like... It's, 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 so it's the natural color of the mic. Yeah, it's the reflection of Stardew. That's, that's what it is. So, yeah, it probably is it there, there. So, yeah... Um, but the mic is actually kind of greenish. It's sort of like an army color, if I can put it that way. Um, so it's, it can be a problem. But yeah, yes, I don't know what my lights, something just went wrong and like everything just kind of didn't show where I'd wanted to. So there was like a lot of like artifacting, particularly when the screen had some black in it. So it wasn't good. I don't think artifacting is the word, whatever. You could see like the green screen. So I could turn it down, but then the problem is that then if there's ever like a black scene, you'll see um, screens. So I don't, I don't, I don't actually know what the hell to do. If I'm honest, see, like here you can't see it. Now you see now, now, now stream has to fix crap live. Okay, so you see I had it on 420. So you can do things like this, so you become sort of. So this is how much green is in you. This is like a setting that you do in your stream settings to see how much green there is. Uh, a lot of green in my teeth. I've been eating a lot of spinach. Ah! See, otherwise you show stuff off. So I'm at 420. Before I used to be on about here, but you'll see as I change this, you'll see like the side here. Yeah, you see. Can't cut myself off more. But then obviously then the microphone doesn't... So I don't actually know what to do. I don't know what to do. That actually seems... Maybe like there. 415. But the problem is the game, I actually do have it set up so I can... I don't know. I actually don't know. I don't know the answer. Don't. That's fine. Uh, why is South Africa so small compared to North Africa? <laughs> I have black green mic cover. I put it on sometimes just so assumed. Oh, no, gotcha. I mean, maybe it's the best way. Just make this disappear entirely. Today I learn. And just like that, we're here again. Yeah, it's a problem, right? I think Acacia's right. And there was an old uh, letter that you had missed. Wait, what? It's an old letter that I missed? So what? I can't ever... I'm sorry, I don't see that. Surely you can make it happen. The guy said go to the beach. Acacia's in another cutscene. Cutscene day. All your fault. This is a riot. 
Now, I've actually been told that that emote doesn't look like a riot. I shouldn't be saying this out loud. But I've been told apparently that looks like someone brushing their hair. Which I don't quite agree with. It's obviously meant to be a flaming torch. And it's meant to be a riot. Um, I don't think Manatheria is sitting there, like, brushing their hair. I don't think that's a thing. Don't you, don't you laugh at that. You already got a cutscene with Elliot at the beach? I thought the letter was for that. Um, it could be. I don't know. I mean, I'm going to try it. I've got till 4 p.m. anyway. I don't know why this thing's paused, though. Fiercely brushing. <laughs> you already saw the event, but read the letter late. Okay, so you think it was that. All right, well, then I've got till 4 p.m. anyway to go do the Sam thing. 4 p.m. at the bus. Pam might be available? I would love to get with Pam, Lucas. Absolutely love. Pam's amazing. Pam's uh, unobtainium, though. Pam, Pam's not for romancing. That's why I say you admit it was a hairbrush. No. Uh, didn't admit anything. I just give you information. Everyone can make up their own minds. Okay, so you think this beach scene's already been seen? That's fine, though. Then I'll go do the other one uh, with the band. Hey, Haley. Yeah, I don't see anything here. It did say in the afternoon, and that's probably what I accidentally got. Bum, bum. And I'm assuming this me going to the band thing is Sam's um, eight-star event, right? Or eight-heart event. No, I don't think Elliot Shampooman's going to do anything. I actually did think that he was being a little bit uh, greedy, kind of asking me to come over on so many days, you know? Blank book. Hmm. Qualum, none of that. Two can play at this game, Qualum. Qualum. For anyone who doesn't know, the other day I said Holly M's name might be pronounced Qualum. The game is surprisingly in depth. I agree with that, Blue, because this game has a lot to do. Crazy, crazy amounts of stuff to do. Uh, I'm, at the moment, I'm focusing on the romances, but yeah, if you want to focus on the building, if you want to focus on the farming, if you want to focus on the caving. Lots of cool stuff to do. But yeah, at the moment, I'm just trying to get myself a spouse. Okay, so I must come back here at 4 p.m. Okay, here's another letter. Thanks, Star. This recipe of mine won first prize in a cooking competition. I've learned how to make ice cream. Blueberry tart. Eggplant parmesan. Holy moly, today's is like a day for recipes. I'm getting me some amethyst. Okay, now it's a bit weird that Demetrius gives me... Oh, no, no, I'm thinking about for uh, Abigail. I was going to say Demetrius gives me the stuff that allows me to romance his daughter, but that's actually... don't think correct. I don't think Maru loves that. I think it's just Abigail. Definitely a torch. Thank you, Manatheria. Totally not a hairbrush. Okay. Should be good. Do, 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 do. Okay, it's 4 p.m. I have a date. Okay, sure. Goodbye. Bye bye. Cool. All the young people are going to the concert. It's going to be so much fun. Zuzu City, here we come. Hi, Dunkster. Thanks for coming. Well, our gear is loaded already. Looks like everything's set. <gasps> All right, everyone. Let's get in the bus. Cool. Wait, is even like the little kid Vincent coming? I suppose his mom's there. What? I'm starting to get really nervous. Alright, do we think this is going to be as rock and roll as when we watch Cyberpunk? How rock and roll do we think this is going to be, peeps? Do we think we're going to get a headbang? Do you think we're going to have a cool concert? Or do you think it's going to be pretty tame? What do we reckon? Here we are, wish me luck. Because yeah, the last time I rocked out in Cyberpunk, people made a clip of me. And I did not like it. You can also romance Z. Who's Z? In the game sense. How's it going, Stella? How you doing? 
and Etheric on C. What genre did you pick? I guess rock. Are there little children there? I think so. Why, Holly, do you want to sacrifice them? What are you talking about, Holly? That sounds awful. Damn, Abigail on drums, Sebastian on keyboard. Hi, everyone. We're from Pelican Town, er, and we're called Goblin Destroyer. Wait, goblins? What are the, what are the, uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I'm glad, though, they destroy goblins. See that? Any of you that share 130 bits, the goblins are going to get destroyed. I think you mean Acacia. Oh. No stress. Oh, I guess I can't take Z then. Oh well. All right. Not goblins, just one goblin. The goblin destroyer. They will destroy any single time one of you cheers 130 bits. These guys will destroy it easily. Easily. I couldn't say goblin slayer for the TM. Okay. Here we go. As you can see, I've never played guitar. I'm sure it works like this. Damn, this is cool. Kind of like Egyptian vibes. Nailed it? Yeah. You didn't bring me a snack, so I had to start making dinner, you see. What the hell's Leia doing dancing with Elliot Shampooman? That's my girlfriend and boyfriend. What the hell's my girlfriend doing dancing with my boyfriend? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. Is this actually a really good song? Yeah. Whoa, that was great. Linus staring at the dumpster contemplating his live trip. Oh yeah, what is Linus doing? <laughs> nice work, guys. I really love that heavy breakdown at the end. Thanks, everyone, but you should really be clapping for Dunkstar. Without his help, we'd never have decided what kind of music to make in the first... Wait, what? Everyone clap for me. So you're like an honorary member of the band, then. Heck yeah. Oh, and don't forget to pick up one of our demo cassettes on the way, only 10G. Cool, thank you for clapping for me. He's dumpster diving? Yum. That went well, thanks again for coming with us. Okay. That concert was 10 minutes. I mean, it actually was about 10 minutes long, huh? Okay, that was pretty rock and roll. I quite, I quite liked it when it had... I don't know what instrument that was. I'm going to assume it's the guy on the keyboard. It sounded almost kind of... I don't know if I could say like Egyptian-esque. It kind of had that like sort of... I don't even know what to call that type of sound. But it was cool. It was cool. Show went well. I was kind of nervous beforehand, but once we had, uh, went up on stage, I just kind of got into the zone. You were wonderful, Sebastian. Hmm. Your back, sis, makes it. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. Uh, uh, so, Uncle, I don't know what you're saying, but I don't, uh, I don't know. It doesn't sound like a good thing to have in chat. It had a sitar sound. Hello, Dunkster. Did you ever get lonely on that big farm? Hint, 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 hint. Who's your last bouquet for? Uh, Alex. Alex is the only single person left in the valley who I haven't got my clutches into. Uh, their mixtape is worth less than a parsnip. Yeah, by far. Way less. So Alex is the last. It's Alex's birthday tomorrow. And then um, there will be no single people left. No single people left in the valley. And then we can start whittling them down and breaking hearts until we figure out who I am going to marry. Chocolate cake. Mm. Can I have another piece of chocolate cake? I think that's just for Abigail, all right? I mean, I haven't given her a gift in a while, I guess. 
Again, I don't actually know if the guys have a scene like the girls. I mean, obviously now I know that something technically could happen. You have to get everyone to 10 hearts. You go with a serial killer before Alex? Um, so... <laughs> Wild and Twide, welcome back. My problem comes in Alex is the hardest person, at least for my playthrough, with the stuff I have to romance, by far. I still don't have anything he loves. So obviously, like, anyone, if you can, like... Anyone that you can just buy a pizza for, or... Uh, in the doctor's cape, uh, case, a cup of coffee is really 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 easy to um to romance so the doctor the moment i learned the doctor loved coffee i just bought like 10 cups of coffee and then you just gift him that um sam also pizza once i learned that but alex alex is hard like he's really difficult to to get stuff for you know you've been friends for a long time you better be good to him or you'll, you'll see my bad side Ooh, abigail uh, so uncle, it's all good, dude. Uh, fave, drink tea or coffee? Well, the doctor, you're asking me, Luna Sky. Um, I really love the thought of coffee, okay? I think coffee's sexy. George Clooney tells me I'm supposed to drink coffee. I like the smell of coffee. I do like the taste of coffee. But to be honest, I don't actually um, like caffeine. I don't need caffeine, so I don't have caffeine. Um, I save it for emergencies. So a lot of you are like, oh yeah, I could have like a cup of coffee before bed. What a waste. I stay off the stuff. If I ever drink coffee, I'm like, Wing! like it's basically, but the only problem is I'd like to speak like this. Like I really speak too fast, but if I actually have coffee, I'll let it talk like this. And the streams is going to be way too uh, difficult to understand, you know? That's what's going to happen. So, so that's the problem. So if I have too much coffee, my heart's going to be raised. I'm sitting there going like just streaming like this. But it'll make perfect sense to me. Alex, doesn't he like eggs? Yeah, but he doesn't love eggs, Attila. That's the problem. So I've given him a lot of eggs. But the problem is like is not love. So love gets you a lot more hearts. So you see, I mean, I've, he likes all this crap. Egg, egg, pizza, spaghetti, tortilla. I mean, look at all the stuff I've given him. I gave him a freaking emerald. I gave him a diamond. <laughs> he, he just, he likes everything, but he, do, he loves nothing. So yeah. You need a dunk coffee stream? It's, it's too quick. Dunk likes to pretend he's a cool by getting up in the morning and a cup of coffee and a few puffs from a nicotine vape. <laughs> I vaped one time. Splits, I don't know if you ever heard. I actually got approached by a sponsor. It has to be coincidence. I don't think it's because word got out. But they were like, yeah. Um, would you like to promote vapes on stream? We'll pay you. I was like, no, I'm cool. You have salmon and amaranth? No, I don't have amaranth, hey? So I can't make the breakfast thing because I don't have the, uh, the recipe for it. And I don't have amaranth, so I can't make salmon. So yeah, everyone's tried, but I, I literally have nothing to give him. A dono goal? Yeah, I suppose if you peeps want, yeah, we could do a dono goal and I can do a caffeine stream. Rando won't have to go on YouTube and watch two times. He loves a rabbit foot. I don't have a rabbit foot though. Rabbit foot, where can I get one though? But thank you for that tip. Do you not hear that? I don't even know uh, that was a thing. It says split. Oh yeah, it's a thing. It's a, it's, it's a real thing. Big vape is everywhere. You talk about it, they know about it. Yeah, so for anyone who missed it, I went out one night in December and I vaped. I told everyone, oh man, I went out, I had a few drinks, and then I, like, my one mate had a vape, and I was like, why is everyone vaping? I was like, give me a hit of that thing, and I was like, dude, this thing is delicious, and it was delicious, it was super grapey, I was like, this tastes like eating, like, candy, and he's like, I know, it tastes good. So, yeah, he bought me a vape, and then I hit that thing hard that whole night. Um, my entire night was just grape-filled nonsense, that's, that's, that's what it is. Grape, delicious grape, and shots and stuff and yeah anyway one week later i got approached by a vape company how did they know i don't know you think one of your chickens went missing oh no popcorn lungs for free it's super bad for you though kids i did it one time that's what i did you have adhd caffeine naps and it's uh and it's not working as a thing adhd caffeine naps and are not working as a thing if you have adhd okay hey doug what happened to your girlfriends with the emphasis on the friends uh, May, there's a clip that Z, I don't know why Z wants to, but there's a clip at the top that you can see. And there was a whole lot more to the scene. I'll, I'll put more on the YouTube. Peeps, if you don't subscribe to the YouTube, there's a link there. Please do subscribe to the YouTube. Um, I'll put up all my Stardew adventures. We've had a lot of fun in this. A lot of cool things have happened. There's a new short that's up um, as well with the fairy that came and, you know, inflicted a plague upon the land. It's, it's a whole thing. Because you kept referencing it. Says Z. Z, I think you are just out to destroy me. In the best way possible. You know, you do it with good intention, but... 
that's that's what it'll be you wait for your longs yes the longs will come out the shorts are up and eventually they'll turn into longs it'll be a thing okay i actually don't need this fishing bait you're the actual worst i am not you take that back madam yeah, I went to a whole rock concert today. It was a good day. Okay, tomorrow is Alex's birthday. Um, I have to make sure I give him a birthday present that he likes. Then give him the bouquet. And then I think... We're about a couple days out from being able to decide who we love and who we're going to marry. You still have bombs in two different chests? I do. Shells, bells, I'm afraid that my chest system is complete garbage. I did make it, though, in my defense. My co-host, Timus, did, but he's not here. He created this abomination of a chest system... And then left. That's what happened. Stop calling them longs. I'm unsubbing the YouTube. They're videos. No, Kit. The one videos are short and the other ones are longs. It makes sense, Kit. It, it, it makes sense. You stay sub there and you enjoy the longs. So you keep doing the commenting. Hmm. You said that all of last stream, therefore exited out. I hear you, but the problem is, you know, the game takes a bit longer than you expect. I literally only have two people left to romance. And one of them I've already got there. I just have to get him to 10 hearts now. Um, and the other one, as I said, I should have him by the end of the of the birthday. So, so, so it'll be fine. That's so good. Mm. I swear to dog, Kit. Don't swear. And especially not to that poor dog. Ooh, ooh. Actually, while I'm waiting for occasion, maybe we have void chickens. Maybe we have a void chicken. I was told that we could get a cool new type of chicken. I honestly thought this void egg would turn into like a dragon. Or something, but apparently it turns into a chicken. So let's go see this chicken. Why do I say chicken like that? Because who wouldn't? Chickens are cute little beasts. And everyone should pronounce it that way. Hey, little chicken. <gasps> there it is. Is that it? Filbert is trying to sleep. We have a void chicken called Filbert? Okay, we're going to have to rename this. Who wants a void chicken named after them? We're going to do it. And then check, it makes this stuff. What the heck is this? Void mayonnaise. Mm. Would anyone like to drink void mayonnaise that was made from that void chicken's stuff? Hey, black mayonnaise. Yummy, yummy. We like that. Me, 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 me. Me. Ooh, me, me. Can't rename it till it's awake. I see that, Keja. Me, 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 me. I do. The name, not the mayonnaise. Manatheria. All right. So, I mean, I suppose this is... If we could, I'd say hey, whoever chugs this thing of white mayonnaise will get um, the chicken named after them. But I think what we're going to do is we'll play a little guessing game, okay? Who wants to play a guessing game? Your streamer is thinking of... A... Type of... Oh, no, I'm not going to do this. Too many things have too few options. I need something that's got a lot of options. Um, screw it. I'm thinking of a country. I can think of the country that I'm thinking of. I will name this void chicken after you. Country. America. Zambia. Okay, we go straight from the aces. Finland. Mexico. Ethiopia. Austria. Canada. Norway. Italy. Scotland. Yemen. Denmark, Austria, Tasmania, Chile, Czechia, uh, New Zealand, UK, UK, Canada, France, Ghana, Egypt, England. I don't see anyone who's got this so far. Keep guessing. Okay, I don't, I don't see any of them here. Oh, finally, someone guesses where I'm from, but no, not that one. Um, I don't see it. weird i mean i don't think it's that okay i'm gonna give a clue if, if no one's got it in the next like 10 seconds i'll give like a clue okay i still don't see it i'm sorry if anyone said it and i missed it obviously the things go by quickly uh okay the clue is the country is in i mean we'll start off by saying hemisphere northern hemisphere northern hemisphere country Hmm. 
Has no one really ever said this? Okay, I'm gonna give another... I, I swear I must have missed it. I can't believe no one would have guessed this by now. Okay, it is a European country. I swear, if someone said... I'm so sorry if I missed it, because I'm surprised no one said it yet. This is weird. Okay. No. I'm starting to think it's not a country. Oh my god, so Uncle finally got it. Okay, it's Greece. Greece. No one got Greece? Okay. So Uncle the Void Chicken. It was it was, was, was Greece. I'm sorry if anyone said that and I missed it, but it was it was, it was Greece. No one no one thought of poor Greece? Wow, we suck yeah, you know. Wait, that's a musical and a country. <laughs> It's a thing. Holy moly. Alright, well. Philbert. Your name is Sir Uncle Chicken. Sir Uncle Chick. Greece was the first one I thought of, and I thought, nah, why, Z? Why did you read my mind perfectly and you didn't follow through? What the heck, Z? Z was like, I knew it from the beginning. It was so easy. Greece is not a country. That's stuff that builds up the bottom of your pad. It's a country. It's a freaking country. You know what I always find the weirdest thing about countries? I love that, and it, some people don't actually know that this is the case. Did you know that what you call a country, usually in your language, isn't actually the name of the country? So as an example, Greece is not called Greece. If you go ask someone who lives in Greece, and you say, hey, what's the name of your country? But you ask them in Greek. They'll say it's called Hellas. It's called Hellas. If you go to someone in Germany and you say, hey, you live in Germany, they'll go, no, I live in Deutschland. It's Deutschland. That's what it's actually called. In English, we're like, nah, Greece. Mm, Germany. And you're like, that doesn't even sound the same. That, that doesn't, doesn't even sound nearly the same. Uh, Croatia. What's the name of your country? Kravatska. Nah. Croatia. That's what that sounds like to me. Like, um, it's not a country, it's a movie. So yeah, it's 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 a whole thing. We're just like now nah, I'll call you I'll call you Greece. It's easier to say. Most countries do that? Uh well not countries, yeah, languages. Languages do it. So I'm just saying it is kind of a weird thing to think. I would think that the name of the country should probably be one that everyone should say. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like you'd think you should be able to be, at least be called what you want to be called, your territory. Have you ever understood why I have to rename Yeah, I'm I'm thinking that same thing, Split. Exactly like that. So, like, I mean, as an example, I live in, uh, according to the French, I live in Afrique du Sud. Where the hell is Afrique du Sud? That's where I live, apparently. There's actually two movies, but the second one is not really that good. Wait, there was Greece too. John gets even more Travolta. Hmm, that's why Turkey rebelled, because they called it. Seems totally logical. Yeah, let's just name, nah, I don't like the Hellas. Too hard to say. I'll call you Greece. <laughs> oh, man. Different characters? Okay, the different characters, fair enough. But I mean, a lot of us use the same characters, right? We have the same alphabet, and we do the, the same thing. So, you know, different characters, maybe. But the, even, the, even with the same characters, you know, like European countries, yeah. Turkey demands to be called Turkey Internationally? Really? Flowers next time? Yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer. Wait, where did, where did that come from? Oh, Michelle, wait, Michelle Pfeiffer was in Greece, too. Is Michelle Pfeiffer still alive? What the hell was the last time I saw Michelle Pfeiffer? Last time I saw her, she was like a school teacher, like a really, like at a, like at a hardcore school, you know? Is she okay? I mean, she's bad. Sorry, cat woman. She should be able to take care of herself. Michelle Pfeiffer. What the hell happened to Michelle Pfeiffer? Grease 2 at Rex Manning. What was Grease 2? Wow, okay. Well, peeps, none of you guessed Grease until you did, you know? Except for Z, who thought about it immediately. All right, today is Alex's birthday. Um, it seems like no one comes out when it rains, though. So I guess I'll go in. Sorry, this isn't where they live. Alex? <gasps> I just can't reach it. If only I could get up from this infernal chair. Ugh. <sighs> Uh, thank you, young man. 
This guy looks like he's on tank rails. Oh, it happened 30 years ago. I was working in the coal mines. We're near the end of our shift. There was one last seam that needed to be broken up. I went in there aiming and set off a stick of dynamite. And my foot slipped in a crack and I dropped it. The dynamite exploded on impact. Oh, goodness. The next thing I remember, I was laying in the hospital. And they told me I'd never walk again. I honestly just thought he was old. Okay. See, they always add. A lot of these people kind of get like their lore added into them. Um, every single character becomes personable in this game after a while. It's pretty cool. Is she still alive? She's 65. Yeah, but I'm saying I haven't seen her in a lot of movies. She was in Ant-Man. Okay. What countries have you been to? I've been to quite a few countries, Wild Entwined. Um, I, I used to travel a lot for work. So luckily with that, I mean, I've, I'm sure there's a lot of people who've been to lots more, but yeah, I've been to a lot of European countries. I've been to um, a handful of countries in Africa, um, North America. I've, I've never been to South America at all. Um, so yeah, she is Wasp. Isn't the... No, man, Wasp was the... What, is she like the OG Wasp? She like the old... So that, I think that's number two, Rando. Um, I look obviously at the young Wasp. Who was the lady from Lost? She was in Endgame. Okay. Well, there we go. I forgot. I mean, okay, my defense, Endgame had about 85 different superheroes I was supposed to remember. So, yeah. Hey, Wolfie, how's it going? Everything's going wonderfully. Thank you. She got married to a director, I see. Since Greece is in the south of Europe. I, Yeah, but it's still Northern Hemisphere, Chimera. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't lie to you. Oh, I wouldn't lie to you. Yeah, 9,000 plus cost. Yeah, I mean, at the end, they got Avengers Assemble. Like, you know, what are you... How are we supposed to know what's going on? How many countries have you been banned from? I've never been banned from any country. I do think, though... Okay, this is going to sound really weird. But I did commit a crime in Denmark. I accidentally stole a bicycle in Denmark. So, technically, I might be banned from Denmark. Um... I don't, I don't know. I, maybe they've got some... Thief! No, 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 not thief. I made a mistake. I made... I, it was an accident. It was an accident. I made a mistake. I was led astray. That That's all. I accidentally stole a bicycle. That's that's all. That's why Endgame was the worst of all movies, says Rando. Dunk wanted in Denmark? I don't know. Something in Rotten in the state of Denmark. It was Dunk. You're on a milk carton? Sorry, I might be. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Check this out. In the Netherlands, and I don't even know if this is true. If anyone lives in the Netherlands, you can tell me. But when I was in Amsterdam, my tour guide said to me, he's like, there are so many bicycles in Amsterdam that lots of them don't belong to anyone. So he's like, basically, if you see like a discarded, like old crappy bike that doesn't have like a, um, like a chain or something on, like it doesn't actually belong to anyone. Most of them actually have like things where they have to like clean up the bikes and stuff. So... I don't know if that's still the case, but that's what the guy said. So I took that bit of information. Now I'd had business meetings in Denmark and I was taken out for really, it was literally the most expensive meal I've ever had in my entire life. I ate a steak um, that was, let me quickly give it to you. I had a $222 steak that night. Um, and the guys were buying like red wine and stuff. I remember we had business meetings and... I just, the, the bill for that meal, I just remember thinking, so I was like the financial director of our company. I remember thinking, if I have to pay for this meal, I don't even know if my credit card's going to cover it. And the credit card that I had was literally a credit card that was used to refuel airplanes. Like, that's like literally thousands of liters of fuel. And that's what that, and I was still like, I don't actually know if this thing's going to be able to buy this meal. That's, that's how bad this is. Thank God the people that we had the meeting with, they bought the meal. You know, I was just like, what the heck? The cost of that wine, the cost of that meal. I mean, oh, and it was one of those places, well, you buy the steak and then you still have to pay for the sides. So it was literally like the most expensive meal I've ever had in my entire life. And anyway, afterwards, I'm like, hey, let's go out. You know, so we go out and then like everyone left and I was the last person that was out. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go home now. And there was an old crappy bicycle. And I remembered that story where bicycles don't belong to people. So I took that bicycle and rode it to the hotel. Um, also, it was a bit stuffed up because I was on the bicycle and I couldn't stop the bicycle. The bicycle didn't have brakes. I was like, how the hell do you stop this bicycle? It was pretty weird. Uh, what I learned subsequently is apparently because it's so flat there, 
They've got bicycles that you just pedal backwards. The pedals are the brakes. I was like, oh, because it's flat, so it doesn't need like proper brakes. Anyway, so that's how I accidentally stole a bicycle in Denmark. So yeah. Oh, that was a damn good steak. Oh, tasted like cow, you know. <laughs> that's what it was. Um, it was one of the expensive beefs. I can't, I mean, they had the whole choice. They had, they had Wagyu and Kobe and like all the best beefs on the menu. So yeah. <clears throat> Fixed gear, love it. Yeah, it's the first time I've ever been on one. It's crazy, says Alligator. In the UK, you can rent bikes in London. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. I've been to, I've been to England the most. Of any other country, I've been to England a ton. I used to go there for work quite a bit. Kobe beef is made by the cow caretakers. Give the cows massages and give, yeah. I mean, that was on the menu. All that stuff, Scott. And how you doing, dude? So yeah, that steak tasted like cow. Honestly, you can't, there's a level where, I don't know. It's like, it's good, but it's not that much better. You know what I'm saying? Like, was it the best steak I've ever had? I don't think so. Like, I've had like some really nice steaks. Um, so yeah, I don't know. So, I don't know, I don't know. It was a pretty good steak. Have you know that I'd be spry of the spring chicken if I hadn't been in that accident? Jen, this poor dude. You've been very nice to me, young man. I appreciate that. When you're old, you start to forget that anyone cares about you. Hey, this guy is honestly like the biggest dick in the entire village. And um, now he's a good guy. And uh, Alex as well is a dick. Let's see what he's... So this game does make you feel for people. Ugh. And back-to-back cutscenes. Oh, hi, Dunkstar. Hmm? Look at all these books. I haven't read a single one. Just the thought of cracking one open makes me nervous. Now, this guy's dad, we've learned, is a complete and utter dick. Uh, he sounds... They didn't, they didn't explicitly say, but it sounds like he was a bit um, abusive to the mom, and then they had to leave, and now he's like this, and now he lives with his grandparents. Now he lives with his grandparents, this dude. But obviously, he's always like a chauvinistic jock, dude, most of the time. But underneath... See, they make, they make everyone appealing. But you can't make a decent living in the world without a brain. Oh, see, Andy's a thinker now. I'm worthless. That's crazy. You're a genius. We all have our strengths and weaknesses. Worthless? Yeah, that about sums it up. Um, I mean, I feel like number one is maybe too overt. What do we, what, what do we think? <laughs> That's crazy. You're a genius. Um, or we gotta go with strengths and weaknesses. <laughs> That's stupid. You're a genius. Um, oh, sorry, Scott. Hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. Uh, and yeah, always good to see you. Middle one, middle one. Yeah, everyone's saying two, two, two. Night child records number three. Listen, I do think that this is the guy who's been peeing on my vegetables. On my vegetable garden. I can't prove it. You know, you can't tell it. You know, you got mm, human urine. But you don't know whose it is, you know? You can't tell. So I'm pretty sure it's his. But we can't know for sure. Dunk, how did you lose all your girlfriends? Sidora says a clip there that's at the top. Um, I had one too many. There's, there's, there's a clip you can watch on YouTube. Please do remember to subscribe to the YouTube while you're there, peeps. We all have our strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, I'm not gonna give up. If I work hard, I can do anything. Hey, maybe one day we'll have dinner and discuss philosophy. Isn't that what you smart people talk about? Oh my god, <laughs> Philosophy! 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 Philosophy, that's what's smart. This guy should marry Maru. This guy should marry Maru. That's incredible, it's really not. They are talking to me again though, so I think it's fine. Lady Hawk is pretty good, I remember Lady Hawk. Philosophy, I think he was joking though, I think he's joking. I think he was joking. Oh damn! Okay, today's his birthday. I can't move. Oh, wait, another cutscene? Oh, hey, I was just doing my daily strength training routine. Oops, I've just, I literally haven't been in this house apparently so long, I've got three cutscenes. <laughs> Sorry, I have no shirt on. My nipples are so, so hard right now. Uh, Dunkstar, I've been meaning to talk to you about something. I started to realize that, well, 
that I've really been rude towards you in the past. You know, about going pro and all that. I guess I might not actually be cut out for professional sports. Maybe it was just a childish dream, you know? Anyway, I wanted to apologize to you for bragging and being annoying about it. I appreciate that you stayed friends with me through all that. Well, there we go. It's coming around. Huh. Oh, whoa. Ugh, 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 ugh. Fellow for Sophie? Yeah. They only get mad for a week and then they're fine again. Hmm, this is not good weather for sports. Alright, he's 7 out of 8. He is... It's his birthday though, so let's give him one of these. Oh, it's my birthday today. I guess it is. Thanks. This is nice. 8 out of 8. Alright, this is the last person that is single in the entirety of the valley. So for anyone who doesn't know, I dated all the girls. All the girls find out that I was dating all the girls. And all the girls dumped me. That sucks. That sucks. So, what did I do? I did what any single person would have done. I started dating all the boys. Now, I've literally got a romantic relationship with every single person that you can have a romantic relationship, except for one. Oh, wait. I have a romantic relationship with every single person in the valley. Every single one. And now we're going to have a... Uh, the moment we get them to ten hearts, we're going to have like a reality show. All of you are going to vote. It's going to basically be like The Bachelor. We're going to see who we're going to give a rose to every single round. We're going to have like Alex versus Abigail. Shane versus Emily. It's going to be insane. If you have a star drop tea, you can get three hearts on their booty day. Uh, so, Miss Bell, I do have a star drop tea. The only problem is, um, Miss Bell, I don't know if you heard us talking about this earlier. But he was on seven out of eight hearts. So I wanted to give him the star drop tea. But I was like, does the eight count as a wall if you haven't given the bouquet? And I think it does. That's what most people said. So we decided to rather give him this than give him the star drop tea tomorrow. Maybe you'll come now and say we've made a terrible mistake. You know, but who knows. Everyone, what about Timeless? Um, well, everyone who's not Timeless, obviously. We're going to do IRL The Bachelorette? Yeah, 100%. That's exactly what we're going to do. Smart because it is a wall. Yeah, okay, yeah, there we go. So yeah, unfortunately, a bit of a muck up. Alex gives your arm a squeeze, grinning. <laughs> cool. I only gave a T to Haley because I couldn't get her to like me. Yeah, Haley was a tough one. But Alex is the last person. This is the last person in the valley I date. I gave T on Haley because I couldn't. Uh, so sorry, yeah, I saw that. So yeah, that's it. So yeah, we've got him up to eight. So now we just got to get him up to ten. So next week we can give him the T or Sam the T, you know? Alex was like, let me feel your bicep. And what he felt there was freaking amazing, Anna. It made what he has feel like it was feeble and small. That's what happened. My character's biceps are huge. I've been working with hoes. I've been working with axes. I couldn't sleep last night. I was imagining all the things we we're going to do together. Even with all the practice we did, I made a bunch of mistakes on stage. I hope no one noticed. Okay, still an eight. Just waiting for these numbers to go up. <laughs> I heard about you and Sam. Hopefully it won't cause you any trouble. Oh, this is his mom. <coughs> I heard about you and my son. Ah, uh, she knows. She knows it's not gonna... He's gonna give me all sorts of crap. Okay, let's see. Jody tells me you've really become a part of this community. I'm glad to hear it. It's good to know, dude. You have some spicy stuff. And I've given him two gifts. Isn't his dad an ex-army man? He is. He hates me. Um, The passion of a thousand sons. Haley is super easy if you grow a bunch of sunflowers. Yeah, the problem is, yeah, I think everyone's easy if you have what they love. But um, I'd say the easiest people in the game to romance are the doctor. You just have to buy coffee. Um, Pam, Shane, because you just have to buy beer. Uh, anything that you can literally just buy, then you don't actually have to do anything for it. So it all just kind of comes down to what you have and what you can use. So yeah, unfortunately, I didn't manage to, to get everyone. You're so dead when he finds out, it's going to be fine. I reckon he'll support it. The only reason he's more upset with me because I tried to um, flirt with his wife. Let's say that is probably worse. Okay, sorry, Krobus. Everyone said Krobus. Sorry, I did read all the Krobus messages. I wasn't ignoring the Krobus loves. Well, all the girls call him a hoe or something similar. They called me a sleaze. Jody is neat. Listen, Jody is the prettiest person in the valley. 
I think Jody's really pretty. But uh, Jody, I don't really like Jody. Her personality is not the best. I tell you what, if she was on there, Robin would be a strong contender. If I could just get Demetrius, if I could just murder Demetrius. Maru and Robin. And we're talking. Sorry, did I say I meant uh, send him away. You'd marry Robin? Yeah, Robin. Robin's unobtainium, huh? Um, sorry, meant to come to Crobus. That's why I'm down here. Wow, Dunk. No, but he was a bastard to me, Z. Z, he was rude to me. That's that's all. He was he was rude to me. Oh, this smells delicious. I'll eat half and use the other half to moisturize my body. Crobus still zero out of ten. Alright, so Crobus is like really hard to get. <clears throat> but murder? Z, I didn't mean like actual murder. I meant like murder on the dance floor. You know, like like a figurative murder. Like not an act, like I would murder his love of Robin. You know, using nothing but my biceps. I'm acceptable, says Luna Sky. Demetrius tripped and fell in Harvey's basement. I mean, I know a guy. Let's be honest, I know a guy. The doctor's the serial killer. Figurative murder, of course. Yeah, it's a figurative murder. I know this guy. So this is the town serial killer. He looks busy right now. So that's that's our canon when we play this game. For anyone who doesn't know, Harvey sounds like this. And he says things like, Oh, be responsible for the lives of all the people in this village. It can be quite a rush. So things like that. So all I gotta do, all I gotta do is just say one bad thing about Demetrius and Harvey will figuratively, literally murder him. So, yeah. It can, it can be done. Can be done. Okay, let's see how Arcasia's doing on this. Honestly, Dunks, you're always so fun to watch early in the morning for me. Snorris, I really appreciate the, uh, the kind words. Thank you for that. I, I don't know. The stream's a bit ridiculous. I like it. I'm sorry, folks. Other people like to watch Stardew Valley because, you know, people actually make farms and stuff and I'm here busy accusing everyone of being serial killers and breaking the hearts of everyone. But, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, pumpkins and corn. Blueberry melon. Yam. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that seems like a pretty hard thing to do. Maru gives the best gifts for going to Skull Cavern Runs. I heard that, um, Linus gives good gifts as well. Catfish. Okay, this is bad on me. I should be, I honestly should be putting all this stuff in here. Sturgeon. I feel like I've had all these fish at some point. Walleye. Walleye. Okay, walleye, catfish. Wood skip, puffer fish. Okay, I've definitely, I've definitely caught a puffer fish. In summer, a wood skip, I swear we have at base. Catfish, sturgeon, walleye. Okay, let's see. Let's go through my fish. Ken uh, keeps sending me bombs in the mail. And he's trying to send a message. Well, again, did you did you speak to Jody? Uh, oh, in marriage. Oh. So peeps, we're all gonna vote. We're gonna it's gonna be like a reality show over here. That's that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a reality show. I'm pretty sure I can probably get an 8-heart scene with um, Alex to maybe boost him further. Okay. Did everyone remember all those fish that I said? All the fish types. Okay. Bullhead. Largemouth bass. Carp. Chub. Sunfish. Not gonna lie, I don't think that any of these were any of the fish that I said. Chub, anchovy, bullhead, chub, carp, carp, wood skip. Okay, wood skip is definitely one of them. Okay, that's cool. Boo, 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 boo. Carp, wood skip, wood skip. No. I think that's it, huh? I have to go get a puffer fish and the rest. Does anyone know where else to get them? Monstrosity, thank you for the seated stretches. I'll probably, you know, I'll probably do some standing stretches. Probably seems like a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna actually go for a proper stretch break. Monstrosity, taking care of my body. Thank you, Monstrosity. It's summer now, right now. You can get sturgeon in summer while raining at the lake. Oh, 
Okay. Well, then we're not going to take a break, right? On stress, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna wait. We're gonna go get some sturgeon right now in the in the in the river. Puffer, yeah, puffer fish is also between twelve and four. And then what was the other thing? The other thing was called a. There's one more fish that was there. There was a blue fish. Um, no, that was the sturgeon. I actually don't know. Wood skip. I've got the wood skip. I've got the wood skip. So it's not that. There was one more that I needed, I think. Okay, hold on. Let me quickly catch this fish. And we, we're going to take it from there. Come on, sturgeon. Catfish. It was a catfish. Rahina, that was exactly. And how are you doing, Rahina? Nice to see you. Sounds like Wally. Oh, a wall eye. You're right. A wall eye. Yes, a wall eye was the other one as well. Good call. Catfish and wall eye. Wall eye. Pike. No good. Lake. Oh, sorry. Lake. Hmm. Isn't catfish spring? It might be. I think, I think I, hold on. Okay, fish tank. Yeah, puffer fish would skip. Okay. Catfish is still on there. Yeah, walleye uh, sturgeon. Yeah, so that's, that's it. Huh? So I'm afraid, I mean, at least, oh, spring would suck though, right? Walleye is full when raining. But I mean, so I'm gonna have to wait all the way till spring to get the catfish. That sucks. I've blundered this, peeps. I should have had a little bit more process, I guess. I suppose. You're almost deaf. I mean, I said it like Wally, so I mean, you got it. You you aced it. Absolutely aced it, Geeky. Catfish is also full with rain. Okay, that's good, that's good. Except that it's summer. Damn it. Okay, but fall's coming next. Go see the traveling lady on Friday and Sunday. She might sell it. Okay. Give that a go. But yeah, I mean, if I need to get both of those, um, who knows? Okay, but this should be sturgeon, yeah? And then puffer fish I can get during the day. Come on, little sturgeon. A gift as well. Cool head. Catfish in summer in rain in secret woods. Oh, Tasia, I don't know what you're up to. Um, if you can fish in the secret woods. Maybe you can get a catfish. That's pretty cool. So secret woods have some off-season kind of stuff. Come on, sturgeon. Ooh, chub. Freaking 16-inch chub. From wiki catfish, river spring and fall when raining. Or spring, summer and fall. Okay. A high five the chat. Chat is amazing. Chat is incredible, always helping me out. I actually don't know how you'd play this game without a wiki or without anyone. I guess just lots and lots and lots of time, huh? Ken Sturgeon, am I right? How goes the valley? Andy, all's going fantastically, dude. You're on my wiki? Yeah, I never look up any guides. I never look up wikis exactly for that reason. Chat is that to me. Go ahead to the woods and try. Thank you, Acacia. I don't know about the sturgeon, huh? Is it rare? Almost as rare as that. It might also be certain times, I guess. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, two more, and I'm gonna go for a stretch break. Once just as mandated stretch break. Come on, Sturgeon! Freaking 18 inch chub. Having some extreme, uh, someone experienced to play with made the game for me. I wouldn't have found anything I did without him. And so you gave him your hand in marriage, Z. What the heck? I understand now, I suppose. Obviously, I married the man who taught me how to fish. The man who made me the lady I am. The farmer. I had become. 
I don't know. I feel like you kind of have to marry an NPC in this game just because um, there'd be more cutscenes, I guess. Sturgeon, you have to catch before 7 p.m., friend. Thank you, friend. I understand. I will walk defeated. Seemed appropriate, said Z. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. So, folks, if you ever want to get yourself a mate, you want to get yourself a wife one day, maybe your husband works the same way, uh, all you got to do is teach teach them how to fish. Gotta teach them how to fish. That's how that's done. Okay, wood skip. Okay, puffer fish. Friend zone, yeah. Okay, walleye, sturgeon. And the sturgeon has to be, um, it has to be in the rain as well, huh? You can check the market lady every Friday and Sunday. Maybe she has a fish you need. Thank you, and I will do that. Do you have Krobus unlocked? I do have Krobus unlocked, and I gave Krobus one thing of mayonnaise, and now I'm waiting. All right, folks, I'm going to quickly go reach for the ceiling. I'm going to go touch my toes. I'm going to go gyrate my hips around like this, get myself some uh, limber, limberness. That's not a word, but I'm going to go make myself limber, and then I'll return in just a couple minutes. If you are enjoying yourself and you haven't dropped a follow, please do drop a follow. Wolf Deathbreath, thank you so much for the prime sub. Ready to appreciate you as always. WF, sorry, WDB. Appreciate you, thank you. I'll be back in just a moment. Stay tuned jumped out all the way it's like dude look how high that mountain is <laughs> close the door i don't think that this building works very well <laughs> Uh, you're going to be the hunter. I'm going to be the builder. So I'm just, that's how I'm going to do my stats. Is that I right? am a very good hunter. <laughs> Not last time. What do you mean? <laughs> we have video evidence of your hunting prowess. <laughs> Fight it. Oh crap. Oh crap. Fight it, Dugs. I can't run through my knife. <laughs> I can't help it, dude. I don't know how to wield a knife without throwing it at things. <laughs> <laughs> You are the hunter. Why am I hunting all the wolves? Because I only have knives, dude. <laughs> I made a poor choice. I only have knives. Ooh. Ooh. So, Dunks. Yeah? Uh, give me some of your hunting gear. This is what I do. This is like when your teacher's like, show me what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> show me your progress so far. We're gonna starve you, chop. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh, look, 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 timeless. Look, 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 look. Fur. <laughs> oh, God. I've been talking with the people. I can't be expected. <laughs> I'm gonna go hunt for berries. Yeah, you go hunt for berries, timeless. Oh, crap. No timers, those are my Oh my god, he's like a berry sucking machine. <laughs> <laughs> like a berry vacuum. Not, oh crap. Oh crap! Why bear? Oh my god, that is not a nice my character is definitely I mean apart from the bear wounds, I am going to have a stiff neck. No man, get out of here! Oh god, timeless, it's it's spooning me. <laughs> it's spawn camping me with love. It's actually very cute when it's not um, eating my face. Go for the deer! Oh my gosh, Timeless. I'm never getting to you. Timeless has got himself stuck. Uh, he jumped down a mountain to avoid a bear, thinking that was a good idea. Apparently the bear has parkour skills. No, you gotta go up to look how top high top. that mountain is, dude! <laughs> You don't have to jump that all the way. It's like Dude, a look how high that mountain is. <laughs> this a, isn't even like it's like a small... <laughs> like, what the just, hell, dude? It's just a little ledge. What do you mean you it's just, just a ledge? Like, as the, as the crow flies, Timeless is literally <laughs> in that uh, that way. There we go. I'm literally staring at... Like, what? So climb up onto the mountain. What? And run dude? along the ledge. How do you climb up onto the mountain? What ledge? <laughs> what are you talking about? That is like freaking Everest, dude. <laughs> Let's go hiking. That is not a hike, Rando. <laughs> a hike is a nice little thing where you go with your mates and you put on a pair of boots or you bring running shoes, whatever you prefer. That That is that is a mountain, dude. That is like um, higher than Everest. That's like something Sylvester Stallone 
will be hanging off of cliffs. Um, Jake Gillenhall is going to be getting lost up there. That, 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 that's a proper mountain. There's even snow on the peak. Okay, so go straight a bit. Okay, go down there. Uh, with the cliff on your left, hug the... I'm somewhere around there. Yes! I have a reward for you. Ooh. Look at me, peeps. I've got armor and an iron knife. Where's right, now you're both right. stuck on a ledge. You can both starve together. As <laughs> Follow me, Doug. Close the door. I don't think that this building works very well. <laughs> Just start hammering. What? Hammer. What? <laughs> Timeless. I think that the rain is getting inside. Timeless. <laughs> And whose fault is that? That's your fault, Timeless. It's totally your fault. And amazingly, Timeless, while this is going on, I'm busy suffering from thirst, Timeless. <laughs> Incredibly thirsty. All right. I am back in the Lake of the Chub. Bullhead and carp are super common. It's a roll of the dice. You'll get the hard fish like sturgeon and largemouth bass and rainbow trout. Okay. Okay, sorry, peeps. I've... I'm going to be honest. All of you gave me a lot of good advice. I went for a three minute stretch break and I've forgotten all of it. All of it, literally every single tip. I don't know if Occasion managed to get anything at the lake, but other than that, I have no idea. What's happening, when to go, is it, is it uh, when it's raining, what's gonna happen? I, I'm gonna be honest with you. Before I had it, I had it in my mind, I was gonna fill up that, that little hamper, but now I have no idea what's going on. Manatheria, yeah. Sturgeon is 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. Mountain Lake summer and winter any weather. All right. That's good to know. Good morning, Doug. Hey, Mike, Larry. Good morning to you, buddy. Did you get a nice uh, lie in today, I hope? Folks, it's weekend. I hope all of you have had an amazing one. Um, I apologize if you live somewhere like Australia or New Zealand or Asia and you're like, that weekend is gone. There's no more weekend. But uh, for everyone else, I mean, so much possibility. Still Sunday, still Sunday to go. I have mentioned this before, of all the time zones, so I, I've been lucky enough to travel around for work and stuff, and of all the time zones, by far, the one that I felt the best and the most powerful in was the USA type time zones. The further west that you go, because I always feel like everyone else has done stuff. So, you know, you're like, oh yeah, those people already had their night out, we've still got hours to do. You know, I've still, I've still, all, the mistakes that they've made, I still, I can, I can learn from them and I can do better. So I like to be, I like to be far west. It just, it feels like you got more opportunity to learn from the people who, who came before you and made stupid mistakes, you know? Pufferfish is super hard to get. It's only sunny weather from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Yes, I actually got a pufferfish earlier. Um, well, not earlier, but like uh, the other day. 1.45 a.m. sunny? Yeah, yeah, you see. Uh, no, no, but the problem... Sorry, sorry. Sh shells, bells. Good news and bad news. Good news, got a puffer fish. Bad news, gave it to Demetrius because he wanted the puffer fish for experiments. So, yeah. Good news is I caught one. The bad news is it did... Uh, it's There's no good. There's no purpose in having it. All right. Now, the other thing I just want to know is... um, Okay, so like wool, duck egg, large egg, goat milk. This feels like it would be easy to get at any time of the year. Okay, so this one I'm not overly worried about. Um, I just like, I do feel like some of these we need to kind of cater for. So pumpkins and corn, I don't know what seasons these are. But we just need to make sure, like, I, I really want to fill the stuff out as quickly as we can, you know? Blueberry and melon. See, I don't know when the heck those things are in season. Yam. See what I'm saying? Because just, yeah, fall crops or crap. So fall's next. So these are, yeah, so, so we actually need there. These blueberries and these melons we need now. And corn is summer and fall. Okay, so, so Keisha, do you feel, do you feel confident on corn, blueberry and melon? I think these could be blueberries right here. But I don't know, because if we don't have melons, we should probably get melon seeds. Otherwise, you know, <gasps> that is a blueberry. Okay, just melon. Blueberries are great. Must I buy us melon seeds? Because you hear what I'm saying? Because you imagine you're like, it's just like one thing that's missing and you're like, oh crap, <gasps> oh crap. All right, it's already Sunday. You've got melons. Awesome. Okay, that's good to know. 
All right, now what do we think I should do here, okay? I've got a bit of a conundrum. What do all of you think? All right. Number one, I've got Alex, okay? Alex is only missing one heart. But I don't have anything that Alex loves apart from this really expensive tea that everyone loves. I have two hearts missing from Sam, though. But Sam, I know, loves pizza. And I can buy pizza. So I could technically just gift Sam all the way up to that. Sam also has a birthday coming up in a few days. I think on the 17th. So I'm thinking... Give... Alex the tea, because I don't have anything else. Check the saloon, they may have breakfast. Yeah, I've been checking them most days. Uh, they didn't. But I'll take a look. So you don't have a Stardew channel in DC, but I put a community center fish guide in the game discussion. Thank you, Anna. Yeah, I generally only add if like, there's a lot of people that want to discuss stuff. Um, could do. So yeah, Sebastian's on the 17th. So I'm thinking give Alex the tea. And then Alex, I mean, I just give him pizza, pizza, and then a third pizza on his birthday. And I think I'm home home and away I think I'm gonna do that okay, I'm gonna do that anyone think that that's a bad idea if it's a bad idea literally said no right now or forever hold your peace I think it's a good idea I mean he's right there good idea I think it's a good idea all right here you go dude have the special tea whoa this is great thanks okay 10 out of 10 just like that. Okay, I don't know how to get his last cutscene. Yeah, this is good. This is good. And then, yeah, buy a couple pizzas. Um, give Sam pizza. And then, as a worst case scenario, we'll have Sam at 10 out of 10 on his birthday. Which is in three days. Alright, my romance plans are all coming together. It's going to be incredible. I don't actually... Oof. I really want to do this reality show, though. But have I given us enough time? I mean, worst case scenario, we'll just get some stuff done in the valley, you know? Does everyone agree that this tune is an absolute bop? I feel like I'm going to make this my morning alarm. Also, that's just the number one way that even if you make your favorite song in the entire world, um, something that wakes you up, you'll hate it. Oh, yeah, pizza time. Nine out of ten. Easy. When you see hot air balloons drifting over the sea, you'll know that summer's in full swing. I could never wake up to this. What do you mean, Z? Wake up, Z. Get up. It's time to wake up. Up. It's time to wake up, Z. Get up. It's time to wake up, Z. You've heard your alarm? See, I think, I mean, I'm such a light sleeper. So, I don't even, I never understand that. What about if it has my lyrics, see? You need to wait for a letter from Alex Tenhart, um, so another day. Okay, that's fine. Summer crop bundles ready for your blueberry. Occasionally you do such good work. Except that one time when you had to get vegetables in winter. What a bitter disappointment that was. But other than that, flawless. Flawless. Also, that time that you led me into losing every single thing I know and love. That that was also pretty that was also pretty dastardly. You know? Almost pufferfish time. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna rush to the pufferfish. Let's quickly do this. Bundle complete. Then I left your dinner in Discord. Sorry, sorry, kid. I did actually read that earlier. I read it the first time you posted. I, I just didn't say anything because I am like the literal worst. Sorry, sorry, kid. I read it and I meant to respond and then something happened. Um, I'm, I'm so... I'm so sorry. You think about what you've done? I will, kid. I will. I will. Although today all I can imagine is your amount of magical feelings you have towards Selena Gomez. That was simple cause and effect. Hmm. I don't understand it at all. <laughs> the worst says kid. Hey! None of that. Bom, 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 bom. Okay. Yeah, bom, bom, bom. He's also got reminded next week sometime. Not for very long. Ooh. 
Let's do an exclamation mark G portal. There's a link that's going to come up there, peeps. Click the link. It just takes you to G portal, who's our server provider. I'll be doing a quick revisit back into Pell World just to see the updates and stuff that they've done. Um, and yeah, G portal is our dedicated server provider. I do believe that that game server performance has been improved. It was always a developer issue, not the server providers. I hope that they've um, come a bit. Here's the eight heart scene. Let's see. Goodness, is he crying? I'm just being accommodated and agreeing with you. Thank you, Kiet. <laughs> oh, Dunk Star, you, you saw me crying. Mm. It, it was today, 12 years ago, that my mom died. I still remember her well. She'd make salted radish sandwiches for lunch and toss the grid ball with me in the backyard. She took good care of me and I was too young to really say thanks. Now she's gone. Forever. Pretty deep stuff. This is the only keepsake I have left. A secret music box. I wonder something sad about Alex, it always rains on his birthday. Aww. Like that song, why does it always rain on me? Because he lied when he was 17. Hey, there's his mum. I like how they have to put an A on the baby grow just so we know it's Alex. <laughs> Otherwise it could have been any baby. Very important that they had that A on that baby grow. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known who the child was. Would have been com completely confused by the, the, the scene. Uh, Daedalus, how's it going? How you doing? Yeah, sad times, huh? How you doing? What are you thinking right now, Dunkstar? Honor your mother's memory. Always doing your best. You shouldn't dwell in the past. I'll always be here for you if you get lonely. Get over it. Life is hard for everyone. His mom has quite the bicep. Holly, I didn't see the mom's bicep. Was it proper? So if anyone has just joined, I'm busy trying to romance everyone. Um, Alex and Sam are the last two people I've got to get into 10 heart relationships. And then we're going to decide who I'm going to marry. I lost all of my girlfriends. So I went for, I decided to do what any rational person would do. I'm now dating all the men. So, but I think the girls are talking to me again now. So I basically have my pick of the valley. These don't affect hearts. Are you sure? One, three. I'll always be here if you get lonely or you're on your mother's memory. Always doing your best. 100%? Mm. That sucks. I always thought these did add. Nah, four. Get over it. Life is hard for everyone. I thought they did a little bit. I always kind of thought that they added on something. I could be wrong, though. I mean, I'm just saying on sort of how it feels that they went, but I wasn't sure. One or three. One, one, three. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of one. Okay, one seems to be the one that's... Oh, there's another three just to make it a bit weird. Hmm. Some scenes do. This one doesn't. Okay. Damn it, there's another... All right. I think... Okay, I think one is... Sh yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay. There we go. We got, we got a bit of one. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Skeptastic Joe. Why Why you got to do me like that? Think... Okay, no, we're back. We're back to ones. If no more threes appear, I think we're... Uh, Goldie Snatch! <laughs> Wild, silent, but you know what you're doing. You, you folks know what you're doing. Oh. All right. I think we're going to go for what? I think there's more ones. Paul. Oh, my God. Morning, chats. Hey, Psycho. Oh. I think. Okay. 42. <laughs> At this rate, man. Might as well. Okay. I'm seeing more ones. We're going, we're going for ones. It's, it's ones. Yeah, I know. That's why I've been so determined to be successful with my sports stuff. Make it or not, as long as I try my hardest, I think she'd be proud. Thanks. He talked to his dog about how his dog was the only one he knew what he went through. Yeah, I remember. I had that cutscene. A uh, psycho. Um, thank you for the 15 stream streak. Holy moly. Thank you all. Anyone that's here for more than one stream in a row. Why? Thank you, though. Bim, 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 bim. Well, there's no sitting around sniveling. Let's head back to town. Um, 
Dunk Star? Don't tell anyone I was crying, okay? <laughs> hey! One was toxic uh, positivity. How could you? I went with what everyone said. Did you just uh, make um, the Elliot Shampooman face at us? I did. I did. Elliot Shampooman, it's nice of you to visit. And when this guy's shocked, visit my cabin whenever you like. I could use the company. Ooh. I might have just murdered Elliot Shampooman. Thank God there is no accidental friendly fire. The fact that right click makes this hammer go off is not the best. Any luck with the ladies? I do think the ladies have forgiven me. But in the interim, um, I have got all the men to love me except for one. So, yeah. In a very short while, one more heart here. Every single, single person in the valley will be completely head over heels in love with me. There's friendly fire from the slingshot. Wait, what? Wait, a rainbow shell? Wait, there's a rainbow shell? Wait, I need that rainbow shell. I missed it. Just unselect the hammer box and then it won't do that. I just, you know. Same to you, says Chimera. Uh, Elliot's cabin? I see it. Yes, I can give this to the mysterious person who's been messaging me. Any idea who you'll pick it? Nah, so we're going to do it like a reality show. It's going to be like The Bachelor. What we're going to do is we're going to like have verses. So we're going to be like Elliot versus Haley. Fight! And then we're going to vote and then we're going to decide. Harvey versus Sebastian. Fight! You know, something, something like that. I just have to kind of decide who to um, cordon off, you know? Some of the favorites. When the guys will hate you since Sam is full hearts? I don't know if the men have the same thing as the ladies. Um, I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. I hope not. I hope they can see it in their hearts to not hate me for dating all of them. If you can urge to go exploring, Dunkstar? Maybe we'll be neighbors someday. I think we both have similar weird tastes. All right, this is sounding like someone who really might marry Arcasia. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, we went to the sea for a reason. No, oh, the uh, the puffer fish. Stupid cutscenes making me distracted. Keeps this game is like a squirrel simulator. No, oh, only have two hours left. Out of the way, Haley. So you're saying you're gonna rig it for Leia? No, 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 no. Honestly, if I had to, had to, had to choose now, just based on how heartbroken she was when we broke up, I would say that Penny seems the most, like, legitimate. Uh, poor Penny was absolutely crushed by this entire ordeal. So I did feel really bad for Penny. Of all the people, I did feel the worst for Penny. Everyone else was just yelling at me. Penny was, like, all sad and stuff. Look at that. New record puffer fish. This could be it. Heck yeah. It's all coming out, Dunkstar. Penny was super sad. Penny was, like, completely broken. For anyone who doesn't know what's going on, there's a pinned message there in the YouTube. All the girls find out that I was dating all the girls and they broke up with me. So there's that. Also, a reminder, peeps, if you ever do miss a stream, YouTube is a great place to catch the streams. All the VODs are there. All the streams you've had for, like, the last five or so months are up there. Um, as well as, like, yeah, a lot of summaries of games you've played. If you have been enjoying Stardew, there are quite a few moments up there. Um, Timey will also make a long video comprising of all the shorts, which you can all take a look-see at as well. If you'd like to. If you are that way inclined. Another one? Fish for days. I also believe there's like an, uh, an octopus that's really hard to catch. Where'd I catch that? Is it on the other side? Because I'd like to fight that octopus. I've caught all the legendary fish so far that I've come across. I think I have one more to do in four. Did I miss the wedding? You saw? No, Raven, we're still... I, I have one more person. Every single, single person in the valley loves me. I have one more single person to get to love me, and that's this person over here. But yeah, I've done a lot of things. I got kissed by a man in a boat. That happened. Never really saw my day going that way. But there we are. He lured me out to the middle of the ocean. And just, just went for it. So yeah, I've got, I've got a rich and fulfilling relationships all over the show. Rock the boat a bit? Yeah, definitely. I 
I will say this though, his lips were almost as soft as his hair. Elliot Shampooman is his name. Octopus Summer, 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. Oh, okay. In this place. This place that I'm at. What you riding there? Came for the sound of ocean. Beautiful, isn't it? It is quite beautiful. Not as beautiful as you. Ocean any weather. Okay. Merchant in the forest is selling octopus today. Um, I don't think... I mean, do we need octopus cage? I actually just wanted it for the challenge. I don't think we... Require it, right? I'm not mistaken. Cap, so is she just Sam? Should be easy. You don't think it's in bundles? Yeah, no, then we're cool, but thanks, Keja. Yeah, no, the only reason I wanted it was just because it's like a hard thing to catch, apparently. Some people said it's even harder than the legendary fish, so I don't know. Okay, need to buy a couple pizzas just in case. Trout soup. Okay, I should only learn today that that thing kind of cycled. Kind of did have an inclination to believe that. Hey, Pam. Are you friends with Gus? He's a pretty good guy. I am friends with Gus. Gus and I have 10 out of 10 hearts now that you mention it, Pam. Okay, I need to go take this thing to this bus stop. Gone the wrong way. I find the pufferfish harder to catch. I think it's almost summer. But you find the pufferfish harder to catch than the octopus. No, the pufferfish is pretty. I mean, it wasn't like the legendary fish. Not a hundred percent completion I ever. Gotcha. Buying it doesn't put it on the collections page. Got it. Octopus is harder for, than the legendaries. I see. I see. So, do you like to decorate your farmhouse? So this was the lady who was the saddest. Must be nice having your own place to decorate. Maybe Penny. If you are one of the lucky ones, you can decorate my house soon. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, everyone says I need to be friends with this guy. I always forget him because he lives so far away. He lives so freaking far away, it's hard to make friends with him. You're super bad at fishing, though. See? I'm pretty good at fishing. It all comes down to the... Um, wait, how did I get to this bus stop? Sorry. I actually think you're just supposed to go through normally. I got my wires a bit crossed. You had some nice puffer fish? I did. Okay, I must also put the puff. Sorry, I must actually put the puffer fish in there. Let's go this way around then. I'll pop the puffer fish in the bundle. And... Wait till the next day for the rest of our tasks. Rainbow Shells train station? Um, oh, is it? Sorry, was it? I thought it was that same... That's why I thought it was a bit weird, because that box was a battery box. Okay, let's do that then. Good call, good call. Majority of my stodgy playthrough, walking in circles because I forgot... Yeah, honestly, this game is like that. It's Squirrel Simulator. Hey, King Coco, how are you doing, bud? Where am I supposed to put this thing? Yeah. Eat flounder. No. Okay, I think I have to go up the stairs here. It's an empty box. Okay, I'm supposed to get... It's an empty box. Sorry, I'm trying to put the puffer fish in there. I'm supposed to put the shell. You throw the shell into the box. Immediately a note falls down from the rafters above. <gasps> what? Well done. Your next task. Place ten beats inside Maya's fridge. Mr. Key. Who is this Mr. Key? Mysterious Mr. Key. Or is it pronounced Mr. Kai? We don't know. Hey, okay, thank you, folks. Oh, you've got the key quest. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 ooh, woo. Dunkstar, come stand next to the fire pit. It feels great. I was hoping you'd come by sometime. time. 
I wanted to say sorry for mistrusting you at first. Most people don't treat me well. So I've learned to be cautious. I don't know if he is Santa Claus, but I'm going to give him the voice of Santa Claus, you know? But you've been uncommonly nice to me. You're a unique person. And I consider you a good friend. Ooh, woo. Hey, I want to show you something. Come inside. I think this thing's going to be like a TARDIS. I think it's going to be massive inside. Ah, there we go. See this? It's a special kind of fish bait that I make. It's top quality stuff. I'd eat it myself. Yeah, I want you to have the recipe. Learn how to craft wild bait. Is it like wild bait? Like master of all baits. Santa fell in hard times when the kids stopped believing in him. Hmm. Fam. Well, I've learned how to make wild bait. It's good. What are the ingredients? Wild bait. Fiber bug meat slime. A unique recipe that gives you the chance to catch two fish at once. Holy moly. That's cool. That's pretty sweet. Wild bait is... Yeah, that's cool. He got evicted from the North Pole? He did. Santa found hard times when his kids stopped believing in him. It's true. Santa's not real. What do you mean? No! Um, I never continued on too much with the show, but did anyone ever watch, like, American Gods? You see, kids kind of got, like, that sort of premise. Um... Sorry, the puff fish. Loved it. Yeah, I um, I was watching it and then I, I stopped having a subscription to the thing that it originally was on. Now it's on Amazon, but yeah, I don't... Going back to shows is always hard, you know? You have to like figure out where you were and stuff. Oh, not complete. It got cancelled? Oh, okay. Was it finished or not really? You watched the first two seasons? Yeah, I watched the first season and then, as I say, the it used to be on like the... um satellite provider here and then yeah i stopped having that and then i completely fell out of touch with it it's kind of like so i've got this with another show that i know a lot of you love is the expanse so i know everyone's like oh the expanse is such a good show such a good show such a good show you gotta watch the expanse the only problem is like i honestly i like i don't even remember where the heck i was so i don't know what to do now because it was on netflix and then i was watching it and then it got taken off of netflix and now it's on amazon which i have but i honestly can't even remember i don't know if i need to start again and just it feels like a lot more effort than it's, you know, TV's just supposed to be relaxed. And I'm like, ugh. And I've also had a mistake before when I tried to, like, catch up. So I watched, like, recaps of what happened in previous seasons, but I chose the wrong season. I thought I'd got to, like, season two, but I, or season three, but I only got to season two. So I literally got the entire plot line ruined. I was like, well, that ruins that show. Whoopsie daisies. Took, like, three years between two seasons, and they just gave up on it and canceled it. Yeah, that sucks. Might as well they get rid of the only character I appreciate and I rage quit after watching, uh, quit watching after season one. Gotcha. Did you put the red cabbage in yet? No, I don't have red cabbages. I mean, unless Arcasia did it. I don't know what these shows are because I've never had Netflix and I don't have cable anything. I have Crunchyroll. Kit, you know what? If you don't know, you don't care, huh? That's how that works. I must be honest, it's getting harder and harder to keep up. So the way it used to work here, I'm assuming it's the same everywhere else, is um, we had like our satellite provider. Now satellite was super expensive. So I mean for us, super expensive. So let's say like $14 a month, probably. Just trying to get the exchange rate, which moves the whole time. But yeah, let's say like $14 a month. Um, No, no, sorry, it was more than that. It was like $40 a month. DSTV, yeah. It was DSTV. So then you stop that, but that had all the stuff on, always. Now, because everyone's got their own independent stuff, you have to... So then it was like, just get Netflix, and Netflix had everything. But now that you've got Netflix and Amazon and Disney and all the rest of them, it's 
basically impossible now unless you've got like a million subscriptions to watch everything so it's basically going to like the exact same cost as what it was originally crunchyroll is what i use more than any other service i've never been on crunchyroll that's the thing that shows you anime huh i haven't watched a lot of anime um not because i've got anything against it i just i don't know i just never sort of got into it so i don't know my relationship with anime is an unknown one could be the best thing i don't know no idea is it, your mom has it still i use her web service but have netflix and prime here you go Yeah, I think a lot of people used to use services and then they like made it that you could only have one person at a time. The ghastly of them to cut off all our free TV watching, huh? Okay. Believe it or not, I got told once, why do you have so many fridges? I actually think I need more fridges. Soon. The fact that all these different um, foods have so many different kind of places to go is pretty insane. Oh, the dye bundle. Ah, oh, red cabbage. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so I'm just going to put the sprinkler down somewhere. I mean, uh, we don't need it, so... I'll just sprinkle this bear. That can be a moist bear. So much money uh, in fish in those fridges? Yeah, I, um... I hear ya. Could sell it all. I just, um, I never know. To be honest, I just haven't done the science behind looking at, like, what each recipe needs. So, like, some of them need, like, salmon and, yeah, this one needs bream. You know what I'm saying? So, I probably, I think 90% of them literally just make sashimi. But, I don't know. I literally just chuck them in. So, there's bream. There's definitely salmon. And another thing here somewhere. I don't know, is Bream literally the only one? No, there's Sardine. I don't have two Sardines. See, so yeah, I don't know. I just kind of keep... No, there's a Crayfish. Muscle, Periwinkle. I actually thought I had all these things. The Crayfish, the Muscle, the Periwinkles. I must have sold them. We have a few Radishes. Not sure where I put them. That's fine. Like I'm saying, that's the only reason why I dump all these fish in here. I mean, I don't know if you ever... If carp can cook, you know? Wood, I don't know if wood skip can cook. Absolutely no idea. Chub. Does anyone cook with chub? Bullhead, holy moly. I'll sell some of them, just because it's full. I'll sell some of the fish. Let's see how we go. Monstrosity says time for sleepies. Monstrosity, always a pleasure. You have yourself the best sleepies. See, most of the stuff doesn't sell for anything. Largemouth bass. Pike. Red mullets. See, I'm probably selling things that would cook. And like I said, I quite like sashimi. Um, so yeah, I have frozen geode for you to finish the... Also, the problem is if I put the fish that does make the other stuff... Thanks, Keja. If I do sell some of this other fish, then um, I don't actually know how it chooses if you make sashimi. So somebody tells me it just... So I suppose the more crap fish I had... In the um, refrigerator, a sort of more chance I had um, that I wouldn't accidentally use a fish that I did need, you know? Chub is worth more as energy than money? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I mean, I, I don't know. That's why I said I just kind of made sashimi. I don't know which of these things does or doesn't make it. I haven't really bothered to check. I said uh, Timeless was bringing in a lot of money. So... That's also the problem. So I don't really need the cash. So you see, if I say sashimi, I don't know what it's going to take. 75 energy, 33 in there. But anyway, is what it is. I sold some. It's, I mean, uh, it's fine. I'll get the space. And thank you, Acacia. Okay. It randomly pulls. Yeah, I reckon I kind of picture them having like an intelligent system that sort of negates all the stuff from the other place. Okay, we made 9,600 of fish. How did you spend 80k? You broke again. I bought a hammer for 75k. It's probably the main thing. And the hammer sucks, if I'm honest. 
It's not a good hammer. It's definitely no Mjolnir. It's just, it's slow. <coughs> so you bought it finally? I did, I did, after I'd appeased everyone. Young star, meet me at the saloon tonight after dark. Okay. Alex's 10 out of 10 scene. Dear young star, I'd like to give my wife a, a star fruit for our anniversary. Are you able to grow one on the farm? Kent, I don't think so. Do have any star fruit? Thank you for the frozen geode, Acacia. Hey, Pip, you want some water, my boy? You want some water, little Pip? Here you go. Here you go, my little guy. What is that accent? What do you mean, what is that accent? He came back from the army, he did. And he's seen some things you wouldn't believe, Raven Stormfrost. Starfruit wine sells for more than 1,000 gold. This is what Kent's accent sound like. This is what we've decided. Okay, saloon after dark. That's all I need to do. I guess I'll go to the community center while everyone's waking up. Then give Sam a pizza, and then maybe all of my romance dreams will come true. This is very exciting. And I'll tell you what, if we're not going to get married today, we're definitely going to get married tomorrow. Definitely. I can feel this is endgame now. All my romances are coming to fruition. Okay, I don't know. Frozen Geo. I don't think this is the right place, but whatever. Freaking yams. When you get yams. Raven! How are you? You can get starfruit seeds at the desert shop, but only on a specific day of the week. Of course, of course. Now, you are all the fishies. Um, where would you be if you were frozen geode? A oh, bulletin board, sorry, yeah. Oof, okay, we haven't done much here. Mucky roll, poppy, maple syrup, fiddlehead, fern, truffle. Ooh, okay, oh, yeah, this is not looking... Okay, this one's not too bad. Red cabbage, sunflower, duck feather... Frozen geode. Okay, do that at least. Oak resin, wine, rabbit's foot, pomegranate. Okay, hay, apple, wheat. This one should probably be pretty easy. You'd think. Suppose it depends when apples are on season, but we've got a couple trees, so it should be fine. But yeah, some of these I'm not entirely sure about. Hmm. Yams are from Dougie's. What the heck's a Dougie? Dougie? Dougie sounds like a guy. Or Piers General Store. Oh, uh, but marriage isn't only the beginning of a wonderful life, not the end game. Kershi, that is poetic and true. For a second, I thought you were yelling at me. Oh, no, no. It was other Raven going, Dunks. I said Raven. Sorry, we do, we do have a few Ravens in here. You all sit here going, ah, 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 ah. Damn it, see, think about ravens, because that's like one of the emotes. Now, I didn't even say goodnight to Laura. Peeps, I do read these messages, and then I don't respond to them. Laura said goodnight, and I never said goodnight to Laura. I just, I, 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 peeps, you have no idea. I often wake up at 2 a.m. I go, no, no, it was two ravens, what the other raven must have thought. It's terrible. Kvoth the raven, indeed. A very poesque. Do you have the greenhouse? I don't think so, no. Tuna, sardine, bream, largemouth bass, rainbow trout, salmon, flounder. Yeah, I'm never... See, I actually literally sold cop. Yeah, I should have just kept all the fish. <laughs> it's fine. Even the sea cucumbers. We're forming a murder. Yes, you are. A murder of crows. Welcome. Melon, pepper, wheat, radish, poppy, spangle, hops, corn, red cabbage. Kasia, do we have red cabbage? We'd have to plant them soon. I can get us some if we need some. Otherwise, pomegranate. I guess we probably should... I'm going to buy this. Probably need it at some point. I'll get us a pomegranate tree. There's fruit in the fall. That's good. Boom, boom. No, I was going to buy red cabbage seeds today. Okay, I'll buy you some. How many do you reckon? 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
Probably don't even need that many. But we'll get them anyway. Apples? I think we should have apple trees, yeah? I think we've got an apple tree. I think we just have to wait for fall. What season are you in? Summer. I am in the middle of the hottest summer ever. Cherries. We have cherries. Pomegranates in the cave? I'll take a look-see, but I've definitely never seen one myself. Screw it. I'm getting myself these things. I think we've got apples. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to get the apple anyway, just in case. I mean, if we get more apples, whatever, right? I don't think we really need our cash for much else. <laughs> okay, Cash, I don't know if you just saw the things I bought, but uh, now you know. Do you have fruit or mushroom cave? I have fruit cave. That's what I have. The bats bring me fruit in that cave. Pretty weird. I think our cage is selling stuff. Keja, what the hell are you doing? I'm busy trying to spend all our money, and here our Keja is making us more money. Not good. How am I supposed to spend all the money if our Keja keeps making us money? Okay, it's been a while since I heard. Came up with a terrible, terrible thing I was going to say next. I won't say it. <laughs> Let's um do this. Oh, I'll help. Oh, I'll help. Say it like that. Technically, uh, you're hoeing all around town. Not really. I've been broing for the last while. Technically, uh, you have a nice garden. Thank you, Sherry. It's not that nice. It's a little bit higgledy-piggledy. Um, I've bought stuff and probably didn't plant it in the right place. That's my bad. But it should be fine. How are you doing? I need a new pickaxe, says Acacia. Acacia, uh, what pickaxe do you have? I sold all my fish for you. Yeah, Z, I think it was wise, huh? It's a very cute garden. Okay, so that is Miss Bell's way of saying your garden's actual crap. Like, it's terrible, but it's cute. You know? I like the fence around it. Yeah, see, that's like, it's got a nice little fence around it. That's what keeps it contained and small. You like it? I, I know, it's cute. It's cute. It's quaint, right? Oh, that's so sweet. You've got, meanwhile, Miss Bell is making $3.4 million per season with their apple orchards. Orchids, I don't know what whatever territory you're from. We say orchard, or maybe you say something else. You know? Ooh, oranges. Scarecrows are only good for scaring people and look like people. Why are they called? Uh, why are they called scarecrows? Hmm. I don't know. I believe they're meant to scare the crows. I don't think they actually work though, right? Okay, Keisha, we must not chop down any of the trees in this sort of area. I mean, Keisha's like, I know that, but I mean, I'm, I'm almost basically telling myself this as well. One of my co-workers just bought an apple orchid. Orchard? Damn. That's cool. Holy moly, that's a lot of money. There's Luna Sky. Uh, yeah, you know. I really wish I could play this game for the first time. Miss Bell, I have had the discussion in the stream before. If I could have any superpower, what superpower would I have? And I have narrowed it down to two. A lot of people are like, oh, I want to have a healing factor. I want to be really strong. That's dumb. That's dumb. Who needs to be strong? Strong is silly. I'd have one of the following two powers. Power number one. The ability to forget any video game you've ever played. And play it again as if for the first time. Oh, the magic. I have decided against this power though in favor of power number two. Only for one reason. And that is I'm a streamer now. So the problem with being a streamer is. Can you imagine every single time when I'm like. Oh my goodness. This is so. And you're like we know you played this game yesterday. You sack of crap. Stop. You know. Pretending you don't know what's going on, but I'll be like, it's my superpower. I'm enjoying it for the first time. And you'll see the same reactions. It'd be kind of interesting, I suppose, seeing how they differ uh, from one playthrough to the next. But um, yeah, that, that 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 that's a good power, though. You you folks that don't stream can have that power, you know? So like Miss Bell can go, ah, oh. like that's a cool superpower. You can just enjoy like your favorite video games over and over and over and over and over again. Then second power I have is just honestly the ability to not need to sleep at all. But be fully rested the entire time. 
I mean, that's that that's like an adult superpower right there. I just I just want to feel I just want to feel rested, you know. That's all. I don't need to sleep. Sleep's a waste of my time. You do superpower two because you don't actually know superpower one is in effect. <laughs> oh, this is like Groundhog Stream. Planting so many trees, I am. Watch time is logging and chop them all down. Lunar sky, that is exactly a timey type of thing. Imagine going out and buying an apple organ. That's cool, right? Z, like, was it super expensive or have they been saving up for a while? Do you want to get in on that? I mean, I think that's pretty cool, right? I own an apple orchard. I like sleeping for rest, but I wish I um, didn't have to cook and clean. Nah, sleeping, sleeping, like, your life just disappears, right? Think of all the wordles I could solve. You know, if I didn't need to sleep. Yeah, also make it seem like I'd, like, uh, utilize the time wisely, you know? But nah, I would just, I would just have to start forgetting the wordles. Who pronounces it orchid? No, I don't know. It's an orchard. I say orchard. I think some people say orchid and I'm, but I'm saying I am an orchard person. I don't know, Holly. You people always get in my head over the pronunciations in the stream. Check your cave on Saturdays. Okay, so I'm going to go check it today. What happens to the cave on Saturdays? Eternal youth life as a superpower? Man, a theory that is pretty cool, but it might get a bit stale after a while. An orchid is a flower. An orchid is a flower. I have orchids myself. Quite a few, but yeah, folks, just don't forget there is a few different pronunciations here. As an example, catacombs. The catacomb. We've learned that that is a thing. I had an argument once with my grandmother. I said it's pronounced catacomb, Gran, and she said it's catacomb. I said catacomb. She said catacomb. I said you are an old batty crone. And she said you are a belligerent young twerp. And we continued this for a while. And after a while, it turned out that she was right. If you go with British pronunciation, it's a problem. Zor, thank you so much for the raid, dude. How's it going? Peeps is my buddy Zor. Go drop a follow if you haven't. Go say hi, Zor. How's it going, Zor? We heard about from Dunkstar that you're the coolest. Show us how cool you are, Zor. And then Zor won't even need to try. But it'll be cool. That's how it'll work. Skylar coming in with the raid. What's up, Skylar? How you doing? Skylar, are you still awake? Holy moly. Orc kids, the ones from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Orc kids sounds like a terrible spin-off now, beard phobia. Orc kids. Yeah, like we need we need to like like when Amazon is like we really need to um leverage this IP that we bought. Like if they were Disney, they'd definitely be Orc kids. Most certainly. Like, you know, Disney does that with like superheroes. Oh, we need the kids one, we need the one for these people, we need the that. Mm, Saturday's the best day to for Shh, I shouldn't be. Alright, Skylar. Sorry, bud. Yeah, frustration, but also success. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I'm having nothing but um, success today over in Stardew Valley. I am one heart away from having every single person in the valley adore me. That's where we're at. In fact, I don't think I gifted Sam today. I think you people distracted me from my number one goal. Hmm... Much success, so much success. Okay. Sorry, let's quickly go see Sam. Other than that, I think, yeah, we're, good. we're doing pretty well with the community center. There's going to be a couple sort of odd things here or there. Warcraft or nah, orc kids, the next generation. Yeah, exactly, right? I really want to hear the tales of, you know, um, Garrosh Jr. And what's the other guy's name? Thrall or whatever. The main orc's kids, you know? Are the ladies still shunning you? Have you lost them forever? I think they're okay with me now. I think we're fine. Acacia keeping the farm afloat? Or to have the men right? I'm sure the men won't do what the ladies did. Hopefully not. I hope that they forgive me. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, oh, oh. Also, what were we supposed to do today? We're supposed to go to the saloon after dark. Man. We have to, we have to go to the saloon after dark, peeps, for the... Um, Alex one. Oh my god, this guy's got me worked up in a corner. No! I don't know where Sam is. Okay, you keeping the farm afloat? I help. Okay, Haley. I don't understand why you can't gift Haley fish, because, like, literally every single time she goes shopping, she buys herself fish. Like, why can't I gift her those fish? She just likes the fact that she's getting a deal. Uh, where would Sam be? Sam. 
Hmm. You said way too late. I'm headed to bed. Sorry, Rain. Oh, no. All good, Zor. Thank you so much for the raid, peeps. Do drop a follow to Zor. I know that streamers always give shout outs. Go follow this person. But Zor's really awesome. Totally worth your time. Do drop a follow. If you haven't, go say hello. Have you been to the desert yet? I have, dude. Have you eaten pizza yet? Oh, yeah. Pizza time. Come on. Come on. Damn it, dude. Love me, love me. Say that you love me. Okay. Sam, Sam's the last one. I actually thought it was going to be Alex, but Sam is the, um, the hardest person to get. Apparently. The last single person for me to get on there. And I mean, I do have a few people that I failed at dismally. I mean, holy moly. Krobus 0, Dwarf 0, Sandy 1, Wizard 2, Kent 2, Vincent 3, Evelyn 3, Jas 4, Pier 4, Linus 5, Marnie, George, Demetrius. There's a few, right? You'll be complete on his birthday? Yeah, suppose we have to wait for the birthday, huh? What day was that again? Wednesday, I think. So unloved? Yeah, I know, right? Have any of you ever gone full hearts for everyone? That's got to be a thing. Love run. Yep, 17th. Kent is tough. He likes dandelions, so I spammed him until he liked me. He must have something that he loves. What does Kent love? Apart from bloodshed in the name of the Empire. What else? What else does Kent love? Hmm... I gave him a beer and he seemed to enjoy that. I don't know if he loved it or liked it. Kent. Oh, no, there you go. He loves fiddlehead risotto and roasted hazelnuts. How the hell? Did I've never given this guy this. Did, I did someone tell me this? What? Fiddlehead risotto and roasted hazelnuts. It was in a note. Okay. Oh, Sam wrote a note of who he likes. Give him prismatic stones since you have so many of those. What's up, Tiny? How you doing, dude? The hazelnuts is recipe you learned from TV during the second year. Okay. I don't really watch too much TV. Kind of forget about it. Yeah, I didn't watch a lot of TV. I was too busy playing outside with all my girlfriends. Hey, other girlfriend. Okay, so I think we planted all the things. I also really, peeps, I feel, I feel like I get so distracted in this game. I'm sure there was something. So I planted trees. I mean, I did get a lot done today. I planted trees. I have the seeds of... Oh, oh no, the saloon. The saloon. The saloon. Why does no one remind me about the saloon? Huh. Ooh, hey. Has your harem forgiven you? I'm rude. We still need sturgeon tomorrow? Um, It's true. There's just so many things to do. This game is like squirrel simulator. I get so confused. My brain can't ha handle all this stuff. They forgave him uh, when he got them prismatic shards. Don't forget about the soon. Thanks, Keja. Oh. Gus can play violin? <laughs> I'm playing violin! Look at me! Oh, he rented one of the back rooms. Junebot, I'm doing good, dude. How are you? Thanks, Gus! That w oh, sorry. Thanks, Gus. That was great. There's so much, uh, it gets very overwhelming. I try to focus on one thing at a time. It's true. This is nice. I never dined in here before. Kind of slept for 18 hours. Dude, I wish. I haven't slept for more than 8 hours in, like, literally forever. Don't remember what it's like. I really wish, dude. I just can't. It would be the best thing in the world. Um, anyway, I resumed this private room so we could, uh, talk. Uh-oh, am I busted now? Oh, man. Okay, no, Emily's just the waitress. She just has to watch. I've got a linguine with mushroom cream sauce for Mr. Dunkstar and a grilled steak for Alex. You don't sleep less than nine? No, I can't, eh? Hey? I wish. Is a nice uh, one CC guide broken down by season? I can imagine that's cool. 
Thanks. Okay, so if anyone has just joined, a couple things have happened. There's a clip that you can watch there on YouTube. You can see all my girlfriends broke up with me. I lost all my girlfriends at once. Uh, that's in the clip. You can also watch um, what's, what I did since that is what any logical person would do. All the girls were shunning me in the valley. So I started dating all the boys. Obviously, you know, if you can't get it with any other girls, then you move on, you know. But now the girls have forgiven me. So now after this dude, I have one more person, which I'll let you have in two days. And then literally every, every single single person in the valley is head over heels in love with me. I am literally like a Casanova-esque, insanely desirable creature. And what we're going to do then is we're going to do like a reality show style versus competition where each person is going to pair off against one of the other people and we're going to decide who Dunk is going to marry. That's what's going to happen. I literally just have this guy and one more. Dunk's a player? I wouldn't say that. There's a specific... Uh, I wouldn't call it a game, you know? It's more of a passion of mine. So one of the, what I wanted to say was... <clears throat> Well, uh, w when we first met, I was instantly drawn to you. It was confusing. I'd never felt that way about anyone. He's freaking lying because he didn't even remember my name like the first five times we met. But the first time where he eventually remembered. I kept telling myself, you can't have these kinds of feelings for another guy. But my heart was telling me something else. I feel the same way. I'm sorry. I don't feel that way about you. Obviously, we have to pursue everyone to 10 out of 10 for the marriage off. I feel the same way. For now. Ugh. I can't believe it took this long to say that to each other. Ooh. -oo. He's eating his fork. Mmm, the steak is outstanding. Can you smell that fragrant sauce? Uh, Shazzy, thank you so much for the prime sub. Dun Juan? Yes. Dun Canova? Well, you got insane, right? Oh. <gasps> Who's that? It's Dusty, or whatever his name was. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it turns out that uh, Sam is the most sort of, you know, forward person. Sam's the only guy who was like, so can we kiss now? I was like, what? The only person in the whole valley. Okay, don't get me wrong. Emily, Emily tricked me into believing a bear was attacking us and made me sleep in her sleeping bag for an entire night. So, yeah, there's, there's that. So, yeah, the only person I've like, you really, you know, I think Emily's the only person I've, you know, hugged intimately before. Why does he stay crunchy? He was chewing on his fork. That's how nervous he was. Sort of like a celebrity deathmatch? Exactly like a celebrity deathmatch. You get it, Space Age Mermaid. Okay. Cool. So yeah, it's literally Sam. Sam. Sam's it. Sam's the last single in the valley. All my plans will come together. And other than that, my community center is going pretty, pretty nicely. Now I have another question, folks. Do mods make this game replayable? I mean, when they did this DLC, like, I don't even know what the updates have done here. Have I done the update stuff? I think the Desert Festival was an update thing. I don't actually know what else was update. Um, I mean, I really have enjoyed this playthrough, and I do like this game a lot. I can't really picture, unless it had been, like, a long, long, long time, just doing, like, another playthrough, just because, you know, sort of, like, similar. Um, unless the mods do make it, like, really different. I don't know what your peeps. I played a new playthrough with mods, and I can say it does make it replayable. Have you gone to the Trout Derby? It's in the summer. Maybe I missed it. I did do Squid Fest 2024. Have you made it to the island yet? Ginger Island, I haven't. <gasps> Green rain has descended. Oh, this is this weird day. I haven't made it to the island. See, I'm assuming it's unlocked through one of these, yes? Especially the big ones like Stardew Expanded. Okay. There's mods that add more map and more NPCs too. That's cool. The Stardew Expanded mod adds an entire game worth of new stuff. It's 100% worth of new playthroughs. I see. Check on the calendar. The calendar, um, I mean, it's just Sam's birthday coming up. There's probably some stuff in the, in the future. Maybe afterwards. All right, peeps. Before we go see what this weird green rain is, I'm going to quickly step away. I'm going to go take my stretch break. I'm going to go reach for the ceiling, touch my toes, do all those wonderful things. If you are enjoying yourself and you haven't dropped a follow, please do drop a follow. I'll be back in just a moment. I played this game over and over, restarting save files and never played 
any mods. Miss Bell, why not? Give it a go. I mean, imagine more new NPCs. Like, oh, I love Sebastian, but... Ooh, there's this new person. Better Bastion. You know, I'm just a vanilla Andy. That's cool. You know, if it works for you, perfect. But you know, you did say earlier, um, I wish I could play this game for the first time. Maybe you could with the mods. Okay, peeps, I'll be back in just a moment. Stay tuned. Salted there by something as mighty as wood. Ito was like a sister. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm oh, going careful, on. careful, 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 Thomas, careful. Oh, oh my God, yeah, I see the branch there. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Take this left path. Go. What's safety measures, safety go. measures. Go, there we go, all right. Should be safe. Oh my God, what is wrong with this guy? He's okay. bringing us path like little wooden blockades. He died. <laughs> yeah, I'm driving. Timeless, get in. Oh, this is the mission point. You just ran over our teammates. You just killed one of our allies. <laughs> Crap. Oh, ducks. You I drove. don't think he's dead. I don't think he's dead. I think he just needs to... Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I just think he resting. just needs a bit of resting time here in the, <laughs> in the flowers. Did anybody, ca did anybody time how long Dunks was in the driver's seat for before somebody died? <laughs> he's fine. He's going to be just fine. <laughs> he's going to be just fine. Oh, she's wild at me. I think she likes me. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, maybe? Yeah, ooh. Maybe. I don't, I don't. No, no she's slightly, ooh, no. This woman has all range of emotions. I mean, she's, you do just run over her husband. She doesn't know what her, Oh, I get it. So at one part, she's like very happy that we liberated them. But on the other hand, I did ride over us. <laughs> <laughs> so she's got, she's got a few mixed feelings over the matter. Is there anything special about these places? Maybe. Hi. <laughs> you think that's a horse, Thomas? I know that that dog's attacking an innocent civilian. <laughs> Shoot it! No, I mean maybe we can reason with it, dude. No, it's killing the guy. Bad dog. Do not oh. kill civilians or the unarmed. Good job, Timeless. It, Look what you've done, Timeless. I don't know. I killed the dog. But the no, dog the, killed look him. at that. That guy died of a bullet shot, dude. You missed. <laughs> you missed, I'm Timeless. Pretty, I missed up his big boss. Timeless that missed That is it. a dog bite. That's a dog bite? Nine millimeter dog bite? <laughs> yes. Are you supposed to shoot the hostages? Uh, no, this is not speed. Oh my god, where's that guy going? He's actually going the right way. The uh, ruler <laughs> camp is that way. <laughs> All right, well, we'll follow his lead then. Thank you very much, dude. <laughs> Leading the way, as always. What a pioneer. What are you burning? Nothing. I'm heading out now. Not you. This woman me. is. Oi! This woman's just finding countless cell phones no, was in this, the stack no, of papers. That was, this, that was the cell phone she just chucked in there. How many cell phones are in this packet? Oh! No, this is infinite. She Back keeps finding phones. phones, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we should fund the revolution from here. We'd be stinking, stinking rich. <laughs> there, damaged animal meat. How did you get that? Or did it just give it to us? Oh, oh, Dunks, behind me, behind Holy me. Holy crap, it. what the hell is that, dude? Shoot it. I don't know what it is, dude. It might be the last... Whoa. Whoa. It's like a war pig, dude. Half orc, half... Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. I'm shooting it with the sniper rifle and it's doing like no I damage. I see, it's got like a bot. Oh my god, Timers. Its name is Mamutio Tito. Mamutito. It was either me or you, Mamutito. It was either me or you, Mamutito. Rest well. Mamutito looks like what happens is if a horse uh, and a boar got in an unholy union. Mamastito. Some... Uh, what do you want to make? Some boots? A nice purse. Oh, 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 Dugs, shoot it, shoot it! <laughs> I mean, it seems fine, Timers. Do you have it? Shoot this! Do you have, do you have shoot it? Shoot this! Oh, my, no, that's pretty fancy. Oh my god, dude. That's, uh, get him, dude. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Oh, that <laughs> killed me six off me. <laughs> they like you, dude. 
Female Dundee, oh. alligator Dundee is not. Oh, did you see that? This one's actually just chilling in the sun. It's got its hands behind its back, uh, like one of <laughs> I can hear the plane. I can't see it though. There he is. Alrighty, I am back. How's everyone doing? Um, me friends with Andy. Who's Andy? Andy. I don't know. Andy is. You saw a mod once that you thought was really cool where they expanded the town to another city? What, like you go there to Zuzu Zuzu City? That's cool. Rick, look at you, dude. I mean, listen, if the modding community didn't make good mods with this game, I think there would be an absolute travesty because this game is made by one person. So this game is literally made by one person. So yeah, I mean, the modding community is a whole bunch of, you know, more people than one. So you would really think that maybe that would be the reason that uh, should be good. What the heck are these things that are growing here? Like weird, like green cabbages or something. Yo, hello. Hey, Mark. How's it going, dude? Welcome back. Thank you, Z. Z, do you not need rest, my dear? Oh, Z, Z. Green rain? So what, the green rain makes these weird things come out? Okay, so this happens like once a year, this weird green rain. I mean, I can already tell, like, I'm not saying that the game it hasn't been magical and isn't wonderful. But, I mean, the first year was really cool. Like, just having, like, all these weird things happening. It's weekend! Oh, no, no better than to tell you what to do. I'm just, just, just put it out there. I think everyone's just huddled at the bar. Wait. I thought everyone kind of huddled in the bar for the green rain. Is there, is there, like, something I should be doing during this green rain? Is there like a legendary fish? I feel like Green Rain should be like a legendary fish, of which only legend foretold. And there was the trout derby I was asked to look at. Don't eat the green snow. Offering a catfish. Ooh, thank you, Keijo. Gather all that fiber. And like this thing? I mean, is this, I mean, this is like a weird Green Rain, like anomaly, right? Green wood. Oh no. Fiddlehead fern. Chop it down! Oh, look at this rare, one-of-a-kind kind of... Says Shells Bells. All right, Shells Bells, well, I've destroyed it. It's gone now. With your fancy scythe. Well, I, got, I found a golden scythe. So let's not scythe shame over here. <laughs> I, I heard that scythe, you know? There are legendary trees. Okay, and Tasty, how you doing, buddy? Always good to see you. Uh, Fiddlehead Fern. This is my bounty from the fancy trees. Walleye. Okay, here's this thing. You need fiddlehead for the center? I don't know. Kit. I'll take a look-see. It'll vibrate. Deluxe bait. Um, fiddlehead fern. I do need this for the center. I do. Where would you be if you were a fiddlehead fern? Fiddlehead fern in the fumbling foyer. There's fiddlehead fern. Cool. Winning. Sweet. Okay, now we just need some truffles. I once saw a cooking show on TV. Now, I don't understand any of this, okay? But you know, like, and I'm sure some of you are foodies. And because of that, like, you understand how this works. But, um, the guy was busy explaining to another guy, but he was having a very serious conversation, and he said, there's something so ferocious about a truffle. And I wasn't quite sure what to make of that. It's, it's just, I don't know if that's what I would call it, but that... That very professional British chef thought that there was something so ferocious about a truffle. So I'm assuming occasion I are probably going to have to hunt one down, defeat it in single combat. Something incredibly ferocious about a truffle. We'll see. We'll see. Time will tell. Balloon board, thank you. I definitely love the fancier scythe. Nice. I got it. I'll, I'll, I'll use it. I find truffles way too overpowering. Something so ferocious about them. Something so ferocious. Pigs find truffles. So ferocious. Like, I'm not gonna lie, the first time there was green rain, everyone seemed to care. Now no one gives a crap. Everyone's just standing in it. Alex doesn't care. He's gonna become like a mutant man. And grow like a third limb. I tried to go for a run this morning, but the plants have gone crazy. I couldn't get very far. Oh, oh, there's a super tree. I think this thing is one of these as well. Mossy seeds. 
Look, nope, that's just wooden. That was just a regular tree. Chop down the weird trees. I must be honest, I don't really know weird from normal now. I mean, this thing looks pretty weird. Are you weird? Are you normal? Seems pretty normal. Yes! It just, it just gives wood. I think this thing's pretty weird as well. I don't know. The weird trees seem like they're just made out of wood now. Hmm. First, I think everyone realized you survived just fine uh, around. Yeah, they say that, but apparently um, I walked around in the green rain and that's what turned me into, as everyone called me, a um, sleaze. That's the word that they used to describe me, all the ladies in the town. A sleaze. They should drop mossy seeds. Okay, and on mossy seeds... I mean, I got one mossy seed. It's going to be planted to grow rare wild trees. Okay. I think I'm just getting duds. Tier That's what three, I think. Super supporter. Kamira. Yes, I like it here. Thank you, Dunks and Chat, for making this wonderful place hang out. Kamira, thank you so, 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 so much for that Tier 3 Super Supporter sub. And it has been an absolute, absolute pleasure going around here. You know, okay, now that you've been here for like a full month going on to your second month, I have been saying Kamira right, right? I kind of said it like the, like the Greek... Um, creature, you know, the mythical, the mythical, the mythical Chimera. I hope I've said it all right this whole time. I went bold and I didn't even bother to check. And now you can be like, nah, it's actually Chimera and you're an idiot. But, you know, I stayed anyway. Holy moly. I probably should ask this on day two. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, you honestly, you've been an absolute delight since you've been in here. Thank you so much for chatting so much. And now thank you so much for the crazy support. It's really awesome of you. I'll go to the pub after 12. Thank you, Molly. Okay. Holy moly moly. Folks, if I ever butcher your usernames, you must say it. You know? Well, you got your idiot part right. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yes, you said perfectly. One of the very few who do. Okay. There we go. Nice, nice. Like, like I said, I went for the mythic I went for the mythical creature. I thought I thought that's where it is. But you're like, no, it's like Cy like Cyan and Mira, because you know, reasons. Then I'll say, oh, okay. I I understand. Um, I don't know. If I ever butcher your name, you must let me know. You've been butchering my name for years. What do you mean, Zawanechi? Listen, I say yours the way that the text-to-speech says it. Zawanechi. And also, you, no one knows how to pronounce your name, because even you don't know how to pronounce your name. So we just call you Z. Don't pronounce something. I've pronounced everything correctly. Raik. I do. I do, really. Same, what are you talking about? Hualam. You say my name weird. <clears throat> Sorry, press press ton. Press ton. Sorry, folks. Sorry, press ton. Damn it. You know we're gonna land up with this. We had a, a viewer, may they rest in peace. Really lovely member of the community who passed away. It was a very sad time. But um <laughs> their name was Dreadnought. And after having this discussion that we're having right now, for the rest of their days that they were in this channel, they became known as Dr. Edna. Because Dreadnought turned into, so yeah, it landed up being, oh, sorry, I denied you your degree. So yeah, they became known as Dr. Edna. So you don't, just, just, just be careful. You, you could have a very similar treatment happen to you um, if you're not careful. We, we noticed something, we're like, oh, there we go. You pronounce mesquite correctly, while well, many people don't. Yeah, but I've got a bit of inside track information on that. Maybe pronounce everything correctly, but we perceive it incorrectly. Shells Bells gets it. I like this. I like that comment there by user Shells Bells. No, it's just occasion here. Folks, it's only day one. Only the first one. Yep, Dr. Edna Utkamu. They were foreign. You say my name weird too. It's actually pronounced Stephen. So Uncle Darth, I mean, what does Thomas, Thomas calls you something weird? He calls you like Darth to Bill or something, I don't know. Ah. <laughs> oh. Phew, good thing you said that, otherwise I um, would have almost guessed Steven. Hmm, let's see. Man, oh man. Alright, Steven, I see you there. Stephen. Okay, no, no one fears the, gray, the rain anymore. I guess we can expect these unusual rains every year. I think everyone is a little calmer now, knowing it's just that part of nature. That's what the rains want you to think, you fool. 
Yeah, have some sashimi. Thanks, this is great. Okay, here, here he is. You notice how warm this rain is? It feels alive. You think in a way like you can plant trees in us? Oh no, they actually are going there now. Never mind. Silly me to ever dispute Molly. Silly, silly me. No one pronounces my name right like ever? I got your name right. I got your name right. Have I ever got your name wrong? Eh? Yeah. I'm sure I'm sure I got it. Kit Rozo in. Definitely correct. Okay, come on, man. Go to ten, dude. Go to ten. <laughs> Just kidding. Go to ten, dude. Ten. Wait, is this a thing where I actually can talk to him like is this like a hack? No. You will never go to ten while talking to me like this. Nailed it? Yeah. Oh, you're probably Kitro. Kitro's on. <laughs> it actually almost came out correctly then, anyway. My name is actually Shira. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. You're like uh, the same as that guy. Iman. Are you fishing for sturgeon? I don't know what the green rain does. Can I, can I get sturgeon in the green rain? And sturgeon's in the lake at the top. Also, I feel like I'm probably going to miss it. Can you feel it? The forest is singing. The trees are dancing with joy. No matter how many times you talk to him, you only get the max 20 plus 20 per day. Let's see. That was actually... Yeah, I, I know how to say... I, as I say, kid, I always say your name right. I've always said your name correctly. That's what I said. Kitro's on was, you know, kind of, kind of right. I, I know. And yes, you're one of the first people to get right? Heck yeah. Yeah. All right. I mean, I could. Just, I don't know. I peeps green, green rain. I mean, I feel like are, are you supposed to speak to everyone and get their rare lines? I don't actually really know. Um, it's an awkward one. Let's just make sure I've got pizza for tomorrow. That's all that matters. It's a good day to shop. That's not true. Hey, I remember that hot pepper you sold me the other day. I ended up serving it to the family for a special dinner. My wife loved it. And Abby even started going to town and after I smothered the thing in hoisin sauce. It's a fantastic story, Pierre. You enrich our lives to no end. Okay. Would you like some sashimi? For me, this is such a thoughtful gift. Yes, it is, Caroline. Soon. Soon you will be a 10 out of 10. Ah, uh, the special rain is back. This calls for a cup of green tea. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh... For anyone who doesn't know a true story, I got freaking high. This is this is the one girl I'm dating's mum. And I got high as a kite with her. She served me some of her special green tea. It's pretty intense. It packs a real punch. That is very kind of you. Thank you. You're welcome, Pierre. I must be honest, Pierre, because you're behind a counter, I normally don't give you many gifts. I feel bad for that. You think it's just the fibers in the trees? Caroline has the best tea. Let's see what the creepy doctor has to say about this. The first time this happened, we were all worried that the rain might be dangerous. But what if it's actually healthy for the body? Who knows? The plants seem to respond well to it, at least. Mm. Oh no, the rain is gone. Time for another cup of green tea. Oh yes. Oh no, the rain's here. Time for a cup of green tea. It rained yesterday. Green tea. It will never rain again. Green tea. I feel like it's a foregone conclusion for her. Um, some more of these things if I can. Okay. It wasn't her you were in a tent with? Uh, no, no, no. That's another. So that one's the one, like, I managed to get transported into Emily's dreams. Emily's the one who speaks like this. She's got blue hair and she speaks like this. Is the green tea the reason your screen is so green? No, and it's because there's green rain today. It could be raining tea, though. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh-oh. These two look like zombies. One of them's just staring at the fridge, and the other one's staring at the sink. Hey, Dunkstar, so I stopped by Piers the other day and bought a cheese. It was the first time I've seen one of 
I was there in a while. A cheese? No way, dude. I cooked it up for dinner. I don't think this guy knows what cheese is. I bought a cheese. It's the first time I've seen one for a while. I cooked it up for dinner. It filled the house with a crumptious smell. This guy literally bought a cheese and then just went and just cooked that the, the, the crap out of that cheese. He got a cheese. I'm sure that was meant to be like an insert, you know, word here. There's all kinds of good wood out there today. Better get chopping, huh? You get cheese you can cook like that? I know. Look, I know you can cook cheese. I've had cooked cheese and stuff, but still, the way you said a cheese. I don't, I don't know. The rare opportunity to study a unique phenomenon. Every moment counts. It's true. The villagers talk about stuff you put in the shipping bin. All right. So you should have said like a trout. Filled the thing. Excuse me, I would like one cheese piece. Yes, I would like a cheese. Hello, market. I would like a cheese. Thank you. I mean, it's right, but it's... I don't know, am I wrong? It's, it's, it's like it's correct, but it's not quite correct. I'm gonna see. You're just biased against him because he doesn't want you dating Maru. Well, joke's on him. I'm gonna marry Maru. I'm gonna marry her anyway. Marry Maru if she wins against everyone else. Man, peeps, this is going to be... Is everyone excited for this reality show that we're going to have on this? I think it's going to be fantastic. Like, who's going to win? I, I don't know. I also think it could come... Honestly, could come down to, like, the matchups. You know? Who's going to win? Who's going to win? I'm going to take a gulp of goop for Zao and Echi. I'll do that. I'll do that freaking right now. Right now. I'll do it. I'm really worried I'm going to miss the whole damn thing. It'll probably be tomorrow, I'd imagine. Just because it'll probably take a while. Hello, good sir. I'd like one of your finest cheese. Yes, indeed. I'm looking forward to it. I was away for a bit to charge my phone. Glad I didn't miss it. Yeah, it'll probably... I mean, I don't want to rush it, so it'll... I don't know. Uh, it's bloody Sam. Sam and Alex playing hard to get, you know? It was kind of thwarted, that. And we shall see. Okay, so I think all my girlfriends have forgiven me, so that's good. I have one more guy, and um, I'm hoping there's not a similar cutscene for the guys that there were for the girls, because that would just be terrible. Imagine being dumped by every single person in the valley. I don't know if my heart could take that. I'd say probably not. Yeah, now everything kind of seems up normal. It's a little bit sad, huh? I still feel like everyone should still cower around. Imagine if this rain lasts all summer, the plants would take over the entire valley. They would. I can't get married until it's decided, says Arcasia. I wonder if I can attend Arcasia's wedding. Get the feeling no, huh? I'm looking forward to it. Uh, sorry, I saw that. Want them to still be pissed with you? No, 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 I'm just saying, I hope the dudes just, like, you know, they don't, they can be like, yeah, you date the other dudes, that's cool. What ifs? I don't think that's gonna be... Actually, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna gather the temple and sacrifice you at the altar. Oh, yeah, that actually could happen as well. I'll sacrifice you to Yoba! No, not to Yoba! Oh, my Yoba, Yoba, Yoba... For anyone who doesn't know, there is literally this weird deity that they do worship here in the valley called Yoba. Pretty intense. Oh, mighty Yoba, accept the sacrifice and make it a good harvest. Feed him to me. No, Yoba. We'll see. I don't know. I mean, I'm making it sound really dark. Maybe Yoba's like a really nice guy. We can only hope, says Maggie. Maggie, none of that. None of that, Maggie. Rude. Fiddlehead Fern. Fiddlehead Fern. Does anyone know if you can cook with Fiddlehead Fern? No, it doesn't seem like it. I'll pop this rainbow shell away, sell these oysters and clams. Yoba's the god of monogamy. <laughs> I am Yoba! Bow before me! Yes, yeah, so almighty Yoba, I am the god of monogamy. You have been polygamous, and for that, you will face the ultimate price. No, Yoba. What is that? What is that, Yoba? 
What do we think is the ultimate sacrifice a polygamist must make? Mm. Fiddlehead risotto. Oh, that's what the one dude likes. Fiddlehead risotto. Okay, perfect. Oh, you need to check the British pronunciation of that word. See, now I don't know. A deity. A deity. 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 I always, I say deity. Um, now you got me all confused and stuffs and things. What does everyone say? Deity? Yeah, that's what I said. I said deity. Dav, Dav's my auditor. Dav speaks for the entirety of England when they say it was correct. Isn't that right? So good morning and hi, hey Dev. I will curse your village with yellow rain. No. Did you spend hours in your room as a kid playing with toys and making up scenes like this? Um, I mean, did I? I mean, who didn't though, really? You took the toys and you're like, hello. What's up? Yeah, no, I had a few things like that. I am of the royal line, indeed. Deity. Yeah. So you just said it like deity. Okay, so I say it different ways because different people say things. I, I try I try to be a nice streamer and say it like different ways. I know I know that seems kind of weird, but you know, just just I, like I fence it, if that makes sense. So I, I would say deity still. See? Okay, yeah, you see I'm right, okay? Deity. Deity. So I was correct, I was correct, but check it out. Deity. 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 Okay, so deity isn't actually one that anyone says. Deity. I don't know, I just try Deity. I try I try to be nice for all of you, you know? Streamer streamer tries to fence it. We pronounce a word on speed dial. We need pronounce a word. Yes, we do, actually. Siri, how do you say this? <laughs> That's what we'll do. Most of us from some royal line. Oh, no, no, I'm not. I once learned up the... I read up the definition... Or, oh, sorry, the, not the definition. The history of my surname. And I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> that does not sound good. Uh, it doesn't sound good at all. It's... Uh, I can't say it because it would dox me. But it did not sound good. I think my surname sounds quite nice, but I like looked into like like what are the origins. I was like, oh crap, that's that's not good. That ain't good at all. So yeah, just at least one of them. Mine is an old English name, and we have our own crest. Um, I think most have like a crest somewhere. If you look back, I had a cresty thing going on. My surname is of European origin. You should get some armor made. That'd be cool. You should do that. Okay, today's Sam's birthday. Let's make it happen. Maybe knight some folks? Yeah, dude. Peacock crest. I don't believe there was a peacock upon the crest. I could be mistaken. I'll have to look again. Perhaps, perhaps not. Bam, bam, bum, bum. Yes, it's very exciting. You've been here a while, now, haven't you? Your farm must be thriving. I mean, I've got that one patch that does it. Right. Your surname is German or Jewish, so we used to get all sorts of adverts and things in our post box. I don't know. I I think nowadays I just get pushed ads from everything always. What's up, Shane? Okay. So it's Sam's birthday. He's totally going to be 10 out of 10 today, huh? He's got to be. Okay, this is it. And then I just need to know what his cutscenes are. I mean, have I even seen Sam's 8? I suppose the concert was his 8 heart cutscene, was it? So I kind of just maybe need like a little bit of backseating on what's where, where to go for Sam's 10 heart scene. And then, and then, it's on, and everyone in the valley loves me to no end. Look at this. Look at it. All the single people. All the single people. All the single people. The internet AI knows you're a pregnant nicotine addict. Listen, that is what the internet does push me. For anyone who doesn't know, we often watch YouTube videos on here. Just if we have to look something up. And the algorithms do think that I am a woman who requires 
monthly supplies, as well as someone who smokes and needs Nicorette gum. And apparently I'm pregnant as well. So there's that. Morning. I saw a spider in my ceiling last night. They sure like the warmth. I hope he didn't crawl into my mouth while I was asleep. Has anyone ever heard that statistic? So there's always like that statistic that they put around where they're like, oh yeah, you know, the average human being eats eight spiders in their lifetime or whatever. <laughs> and I read someone like butcher that the one time when it was like, human beings do always eat eight spiders in their lifetime. If you die before you've eaten your allocation, they all come at once. Just <laughs> terrifying thought. If you've only had three and you're about to die, then the other five will, they all come. Every human being eats eight spiders in their lifetime. Fact. Fact. Definitely. Okay. Happy birthday. Yes! Hey, hey, you remember? Now that's what I'm talking about. Nope, nope, nope. F spiders. Sorry, peeps. Arachnophobia, folks. Sorry for that. Wish I could spend more time outside, but there's so much work to do. Um, yeah, have some sashimi. That was my gift, Ocasia! Get out of bed with that man! That was, that was my, that was my birthday pizza. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll just go back in here. Maybe that'll trigger the scene. No. I've woken up with a leg stuck in my teeth. It was super disgusting. Wait, you have? Oh my goodness. All right. Um, okay, anyone, how do you trigger Sam's 10 heart scene? Do I go somewhere between somewhere and somewhere? Do I have to wait for a letter in the mail? Um... It's literally the last thing I have to do. And then I have procured everyone's love. Everyone. Hi! Would you like a dish of the sea? Why does somebody tell... No, I'll save dish of the sea for fishing. Ah, they gave this to me at the Gotoro prison camp. I've been trying to forget about that. Oh, crap. I really... Cannot do well with this guy. Jojo Cola and Sashimi. I found this guy really hates me. I don't think I'm ever going to become friends with that dude. I've given him like every single food that he hates. Proper, proper PTSD. Whoopsie. Your, wi your wife liked it. I'd love to live in an old farmhouse like you. The creak of the floorboard. There we go. Soon. Maybe. Soon. Bum, ba, bum, bum, ba, dum. Emily tried to serve me mayonnaise for dinner last night. I threw it away when she wasn't looking. Mayonnaise is delicious. I don't like health food. Mayonnaise is not health food, Haley. Mayonnaise would make you unhealthy. You need a letter from Sam. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Holes and Chew. Um, in your defense, Kent doesn't love many things. Yeah, but he hates a lot of them. Also, okay, I don't mean to sound offensive, okay? But I mean, if you're in like a prison of war camp and they're giving you sashimi and like cola, uh, I mean, it doesn't sound that bad. I get, I don't want to, I don't want to step on any toes. I don't know if any of you like have fought the empire, but you know, you know what I'm saying? Ugh, they used to give me this high quality sashimi and this cola while I was in there. It was terrible. It was terrible. We were only allowed like five and a half hours of TV time every day and, the, you know, there was the free gym and all of that, but, you know, it wasn't the best. Ken likes fruits, daffodils, and eggs. But what does Kent love? What does Kent love? It was old sashimi and flat cola. No, this is fresh sashimi. I made it like three weeks ago. What are you talking about, Acacia? The sashimi is like some of the freshest I've ever had. Fiddlehead Risotto. Okay, I don't think I can make that, though. I don't think I can make it. It's not a thing for me. Okay, so I just have to wait for a day to pass, and then Sam can be mine. That's what can happen. I'm gonna stand, peeps. Everyone remember to stretch and stuff. It's good for you. I have provided with the information again. Access to his closed heart. Go forth, young dunk. He likes all eggs and all fruits. Beer and... No, but what does he love? Apart from Fiddlehead Risotto, which is like the rarest item in the game. 
So, I mean, I know he likes beer, so, so check this. I mean, I've given the guy... Sorry, in fact, I actually just remembered that he had the note. There. So he likes fiddlehead risotto and roasted hazelnuts. But he liked beer and spaghetti and emerald that I gave him. All eggs, even void? Maybe. Maybe, Dark Dwayne. Maybe. Okay, one more day. So, I need to go catch, um, Sturgeon. Still, I believe. Sturgeon was, uh, what? At the lake, huh? Any, any time. Or, no, no, I think I have to get there quite early, right? So, I'm just thinking I might as well do that while I'm waiting. Um, Sturgeon. Yeah, I still need Sturgeon. Walleye! And I think Wednesday is the date that the um, merchant is here, right? Maybe I can get a walleye in there. Try daffodil if you have any. Yeah, it's too late for this. Uh, 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 Harlem, why? Why? No, Friday and Sunday. Okay, Friday and Sunday. Okay. Am I right in saying that I must fish at the dam though, huh? I'm actually going to go up grab my horsey. What, what, what time is it for, for sturgeon? Summer sturgeons. He may like sweet peas. Yeah, as I say, so like, like I think I've got him pretty much down. But yeah, love, love is the way to someone's heart, you know. 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. All right. Come, man weasel. For anyone who does know, yes, I have a horse named Man Weasel. It was named after a viewer, as is most things in my, in my base. Ride, man weasel. Dwarvish safety manual. Is that something else that he loves? Summer and winter. Okay. I just need to get this. Thanks for all the help. Okay, you can have this thing I literally just picked up right next to you. This is a great gift. Yep, if you'd bent down, you could have got it yourself. Hello, Maru. Hey, Maru. Yeah. Probably should have thrown this the other way, huh? Fine, we're gonna get a delicious sturgeon. Question mark. Give us a sturgeon. Bull head. You're not a sturgeon. My soul, you hurt my soul, the foraging. Kit, I'm in a rush. I had to come here and get sturgeons. I didn't have time to forage. I, I'm sorry, Kit. I literally, uh, the sturgeons wait for no man. 7 p.m. It's literally it's their dinner time. They leave. We no longer wish to be in these waters. Mother calls. It's dinner time. You go, yes, sturgeon. Man, Ethereum, why do you look so sad? It's like a really easy fish. Maybe it is a sturgeon. I don't know if a sturgeon is a tough or easy fish. I just need it. Damn it, cop. All eggs, not the void and fruits. Yes, I did see that. They tough? Okay, sturgeons are tough. Okay, that's good. So I'll know it when I have it. You must pick up so much. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. But again, it's it's fine. It's fine. I need it. This is far more important than the berries and such, you know? I just, I need, I need a sturgeon. <laughs> Large mouth bass. Damn it. Why, Sturgeon? Because Maru's watching me. You know, I'm trying to like impress Maru, and Maru's all like, <clears throat> I thought you could fish, dude. Can fish! I can fish, Maru! You'll see. I'll get a sturgeon bigger than your head. <laughs> see, Maru. Watch closely, Maru. Watch Maru. Yes! Hey? Hey, Maru? Hey? Hey, what do you think of that, Maru? What do you think of that? Super impressive. Sturgeon are super hard to catch and they don't bite often. There we go. I'm, um, I'm a quality fish. I didn't even need a... Who needs, who needs a bob? Who needs a bob when you are as good a fisherman as I? Heck yeah. I did that? No, I'm not even gonna... Sorry. I'm not... Now get another? Um, what is the purpose of it? Marius, thank you so much for the prime sub. Hi, Dunk! What are you doing, dude? Thank you for that. 
You forgot Man Weasel? Nah, I left Man Weasel to graze. Also, I did forget Man Weasel. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. Like, I was going to say something along the lines of, like, I did that with stir... Like, no, I'm not even said. Like, surgical precision, but it's, it's just like surgeon sounds like... Stu Did everyone forget? I hope they did. Okay, a walleye is the last fish we require. Peeps, how do you get a walleye? I think you all said it's next season, huh? You'll need their fish pond product for the last bundle after CC is complete. I'll need their fish pond product. Sturgeon's fish pond product. They put something. You're silly. You're silly. Daedalus, thank you. Daedalus has applauded. Daedalus knows what's what. I think it was a night fish list. I'm sorry, I left you, man weasel. Let's see, man weasel is grazing. Okay, we don't have much time for the second of the sturgeons. In fact, maybe, since I got this, I'll just basically... Uh, oh, that's not even the way that the water is. Okay, so if we see a fish that's not a sturgeon, we just break it off. Okay, you're not a sturgeon. Does this matter, by the way? Am I, like, destroying my fishing record? At the end of the game, is it like, you're just terrible at fishing, and it destroys, like, every single thing that I know and love because I, I went, like... Because I've been a really good fisher person. You got magic bait? I got better bait. I've just got... I've got a lure that shows me what the fish is. I hope this doesn't destroy my record. My fishing record's all I got, really. Chronicle comment says this personally, what, that you mucked up? Really? Like, you suck at fishing. You suck at fishing, you're a credible disappointment to me. And I, I'm sorry that I left the farm to you. I don't like that, Miss Bell, I don't like that at all. Oh, you have a chance to catch a walleye with magic bait. I can I don't even know how you get magical bait. I assume from the magician, the, the sorcerer. A largemouth bass for me. I mean, it takes almost as long to catch them as it does to, like, release them, huh? Sturgeon general advised against eating Wally. You see! Bucklings on the same, <laughs> same page as me. Bucky knows what's what. No, don't go, Maru. I'm about to catch another one. Okay, it's 7 p.m. It's either this... No. Okay, it is not this day. Okay, one sturgeon's enough. Keys? Keys gives you... I don't know who Keys is. I kind of just... He wrote me a couple... They wrote me a couple messages. Why am I grinning? I guess I've been unusually happy lately. Yep, I make you happy. And I might make you happy forever if I choose you. You have a 1 in 12 chance. I know a lot of you people love him. I know a lot of people... I saw him. Get Pony? I got it. Ride, man weasel. Ride! Okay, one more day for my relationship status to be confirmed and everyone in the valley to love me. Should be super simple. Sorry, I did ask you earlier, I don't know if any of you said, have any of you ever got 10 out of 10 hearts for everyone? Is that, is that a thing any of you have done? 10 out of 10 hearts for every single person. Hmm. I don't know. Yep, says Z. Okay. So Z, you literally had 10 out of 10 hearts for everyone and you chose to romance Zarkon. Your in real life friend. That's, that's what you did. I mean, I suppose your relationship with them is sort of slightly deeper than the one you, you know, grew with the four sentences of each NPC, but I still think you missed a trick. 
I learned that if you feed the horse carrots, he goes foster all day. Oh, that's cool. Seemed appropriate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. Okay, I'm going to sell this bass. I don't know if I need to, but I'm going to sell it anyway. Chubs, cops, bullheads, bullheads, largemouth basses. Geode, I can probably crack at this machine. I've got this spinner. Enticing spectacle for fish increases the bite rate when fishing. I mean, that is cool. But, hmm. Can I tell you a secret about the horse? Tasty? If the secret is that I can put a hat on the horse, I literally forgot about that until right now. And I did know about it, but you've actually just reminded me. And how the hell has anyone been letting me ride around on this horse without putting a hat on it? What the heck? What the heck? I literally forgot about that. How could you people let me do that? Why? Friends, friends remind friends. I don't even have to tell you the secret. Friends, friends remind friends. Does Pip have a Wait, all animals can have it? Yeah, that's true, man. Weasel can get you run over by a train. It did happen. <gasps> Wait, and little Pip can have a horse? Poor horse getting sunburned ears? Yeah, for sure, right? Hold on. Little Pip. Pip's gonna wear a squid for a hat, obviously. Pip in. Pip in. Come Pip. Come Pip in. No, I don't think Pip. <gasps> Got a little hat. Can we give him like a little lion's mane instead? Hey, little Pip. Look at you. Wait, can all animals have hats? This is insane. What about all the cows and all the chickens? Hold on. Sailors, cap, sports cap, straw hat. No animal is safe. Has Zunk married yet? Makrov, no. I literally have one more person in the morning. I should receive a letter in the mail. And then every single, single person in the valley is mine. All my, uh, all the ladies in my life, there's a clip that's attached there, have forsaken me. Um, but I think, I think they're all back on track now. So I think I can marry anyone. But yeah, all my girlfriends broke up with me. It was pretty bad. Akasia was knocked unconscious. Oof. Akasia. Where are Hello, little chickens. Who wants to be a sailor chicken? What about you? No, I don't think I don't think you can give chickens hats. Sand warrior, Arapek? No, I don't. I don't think chickens can have one. No hats for little chickens. Not the chicken, sad. Can the cows? Ferret is trying to sleep. Ferret, enough of that. Let me put ferret. No cows, no chickens, just the dog, cat, and horse. Then I will have to procure myself more cats and horses and dogs. I believe that Ferret has denied me this. All the chickens as well. It's pretty sad. Okay, Kasia got knocked out. That's not cool. Sorry, Kasia. We like, I like, quite like this little propeller hat. Did any of you ever actually own a propeller hat? Is that, um, a thing? Try after sleep? Nah, I think, well, I mean, I'm assuming, I'm assuming if Molly says no, it's probably not a thing then. I only need a better weapon to run this dangerous area, but I'm running this dangerous area because a better weapon drops here. Kasia, I mean, I can lend you my hammer if you want it. Doodle deedle. I can do that. I don't know what to tell you, Kasia. That's about all I can offer. My god tier hammer, the most expensive item in the game. Well, weapon. Kasia, I think you're stuck in a cutscene or something? Just don't trade it for eggs. Yeah, that's that's exactly. Goldie knows what's what, huh? 
And you can use it, or you'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> Goldie, that's not the that's not the point. The point is someone traded my family's for anyone who missed it, my co-host Timeless traded my family's holy sword, which has been in there for generations, since like the beginning of time. Passed down from ancestor to ancestor to ancestor, and he freaking chose eggs over it. So my holy sword is missing now. Maru wanted to show me something. Oh my god. Wait, so you got passed out and now you're gonna go look at a robot? Disrespectful is so disrespectful. But I like Goldie Snatcher's things here. Is obviously the problem's not that that happened, it's just you'll never hear the end of it. Zab. <laughs> Okay, Acacia's just busy um, trying to get with my other girlfriend. Not good. I like how I'm busy, but you know, a lot of you like call me a pig. A lot of you say, Dunk, you're a pig. A lot of you say, Dunk, you're a sleaze. But me, not all these NPCs are dating Acacia at the same time as me. All of them. Acacia gave my boyfriend pizza in bed. Acacia's giving my girlfriend, um, busy validating her robot right now. You lost all your girlfriends? Yeah. There, there's a clip over there, Saza, you can see. Yeah, totally man of theory. Timeless! It was timey, what did you expect? It was nuts. Absolutely insane. And I gave him my best sword, and then I gave him my best sword so he could go get all the gold, and there's a reason occasion I have crap weapons, because Timeless hasn't played the game since. He's literally been AFK for two days. But you can't confront them over Acacia? Yeah, that I'd teach them. I know you're dating me and Acacia. Oh, um, uh... All I can say about that sword, yep, that's all you need to say. So yeah, I lost all my girlfriends. Lost all of them. But I mean, I think I've got them back now. I think they've all forgiven me. I hope. Okay, Cage just got to make it back to bed. I won't be generous and pause the clock for them. Dish, 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 dish. Getting late. I believe our cage has been creeping with Maru. Is that the right term, folks? Creeping. Eh? I, th I think I think I think I've heard that like used in music, right? I know you've been creeping. Does that mean that you're like going around having like affairs all around town and stuff? Is that what our cage has been doing? Is that is that the right term? I mean, creeping. Otherwise, teach me. Teach me the cool term. Fishing and stuff. Okay. Day 18 of summer. Year 2. Couldn't find the clip. Um, It should be pinned there. So I don't know if you can see it. Maybe if you're on phone, it's not there. Um, should be just above. Meet me in front of my house tonight after dark. Damn it, Sam. Make me wait the whole freaking day. Okay. After dark, peeps. Sam's house. Good little Pip. I don't think Pip looks the best in a... I don't even know what that looks like. But yeah, it's... it's um, squid. No, let's give little Pip. Pip. Little Pip can be a sailor. I think that's what we'll give little, little Pip. Little sailor's cap. You went through the archives? Oh, damn, Saza, you went in deep. There you go, little Pip. I don't know if that fits Pip's head. <laughs> Pip. Pip really is not fast. <gasps> Look. Little Admiral Pippin. Hey, Pip. At attention. At ease, Pippin. <gasps> Did go to ease. Good little guy. Good little guy. Such a good boy. I was booping him uh, during the, the break as well. Who knows? Alright, so I'm just going to wait for nightfall. Then, so for anyone who doesn't know what's going on, every single single person... So, okay, long story short. Sorry, everyone who's heard the story like 15 times. But this is the summary of events that have happened in Stardew. I, um... I dated all the girls. Okay? I... Like Icarus, I flew too close to the sun. I thought I could have it all. I dated all the girls. I got caught. And all the girls broke up with me and told me that I'm a sleaze, told me that I'm a piece of junk and that they didn't want to know me. So that made me like really sad. 
So obviously I did like what everyone, any sane person would do. I couldn't get with any of the girls, so I started dating all the boys. So now I've arrived at the point that every single single person in the valley, every single one, has 10 out of 10 hearts me. Every single one of them wants a piece of this. You know? Some of this. That's what they want. I have one more cutscene to do with Sam over here to get my... Um, and that's happening at his house tonight. And then we'll have a reality show. What we're going to do is we're going to take all the people and we're going to verse them off. So you peeps are going to vote. It's going to be like Harvey versus Sam. Emily versus Leia. Sebastian versus Maru. It's going to be epic, epic showdowns. And you're all going to decide. I do think we're probably only going to land up doing that section of it during tomorrow's stream. Just because... Um, I think it's going to take a while. And I'm probably going to land up streaming for like 15 hours. Which, you know... Not good. You peeps will get bored of me. I've learned if I stream any longer, past a certain time, you'll say, no, 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 the stream's boring. I've got to kind of keep it like... So you're like, yeah, it's fine. I'm not bored yet. Soon. And then I leave. And you come back the next day. So yeah. Yes, get them all. Yep, just tonight. My son is saying hello to you. Can you say good morning, Nick? Good morning, Nick. Well, come on in. Okay, it's probably best that Nick doesn't um, take relationship advice from the stream. Just while we're playing this game. You have to work tomorrow. Oh no, Miss Bell. I hope work goes well, at least. Who would you root for, Miss Bell? Who, who would you have gotten? I mean, if any, if, if one of your people loses by um, one vote, I'll, I'll know. Combat Cordley, Woodcutters, Weekly, Bait and Bobber. Um, oh, Slither Legs. Okay, now, Keisha, did you ever get your, your better pickaxe? Thanks, yeah, it's just the warning. <gasps> hey, Penny. I wish I could keep a garden, but our yard is such a mess. Don't you worry, Penny. Maybe tomorrow I'll take you to the farm forever. Maybe. I've never been happy with any of them. Um, all up in my kitchen. Hmm. Really? So when the... None of them. They're all, they're all getting there. I have steel now. Steel comes before gold. It's not very good, Arkeja. Okay? It's pretty, pretty average. Pretty average average tool you have there. Bro, I get him so much trouble. So much hassle. I just saw the YouTube short telling how you can avoid the confrontation of all your 10 friends by carrying the lucky rabbit foot. Otherwise, you have to wait another week. So, Brother Wolf, um, I believe there's a rabbit foot, but yeah, I was told not to get the rabbit foot. Arkeja's the one who sabotaged me with all the ladies. That's what happens. Calling all amateur paleontologists. I need a hundred pieces of bone. Okay. Oh, so just waiting for it to be dark. Um, what should I get up to today while we wait? Bum, 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 bum. I don't know. I guess we can give away a few gifts and stuff. Yeah, I don't have any collections here. I really do feel bad. Of all the dudes, I feel worse for Clint. You can't date Clint. In fact, can anyone ever date Clint? I mean, is there like a mod that actually finally gets put Clint a relationship? Because I do feel like I did him a Darcy by swooping in on Emily. This is a fun gift! Thanks! Did you get the rabbit foot though? I literally had an opportunity to get the rabbit's foot and Arcasia said no. Arcasia said don't get the rabbit's foot. Arcasia said that and why did Arcasia say that? Why did Arcasia try to thwart me and destroy me? Well, because Acacia is trying to marry Abigail. Acacia will do anything in their power. So, yep, they got me busted. So, that's that's what happened. If you stay in the sun a lot, it'll make your hair lighter. But you don't want to get sunburn either. Acacia is also... Yeah, that's, that's, but that's what happened. So, I literally had the opportunity during the one festival. Instead, I bought tea. Instead of getting the rabbit's foot, I had like those golden things from the desert. And instead of getting um, that, I... Yeah, I blinded. Abigail is best. Abigail's cool. Listen, Abigail was really cross with me, though. Abigail, see, I don't know. I'm kind of scared of Abigail now. Is a gift. After what happened. <gasps> Psycho has gifted a sub to Goldie Snatch. Goldie Snatch gets subbed. There's a mod to date Clint. I mean, I didn't say I want to. Is there a mod to get him someone else to date him? Hmm. Thank you, Psycho. You're an absolute legend. Get subbed. Take that, Goldie. 
No, you have to stay. Okay. Hello. I have a good eye for wild fruit. Someday I'll make you a nice fruit salad. Thank you. Miss Penny is teaching me how to ride in cursive. Oh my god. I think I still remember how to ride in cursive. What a weird thing. Manny, do you like sashimi? Let's see what Manny thinks of sashimi. Manny? Loves pumpkin pie. Okay, I haven't given them sashimi. Unless I hated it. No, let's try. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, some people I'm really hard to, to please. Thank you, Sai. I echo those sentiments. Thank you, Sai. Alright, what counts as dark in this game? I can go give a gift to the mage, I guess. Well then, steer clear of the pool game with all the boys, Dunk. We'll be waiting another week to have your marriage event. I don't know. I'm sure the boys won't do anything terrible. Sure they will be kind and nice to me. I've suffered enough. Hey, Dunkso, do you perhaps know where to change the settings on Ark to be able to tame more than one Ossasaur? I don't. Um, I don't know if you're in the Discord, but I do recommend maybe asking people on there. There's a lot of like knowledgeable people. I truly have no it idea what's gift. going on. Most of the time, Timeless does the settings and my wonderful, wonderful admins help out. And there's loads and loads of knowledgeable people in the community. So they, one of them will surely be able to tell you. It'll be, it'll be there somewhere. Okay, this wizard dude likes... There's this crap. This... Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Z. Yeah. So as I say, yeah, pop pop in there. Eldra, they'll they'll be able to sort you out. Someone, someone, there's like an arc chat there. You just have to make sure you've got the uh arc um role. If you don't, then you'll see the arc groups, and then yeah, lots and lots of people. Just make sure you got the arc role, otherwise it won't pop up. Loads and loads of knowledgeable people in there. We have people in there who have tens of thousands of hours of arc. Lots of cool stuff. Cleany? What? Can you have it now? Thank you so much for the raid. Peeps, let's go drop a follow to Cleamy if you haven't. Thank you so much for another raid. Holy moly, Cleamy. You absolutely, absolutely spoil us here. Honestly, you don't know what we did to deserve you. Ninja Cool Pants, how's it going? How you doing? Mook, welcome, welcome, bud. How's it, how you doing? Grandpa Max, welcome on in. Peeps from my side, if you don't know Cleamy, Cleamy is really delightful, really nice. Uh, busy playing some once human awesome then she got out of that that queue thankfully and uh as i don't know for whatever reason supports the stream an absolute ton so do help me pay back the support go drop a follow or say hello 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 i'm pretty sure clean is also knocking on the door of some streamer achievements you can help them achieve you know so if anyone has just joined i am not playing once human i am playing stardew valley um, a game with way more intrigue and, um, drama than I could have ever expected. I am dating everyone in the valley. I am an expert fisher person and I have all sorts of cool stuff going on. Um, today I am about to get the last single person in the valley to romance me. That's what we're doing. And then we're going to have like a reality show where we determine who is the best, the best. So addicting nice. Are you enjoying it? Um, I'm always a bit, I have a bit of a weird Psycho with another gifted sub. Thank you, Psycho. Holy moly. Three in a row. Thank you, Psycho. Wow, 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 wow. Who's the last person? Uh, Sam. And then we're going to do like a reality show. So I've got, I've got all of them to 10 hearts. So for anyone who doesn't know what's happened, I mean, let me, let, let me fill you in. So I dated all the ladies in the valley. And then there's a clip that's pinned there. All the ladies find out that I was dating all the other, la other ladies and then they um, all broke up with me. So then I did what any rational person would do. I started dating all the men in the valley. And now I have all the men to full hearts. Um, I have one more cutscene to do with Sam. But the ladies have since forgiven me. So after I have Sam here, we're going to do like a reality show. It's going to be like a battle royale. It's going to be like Emily versus Sebastian. 
Maru versus Shane, uh, Alex versus Abigail. It's going to be pretty insane. And we'll determine who I should marry. It's going to be exciting. That's what it is. Awesome. Yeah, Psycho, thank you. Did. You don't mind me asking where in SA you're based? Fellow SA brother here. Um, so I'm currently in Johannesburg. I grew up in Pretoria. Of all places. I don't know where you're at. If you, if you want to say, you can say it. But yeah, I'm currently in Johannesburg. Bom, 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 bom. Okay, I have to come back here at night. Grandpa Max, it's going to be fine. It's going to be good. I'm going to get... Find myself some true love. That's what we'll do. And I don't know. I'm actually just like outsourcing the decision to all of you. Um, all of them have sort of their redeeming qualities. I don't know, hey? Um, oof. I don't know who I'd choose. I Honestly, give. no idea. Psycho, thank you. Ultrafax, you get subbed. Everyone gets subbed. Okay, one, two, three, four. I think there's 12 people. Five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, so 12 people that I can romance head to head. And how many of those are, I think it's 50, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, 6 men, 6 women. Go in, only one comes out. It's going to be very exciting. Very exciting. I, again, if I had to choose myself, I honestly don't know. I'd probably say... Eh... I don't know. Penny's really sweet. Haley actually did open up to me quite a bit. Uh, Emily is the person I lost my star duinity to and the only person I've, like, you know, done things with. Um, Leia's obviously uh, really nice. Obviously, the, the, the guys sort of popped in afterwards, you know. So I could learn to love them, I suppose. And then Maru. Maru, I think, like, Maru's awesome, but just really smart. So I don't know what, I think she, I would just be a trophy husband. Not having Linus at 10 hours should be considered a war crime. Listen, I blame Linus. Um, it's not that I don't like Linus. Just Linus is kind of out of the way. Like, you'll notice I have pretty high hearts with everyone who's, like, in the town. And, like, most of the outcasts are the ones who I sort of forgot. And then kids and old... Apparently, I hate kids and old people. I don't really know what to say. It's, it did, I didn't mean it that way, but apparently I hate children and old people. If they're not of a romancing age, they can stuff right off. Apparently. Apparently. It just kind of worked out that way. Psycho with another gifted sub. Thank you, Psycho. May everyone get in a sub. Maru's dad might be an issue. Nah, listen. Maru's dad can go to hell. That's why I'd like Maru, because I'd like to teach her dad a lesson for being mean to me, you know? He told me I couldn't date them. Hmm. It's like one of those reality shows. It's going to be just like that, Klimi. Just like that. And thanks again, Klimi. Klimi, true. I honestly don't know what we did to deserve uh, so much support, but thank you for that. Give Jess that flower behind you. Does Jess like the flowers? I must be honest, I haven't found anything that they really enjoy. I think Jess has gone to bed now. No. Hey, Jess. Would you like a golden flower? I love presents. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know what she loves. These children love nothing. I've given them candy. Um, what, are, what are kids these days like? Oh, yeah. PlayStation 5. I mean, that's probably what you should give Vincent. I don't have that type of cash. I'm a broke-ass farmer. I mean, you kind of have your hands full with dating six plus people at once. Twelve people. Vapes. You think I should give them vapes? Hey, six-year-old girl, have a vape. Hey, five-year-old boy. Oh, crap, the Trout Dobby. Wait, wait, wait. Where's the Trout Dobby? This weekend, summer 20th. Okay. Holy moly. Jess loves pink cake. Okay. What about chocolate cake? Because that's what I have. Pink cake. Hmm. There it is. Pink cake. And Vincent? Vincent loves nothing. Oh, Vincent loves cranberry candy. I think I saw all of this in like a note. It told me these things. Cranberry candy. And only likes pizza. Psycho, thanks for the gifted sub to Grandpa Max now. Vincent loves snails too. So, Molly, I actually had a weird thing. Um... Over Easter weekend, I hung out with family and there was a lot of like kids like walking around and whatnot. And they all got like small gifts for Easter. I don't think that's supposed to be a thing. I think you're just supposed to give them chocolate. But anyway, they got presents and they're playing with this like slime stuff. And the kids were loving it. All their hands were gooey and it was pretty disgusting. They, 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 they were terrible, terrible creatures covered in slime. 
So I was like, this is going to be a shoe in So I tried to give Vincent some slime. And yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know what the hell they're doing with these kids in the valley. But I can tell you for free that IRL kids love slime. But yeah, little Vincent, I believe, hated it. They hated gifts. Slime. What the heck? What the heck, Vincent? Psychro. Dead. Alright, I don't know when nighttime is. I'm going to guess 8 p.m. I need one more scene when it's nighttime. We're going to go see Sam in front of his house. And then who knows what can happen. Bring Kent a starfruit. Probably should... Wait, we did this? How do we, how do we collect this? Ship 100 weeds. <gasps> Keisha, Keisha, Keisha. When does it stop? 11 days. Oh no, okay. I think we're fine with that. Acacia, I mean, it's silly of me to, to doubt Acacia. End of season, it's awarded. Okay, but you've only shipped 22, hey? Did you see that, Acacia? Did you see? Okay, this should work. Okay, this is our last scene with a eligible person. Hey, Dunkstar. Dunk, this is exciting stuff. Cat skies, very exciting. How you doing? Look at you with your shiny diamond using it here. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, you see, Keja. That's cool. I got you. I got you. I wanted to talk to you in private. Um, it's it's kind of cold out here, though. Let's sneak into my room. You little brat. This little kid already. This is one of those kids that like goes for the kiss too soon. That's what it is. I tried to do that with Leia, and I got attacked with a hammer. For occasions pulling 50 now days and you're walking around a forest hoping the day ends. <laughs> I mean, it's true. <laughs> I mean, Molly, you're relatively new around here. You'll learn that I always have um help. I always have help. I'm a delegator, Molly. I'm management, you know? I give the task. It's a very important function in all business. I um, delegate all the tasks. And that's that's what I do. Without without people like me being in managerial roles, um, the very fabric of society. Would crumble. So yeah, that that's what it is. Different set of hormones, Dunk. I don't know. Alex was a gentleman. Sam, Sam's like just in there. Let's sneak into my room. So, uh, Dunk Star. <laughs> I know I've been talking about nothing but the band for a while now, but I don't want you to think that that's all I'm interested in. I'm like so much more than my music, you know? Like I'm so deep. Lady still not talking to him? Mail, sir? Um, firstly, hello, Mail, sir. Sorry, I did see you say hello. Um, the ladies are talking to me again. I've managed to get them on. Um, er, uh, what I mean is, well, I'm, I'm really happy that we've grown so close. <laughs> uh, his mom's right out there. Dunkster, do you do you think of me as like like just a friend? Oh, Jody. Sam, I'm coming in. Uh, quick, uh, hide in the bed. What's wrong, honey? Were you doing something bad? I thought I heard some weird sounds coming from your room. No, Mom, I was just, just doing push-ups. I want to be dead at arm wrestling someday. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that explains why you're all red and sweaty. Okay, well, good luck. I'll see you in the morning. Good night, Mom. Oh, my lord, says Holly. <laughs> Phew, that was close. Do you think she knows? I think Jody knows. Dunkstar. Get out of the bed or stay put. What does everyone think? Okay. Stay put in the bed. That's, she knows. That hiding spot sneak. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. Why is there a dude in your bed? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Oh, my, says Kit. Yeah, that's it. Okay, we kind of do need to get everyone to 10. Haha. <laughs> Ooh, wee. Yep, that's it. Ooh, we indeed. Stay, says Tomato. He's moving too fast, says Kit. Daedalus is too. 
All right, listen, we do have to get everyone to 10 hearts so the reality show can happen. You know what I'm saying? Kit reckons once. It's, it's too fast. Hmm. I mean, I would hope that this shouldn't be a deal breaker. You know what I'm saying? Holly's like, oh, this is very intense. I feel like this is the kiss all over again. Rockstar, I don't know what's going to happen now, though. Yeah, there was a man who just kissed me in a boat. It was insane. Stay, says just Jess. Stay. All right. Get out. I was about to say, I think I'm getting most stays, but then Heldrafax said the get out. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Um, all right. Sorry. Klimi also said earlier, thanks for having us all. Uh, you'll take care of these spuds. I will. I'll take good care of the spuds. Thank you for that. Okay. One. Damn it, Holly. You're just doing that to taunt me now. You're doing that to taunt me. All right. Everyone type in a one or a two. Get out of the bed or stay put. One is get out of bed, two is stay put. One and twos and one and twos. Start dating the mom. The mom is the prettiest person in the valley. That's what it is. One, one, two, one, two, one, two, two, one, two, 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 one. One, two, one. I feel like Carly's in there again. Two, two. Okay, I do feel I do feel like there's more twos there, especially since about four of the ones are Holly. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna stay put for now. Ooh la la. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know that that would happen if we stayed in the bed. I always knew there was something special between us. Think you must do a poll? It's done. It's done. Alright, will he be able to fend off all the other people though? I'm gonna be thinking about this night for a long time. Cover's eyes says may what? <gasps> okay. Done. All right, it's official. Every single person in the valley has a perfect relationship with me. Every single single person, anyway. Every single single person has a relationship. Now we can whittle it down. Is he 18? Yeah, everyone is apparently old enough to get in a relationship with. I did ask this question when I first started playing the game. Is everyone? Yeah, he's just one of those people. He lives with his mom. He's actually 47. I was going to say staying in bed, he was the sim option. Uh, that deserves a drink, I think. I could grab a drink. What are we going to have? A beer. Are you playing with fire? Nah, everyone loves me now. Everyone loves me. The ladies are talking to me. The dudes love me. Hello, Acacia. <laughs> How are you, Acacia? Acacia saying question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. What, Acacia? Red Bull, maybe? <laughs> Why is Acacia questioning me? All the single people, all the single people. Dunk on, say, yeah, man. All bodies, all the single bodies. All the single bodies. Acacia's trying to get you banned for another week. Acacia has done that once. Play level 100, huh? Um, I don't know what that means. Okay. All right, so peeps, I do think what we'll probably do is we'll call it there next time, I think. Because otherwise, yeah, for me to start getting into the reality show on who I'm going to date here. So we're going to basically do like a battle royale between everyone and see um, what's going to happen. Would I do a thing like that? Never again, huh? Is there the bar pool room when you wake up? I mean, is there a thing that happens there? We'd have to do something. Shh. Okay, no, no, no spoilers, no spoilers. No spoilers. Such a tease. <laughs> I can't be around. I thought I'm going to be here forever. Uh, I mean, this is going to take a while. I mean, I honestly thought I was going to do this sort of as stream started. Now I've been here for seven hours. This game is insane. I don't mean to tease. I don't. I don't. I promise. We are living vicariously through Dunk. There you go. That's it. So folks, I do think I'll probably call it there if you did enjoy yourself. And you haven't dropped a follow please do think about dropping a follow i will be back tomorrow we're gonna finish this off we're gonna vote we're gonna see who is the ultimate lover in the valley which lovely 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 person is it gonna be cool level eight foraging for me uh, a reminder folks if you aren't subscribed to the youtube please do think about it i am put up some uh of the funnier moments of stardew up as shorts i will make a full video of it um as well so do check that out if you haven't 
Um, if you do like the stream, obviously all the VODs are on there as well. You can catch all the old streams on YouTube up to about five or six months ago. Um, otherwise, there are a lot of like edited clips. So basically like the best of sort of moments. Um, so check those out if you haven't. Dunk stream on what not to do in Stardew. That's it's good stuff. This works for me as I'm off to bed. Molly, thank you so much for being here. You have a great one. You can craft tents now. Ooh. Luna Sky, you have yourself a great one. Uh, clearly you're the ultimate lover in the valley. It's who's going to be lucky second. That is true. Unless Arcasia's been playing, I mean, behind my back. You know what I'm saying? That could have happened. Thank you for a great stream. Have an awesome one. Kamira, thanks again for the generosity. Thank you for being here. Rick. Ladies, mate. Cheers, Heldra. You have yourself a great Sunday. Um, just Jess, have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Preston, you have yourself an excellent one. Thanks for the tips and tricks. Um, I'm sorry I've been saying your name wrong this entire time. Preston. You know? Uh, good, mate. You have a good one, Ninja Cool Pants. Thanks for being here. Brother Wolf, have a great one. Buckling again. Um, Z, you get some rest, my dear. Have a lovely day, Dunk. Cheers, Qualum. Thank you very much for always being awesome. You have a great one. Kit, thank you. I'll take a look-see at the food that you posted. Um, thanks for the fun. Arcasia, thank you very much. Dan of Dan. Thank you, Dunk, for the stream. Thank you, everyone, for making it a happy place. Yeah. Honestly, I echo that sentiment. I don't say it um, enough. I really am appreciative of the community that you folks helped you. It's, uh, it's really not about the streamer. I always say to you, for anyone who doesn't know, the streamer is literally a con. You've all been conned. All I do is every single day that I'm in here, I just read your messages and then one of you will reply and then I read their messages and I just basically do that. And I just sort of act as like a switchboard operator of all your stuff. So that's it. It's a, it's a con. I'm just like the narrator. Um, Psycho, thanks again, dude. Really do appreciate it. You have yourself a great one, Psy. Cheers, cheers. Uh, you don't say it wrong. Yeah, and I got it, Preston. I got it. I got it. Sweet dreams, everyone. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Wolf Death Breath, have a good one. Thanks again, Buckling. Have a good one, Miss Bell. Great to see you. Good luck with work tomorrow. Good night. Cheers, Toffee Coffee. You make us feel good. Again, it's all it's all a scheme. You all do that to yourself. You know? That's what it is. All right. Um, my buddy Rando's on. Let's go drop all you peeps there. Rando actually raided us at the beginning of stream, so we're gonna go full circle here. If you don't know Rando, Rando's a cool dude. He has the deepest, sexiest voice. On all of Twitch. I mean, listen to this. A line, please. Okay, normally he doesn't make sounds like that. But, um, actually, I lie. He, he often makes sounds like that. But he's got a very deep, sensual voice. So, go, go, go check him out if you haven't. And thanks again, folks. You all have a great weekend. Have an amazing time zone, whatever it is. You get yourself some... Awesome, awesome rest. Factoria, it was uh, satisfactory. Close. You were singing last time too? Yeah. I feel like we put him on that goblin tucker. That's it. But it does work for us. <laughs> all right, peeps. You're all amazing. You're all incredible. Thanks again for being here. Cheers, cheers. Bye.